Let's do this. Hey everyone, Hello. welcome back to Hardcast Commander. We are back. It has been a two-year hiatus. Uh, thanks, COVID. Um, the longest two years. <laughs> the longest and also two the years. shortest two years. Nice. Yeah. 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 Um, I am joined by the lovely Trent. Uh, and if we switch on over to the other cam, we've got Piper. Hello. And Avian's back. Hey. So we're gonna be playing some Commander for you. Uh, just like the old style of Hardcast, there are a few rules associated to our game. We're gonna be getting points over the course of a season. Oh, we've also got PJ in the chair piloting yeah, for us. Yeah, let's get PJ. Let's so go. What's up, PJ? PJ me. Hello, PJ. Oh, should I? You're not live. You're oh, not. You're, you haven't turned your mic on on the on the on the on the stream deck. <laughs> you get hit push to talk. <laughs> <laughs> PJ's in the chat now. PJ's Perfect. in the chair. Let's go. Uh, all right. So uh, we're going to get... Um, how do you get points? Good question. Yeah. Good uh, question, Trey. Jump on over to the... <laughs> yep. So there, as you see there, you get uh, a number of points equal to where you come in the game. So if you come first, you get four. Second is three. Third is two. And last is one. Uh, ties share the lowest points. Uh, you also gain a point for getting first blood. Uh, you do lose a point if you fail to cast your commander throughout the entire game. Um, I don't think we'll have that problem. I don't think we'll have that problem. I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah. I think if we're not casting our commanders, we're losing pretty quickly anyway. Does Avian have to cast both of his commanders? Yes. Yeah. Hat wrecked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the part of this episode was very funny for that. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was brutal. That was yeah, it was a brutal. Uh, you also lose one for killing everyone on the same turn. Uh, so let's jump on back over. Um, yeah, that's how we play the game. Um, I'm sure if you've, if you've watched this on YouTube before, which I'm uh, sure you have, long I hope time you viewers. have, yeah. long time viewers, uh, we're, we're back and this is going to go up on YouTube as well. So if you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit click like and subscribe to the channel, get the bell on so you get notified every time a new, a new video goes live here on the channel. If you're watching us on Twitch, Follow along, hit that follow button, uh, get notified every time we go live where there's a new stream here on the Bob Games Live channel. Sub with Prime. Sub with Prime. If you have Prime, you get one free sub on Twitch. We would love it. If That'd be great, dude. That. Go in. Um, can you imagine? It's free. Let's it's go. It's free. Uh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. We're and also, oh. before that, oh. if you want to get any singles uh, as well, this stream is sponsored by the Bob Games singles team, which is mainly three of us here. Um, <laughs> which is it, of entirely the three of us here. Entirely the three of us here. I'll give Jenna a credit where it's true. The Vault Game Singles team go right to, here uh, at you. Vault Game Singles team and me. And, and, and Avian! Avian. Woo! Hardcast Commander with Vault Game Singles and Avian. Well, um, it wouldn't be Hardcast Commander without Avian, so. Yeah, that's true. true. No. 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 He's, a, he's the signpost draft uncommon. That's what yeah. you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if you want to get up any, if you want to pick up any singles, go to singles.vogames.com.au. We do ship worldwide, but we are in Australia, um, so shipping's better within Australia. And you could also pick them up from our store here in Brisbane. Now, on to the overhead. Oh, oh it's been I so know. long. I, I didn't. Long. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't even know. Look, I'm sorry. All right, well, it's, it, it's still video footage, so we can just. Do you want to try it again? Like, cause we're, this is not live, is it? It's not absolutely live. not live. No, <laughs> no, no. We're just switching back like to Cam A, please, pilot. All right. So okay. now we're going, going to, to the overhead. overhead. <laughs> 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 we're doing it live. That's the best. Right? That's the best. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> All right. Let's run through what text we're playing today. Uh, I am playing Sahili the Gifted. If you've watched, if you're a long time viewer of podcast, I have played Sahili before. Uh, she's gotten a lot of upgrades. Uh, since Commander Legends. Mm. Uh, the main key to my deck here kind of centers around value artifacts and getting them on the board. Sahili's di Directive is one of the prime cards for that. Uh, with Sahili, the gifted capabilities of plus one, create a servo, plus one, reduce the cost of the next spell you cast by one generic for every artifact you control, and then next seven, make a copy of every artifact you control and um, give them haste, right? Give them haste and exile them at the end of the yeah. You either win with that or you don't use it at all. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The yeah. plus one which makes your spells cheaper is what you're going to win yes. with. The double improvise basically, right? Yeah, so it, it gives Sahili's directive um, a big value in that X, which lets me just pull out every artifact from my deck that I can get onto the board, hit them with big value then with big value engines from like Hellkite Igniter, uh, which can um, get that plus one plus O for each art plus X plus O for each artifact. 
plus x is equal to the number of artifacts I control. So it's basically a beat down on that point. I've got value here in Ginny G, the new Ginny G from um, Kamigawa, Kamigawa. Neon, Neon Dynasty. One thing to note is with Sahili the Gifted reducing the cost of things, uh, Jinka Taxis really only cost two blue mana for me. Um, and then we've got old school Arkham Daxin letting me find out those those artifacts from uh, within my deck. I've also like for example, for for example, like the Chain Veil mm. or Brutakai. I don't think he lets me get Brutakai. It's a non creature artifact, yeah, but he lets me get the Chain Veil, which then lets me activate Sahili more times and get it closer to that seven. Uh, Brutaclad takes massive advantage of Sahili's Neg Seven and turning all my artifacts, all my copies, tokens into the most powerful non-legendary artifact I have on the board. Mm. Swing hard, and they get haste right. twice. Yes, they get double, double haste. Mm -hmm. that Super means they haste attack from hand. <laughs> oh my god, not again! <laughs> Super haste. Um, it's like, like that snail from yeah, the same game. Uh, and then. Up here we've got mechanized production as well. That's another little piece of the value engine for, for Sahili. Mm. I mainly use it for making copies. I've never won with mechanized production, but if shit hits the fan, a treasure vault getting me eight treasures will win mechanized production for me. Yeah. So I will yeah. say it now, like you're not gonna like lose a point if you don't win with mechanized production, but you will lose my respect. If I don't win with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, think about already lost. If, you, if somebody, dies, <laughs> on, if somebody yeah. dies first, then you can win with Mechanized Production. Don't worry about the oh, points. Yeah. Exactly. If somebody dies first. Right. right. Well, it does so say you win. It doesn't say the others lose. That's just a side effect. Oh, of course. So you actually just don't lose So you're not all. beating your opponents yeah. all on the same turn. You're just winning the game. Oh, of course. It's totally fine. And really, that's what we want to see here. Yeah. We want to see Dylan succeeding. Thanks, yeah. Uh, all right. So that's that's Sahili in a nutshell. What have you got, Trent? What have I got? All right. Well, today is, as we mentioned, personality decks. And I thought, what better way to kind of give out my personality as both our singles guy, big magic advocate, and I've been playing the game for years. A brand new commander, brand new deck. I am playing Shorakai, Genesis Engine. So for those at home who have not been paying attention, this is a eight mana, sorry, a four mana, eight, eight. It is a vehicle, so it is not a creature, but it says down here, Shorakai, Genesis Engine can be your commander regardless. So it is a eight, eight with crew eight, and the most important line here. So it's two white and blue for pay one and tap, draw two cards, then discard a card. Then I create a 1-1 one, one pilot creature token that says this creature crews vehicles as though its power were too greater. It's a colorless non-artifact token creature, a bit weird, but uh, yeah, so it's a 1-1 one, one that can crew for three. Now the most important part of this deck is Shorokai is a non-creature commander more often than not, mm -hmm. and I'm abusing that by using a bunch of board wipes. It's a white deck. Tons of board wipes that kill all creatures, either non-artifact or uh, even artifact. Just kills all the creatures, a bunch of my vehicles, talking about them now. Things like Prodigy's Prototype and Mobilizer Mech, really just making use of, it's not always a creature, I'll wipe the board and then I'll crew one of these with maybe even like a mech hanger, like the new land, uh, which I haven't got out here, but we'll get to. Uh, and then trying to find ways of making him an 8-8. And it's more, more like, I think Shorakai as a deck is, unlike Katori, who is the, the face commander, this is less of a vehicle good stuff deck. It's more like a control deck, and this is kind of like my finisher. This is my yeah. big 8-8 eight, eight guy. He doesn't have trample or flying or evasion, but I can get him that. It so. is an interesting way to play commander where you have a deck that's actually focused on winning seemingly by just commander damage, because it is an 8-8, eight, eight, so it's three hits and they're done. Three hits and they're done. Something yeah. I've found, I've played against Shorakai a couple times now, um, and like vehicles usually lend themselves to like a beatdown strategy, but Shorakai's ability to just get you value, like draw two discard and make a chump blocker or like something to crew a vehicle, uh, really strongly lends itself to like slow grindy games. That's so it. like there's a bit of a, there's a pretty substantial difference between those two play styles. And it's interesting how that be, um, pays into it. Yeah, I do think so. It's, it's really cool because again, you would think that just for reading it the first time, like first layer, it's a vehicle deck. But it really isn't, like you said. Yeah. And this is actually, speaking of grinding the game down, slowing it down, I even do go into that kind of way where I'm playing things like Ethersworn Cannonist. You know, each player who has played a non-artifact spell this turn can't play more non-artifact spells, kind of slowing my opponents down. And then things like Dranith Magistrate to say, can't cast spells in certain zones. A lot of hate bears, we call them in the business. Kind of these low creatures in white that kind of slow the game down to my level. And then I'm just kind of abusing the Shorakai to get me those cards back. A couple of random flashback cards here and there, Zivin's Replicamation, stuff like that. Uh, but more often than not, just control magic and at the end of it when you guys have totally wiped down and some of the threats have been dealt with and Piper's killed somebody or Avian's like started his stuff and killed Dylan or something like that and had to be responded to, then I can turn around and start punching in my 8-8 and say, okay, I was safe from all that, time to turn on you now. Bit of a bit, a bit like a wee 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 deck. So that's me, Shorakai Genesis Engine. Very exciting. I'm super excited to get this deck playing because I've, pl I've only played it maybe five or six times now, but I think the build I've landed on is really, really, like I think this is like, if not four, I don't think I play many vehicles in the deck. I don't even play things like Mech Titan Core, yeah. so I have no way of getting to it. So, um, yeah, wonderful. So that's my build. Let's hear from Piper. 
Awesome. Well, any of you who have ever played against me in person before have probably uh, versed my Kumina deck, Karen of Arazka. I've been playing this commander since it came out. Since Ixalan came out, actually, mm -hmm. uh, my only my only complaint is that he is not banned. But so so we are playing just like some Merfolk tribal stuff today. I've got like the the island generators. I mean, I should be pretty safe considering two out of my three opponents are playing island. So this will probably all be going towards uh, the one non-island player. But they've also got oh, a lot thanks. of the uh, tap <laughs> so, and unsafe sorry, shenanigans. Does, it, does it make things into islands at all? No. Oh no, that one doesn't. No, that, that one that's doesn't. just sorry. the board wide island walker. That's what you want. That's what yeah. you want as well. Absolutely. And they were playing a lot of like tapping and untapping shenanigans as well. So we got like the Mero Commerce, which untaps your Merfolk at the end of your turn, and then we've got like the Merkfiend Liege and the Seedborn Muse, which every time people should every people time. should know what Seedborn Muse does. But Merkfiend Liege is similar just for your creatures, just for your blue green creatures. So but also a plus two plus two anthem. It's also a plus two plus two anthem for your green blue creatures as well. Then I got Merrigiri, which is an absolute staple in Merfolk decks. It's whenever you cast a Merfolk spell, uh, you may tap or untap target permanent. If you have like a Nykthos or something that generates you a lot of mana off that, you can just go off. Gross. I do have a Nykthos in this deck, so hopefully we'll get there. Got a lot of blue blips. Uh, the Lull Mage, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, the Lull Mage Mentor, just for like that little bit of like that little bit of control magic that I have in there because it is blue and I do need to interact with my opponents because as Trent said, he is playing a lot of board wipes and that does tend to be the antithesis of Merfolk decks. Or tribal. Tribal in general, yeah, tribal yeah in definitely general. tribal no, decks no, in no, general. Not tribal angels, because Arvis. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <Yeah, fair. laughs> I just revved Arvis as quickly as possible. The Surge Spanner, again, for just that little bit of like interaction and then the Cryptolith right to round out the sort of value that you can get off like the tapping and untapping every turn. Like, it's it's a lot of value, and then the the win cons tend to be you know a lot of creatures. So you do have like the Crater Hoof Behemoth and the Finale of Devastation, but you can kind of go off with Wonder Wine Profits as well, and just get those continuous turns. Like if you have any of the like the enchantment that makes Merfolk Deep Root water, Deep Root Waters, then you can 100% just keep making Merfolk to sack and take extra turns. It's quite good, quite good. So. So make sure that one of the players with an island is alive last, right? That's the yeah. plan? All right, all right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> coming out for me with it before the game even starts. It's so, yeah. <laughs> hard pass. It's what we come yeah. back to every time. Yeah, and for yeah. those of you who don't know what Kamina does, sorry, I didn't think I, I skipped over him. Uh, so he can tap another untapped Merfolk I control to give himself unblockable. So very, very good for that first blood point. Uh, he can tap three untapped Merfolk I control to draw a card, and I can tap five untapped Merfolk I control to put a 1 1 counter on each Merfolk I control. So that does not say Merfolk creature, so I do have a tribal enchantment in here, my, uh, my Mero Commerce. So that is technically a Merfolk that I can tap to give it unblockable. You can put counters on it? I can put counters on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can Let's tap go. it to draw a card. Um, so yeah, he very much plays into all that untap tapping, that incredibly, really, really fun Simic stuff. Mm. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's about Kamina. And what about you, Avian? Uh, so today I'm playing my favorite recently built deck, which is uh, Kadama of the East Tree and Togo Goblin Weaponsmith. Um, I just want to <laughs> make rocks and throw them at people. Amazing. Um, Amazing. Yeah. The, the the play, I like honestly, that, I like that you're playing everything but scissors. It's just rock and paper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Um, that, well, that's all you need. Everyone I'm knows. the scissors. You, yeah, you guys are the scissors. scissors. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, we're the scissors. Like, <laughs> yeah, scissors, scissors here, scissors here. <laughs> um, Togo, greatest golden weaponsmith of all time. Uh, as soon as I saw this card, I knew I need to build uh, like six decks around him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We got, a, we got a fan of Togo in the chat with Fire Axe going off about yeah. Togo, by the way. Hell yeah, Fire Axe. You know, you know the magic of Togo. You <laughs> get it. You understand. Um, so the, Togo the, has effectively landfall... The rock tide cometh. <laughs> effectively landfall, make a rock that you can equip to a creature, and then like throw at people for two damage. Uh, and Kodama of the East Tree has a weird-ass ability. Uh, whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, if it wasn't put onto the battlefield with this ability, you may put a permanent with equal or lesser converted mana cost from your hand onto the battlefield. Effectively, this means if I have both of these in play and I play a land, Togo makes a rock, uh, which triggers Kadama, which lets me put another land into play, which lets me trigger another, make another rock and put another land and just go off. It's crazy that that card says equal or lesser. You equal, know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, equal like or so less good. is nuts. Amazing. Such, <laughs> such a powerful I mean, I'm not going to lie. The fact that that is not a mythic is yeah, another mm. thing as well. quite Just absurd to me. But great. Yeah, you're like, right. Really Uncommon good. on Togo? That's insane. Insane. <laughs> insane. Crazy. Like, sure. literally the best <laughs> weaponsmith. The yeah, the best. The greatest weaponsmith. Um, so to like, abuse the crazy amount of lands that you can put into play, I've got a lot of good ways to get lands into hand, which suck in every other deck, but are great in this. What about uh, Bob Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, in most other days. <laughs> <laughs> most Sorry. Other days. Um, Hang on a second. Bobo. Shelly's in the chat. Bobo Hang on, remember Megan. This. <laughs> Hang on, Andy. What about my Bobo deck? Uh, so, like, Nylee's Intervection puts lands into your hand, like, X lands into your hand, and you can just dump them all into play. Like, this is a game ender. Uh, Abundance lets you choose which kind of permanent you're going to draw, and Sprouting Vines, <laughs> Storm, search your library for a land and put it into your hand. It's nuts. <laughs> you know, you know what, what a common that I've never seen played any other way. Right? You know what's really funny? I've actually played this deck, and yeah. I once lost to this card because he stormed on my 16th cast, added so many cards and discarded them with Bobo that I died. <laughs> <laughs> I lived that that Roman. That was Roman, a good yeah. friend of mine, who, yeah, in response to my own play, I was like, I think I've got, I think I've got game here. He was like, I don't think you do. <laughs> <laughs> so to utilize all of this, all these shenanigans, uh, I've got Landfall on this side, you know, the classics, Avenger of Zendikar, Rampaging Bailoth, Omna. Uh, and a whole bunch more in here. Um, and then to utilize the fact that Togo makes a lot of artifacts, there's a there's a lot of like weird cards that get to fit into this deck that I absolutely love. Like Gear Per Aether Grid, you tap two artifacts, ping something. If you've got 15 rocks in play, you finally have a use for them. You're just dealing like seven, eight damage a turn out of nowhere to anything you want. Is there a Seaborn Muse maybe hiding in that deck somewhere? Uh, maybe. No, because oh. I have moral objections to Seaborn <laughs> Muse. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good place to be, Amy. That's yeah. a good place to be. Uh, I personally do not. <laughs> as yeah. a tribal player. I can tell. <laughs> as, as a it's un untapped tap shenanigan player. It's no. fine. Looking at this, you need all the help you can get. It's okay. <laughs> It's not Togo, Piper, that's what he means. I, knew, I know, it's I know, it's not it's Togo. Not, can't help but notice that there's no rocks there. Now this yeah. Fathom Fleet, what's yeah. he doing? Uh, so when he attacks, you deal damage to the defending player equal to the number of artifacts you control. <laughs> oh, it's so. Commander Legends, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's good, uh, good And Encore, the ability you can like reanimate from the graveyard for each opponent, like make a token copy and then just hit them. This can deal 20, 30 damage out of nowhere. Uh, this has ended an unfathomable amount of games. Like. And it's also like from the graveyard, so it's just very consistent. If you end up drawing yeah. a bunch of lands, you have to go to discard, you put them in there, and then way later in the game, you're just like, by the way, I'm also going to win with this card. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, like crazy, all like, of a sudden, people have to have graveyard in inter interaction in order to stop. None of us can play Bog, so. I do have, well, uh, I do have Rest in Peace. Well, at least now I know what to target with my Scrabble and Claws. <laughs> yeah, and I was going to say, I do play Rest in Peace, so there, there's that. <laughs> Even though I discard cards, I don't care. Yeah, uh, and then there's also stuff like Valduk. Uh, he makes three ones for each equipment attached to him, uh, so just Give him like an armful of fifteen rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I hold all these rocks? <laughs> yeah, he draws magic power from them somehow and yeah. makes elementals. He makes friends to hold his rocks because he's like, oh, I can't hold all these rocks. I need somebody to hold these rocks. Hey, sir, can you hold these rocks? And the elemental yeah. goes, thanks, man. I'll take those rocks. Um, <laughs> like, so these two cards, Fathom Fleet Sword Jack and Valduk, have ended more games with this deck than any other single card in the deck. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a are. big fan of that. It's like, that's a really fun way to win. Yeah, and they're yeah. weird, and you don't see them in anything else. So I, lo I love being able to play with them. Who would know the red uncommon slot would be so powerful? Literally, I know. Right? Who would know the red uncommon slot is just the top? Red uncommons. That's where it's at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's the deck. You need more of those in this deck, bro. More red uncommons. Come on, grow up, man. Yeah. Can you imagine if you had Togo in this deck? Grow up, Dylan. Just actually, by definition, think about that. Like with all the, like just, just like in gen genuinely, if you think about with the uptick, you know. Actually, yeah. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's actually yeah. kind of, it's kind of, you need the land triggers. Yeah, you got anyway, the terrible yeah. pieces, you got the fatal passages, is, you know what I mean? That is all that is our, That's our real zero discussion before we start this game. Uh, so now we're going to shuffle up, see who's going first. Uh, but because this is live, it's not going to cut straight to it. Yeah, yeah. you just get to chill. Yeah, we just get to have some, some casual conversation while we're all shuffling. I love new sleeves. What's what's nice the plane summer. you guys want to most revisit? Mine personally is Warwin because Rania. I want Kithkin and Merfolk support. Kithkin and Merfolk. I like that. Actually, <laughs> Warwin's one of those ones that like yeah. we have to go back to. It's so classic. Warwin slaps. Rania. What's that? Sorry. Warwin slaps. Warwin slaps. Absolutely slaps. It slaps. It's absolutely best. Yeah. No, do you know Rabia? You've heard of the Rabia scale? Is that yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a, yeah. It's like the plane that they're never going back to ever. Uh, yeah, I don't remember the context, but it's, that's the joke. The plane they're like, we're never going back here, ever. Mm. Uh, yeah, probably like Law and Shadow more for me as well. Uh, it was Neon Dynasty, and oh, it was Kamigawa, and then we went to Kamigawa again. That's the plane. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I found out that it was like what 14 years since we had last been to Kamigawa. Yeah, it yeah. was insanely long time. Can I say though? Okay, guys, but hey, we've just been to Kamigawa. But if we went to Kamigawa again, who's complaining? That's who's complaining? Actually, you know, you know what? I really want like, to go back to Kaladesh as well. Oh, yes. You know what? I'm liking this new Phyrexian angle. Mm. That's how I want to look at Kaladesh. I want this Kaladesh Ooh, Phyrexian yeah. angle. I want this glistening oil in the ether. That's what I want to see. Yeah, Would you like yeah. to cut my deck the... for me, buddy? Yeah. Mm. Nice. Oh, I haven't done that. Oh, sorry. Cut me, daddy. No. <gasps> oh, seven. seven. Oh. 
That's not not good much. Did you roll doubles? Left of trend. That's true. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ooh, okay. So I will seven? go first. Yeah, that was good. Lucky you. Look at that. Winning with Wait, you're average. not. You're going first. Yeah, I'm not first. Are you sure? Did you think about? It? Let me Ooh. hang on. Let me just. I'll keep this. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna mulligan. We'll wait till we're all ready with our hands, and then we'll start the game. That's probably smart. Yeah, I, think, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. That's what. Just say out. Oh you know God, what I mean? We have these big dice that you can actually like basically throw rocks at us. Oh wow! Yeah, that's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Also, you're pulling a card away. Oh. <laughs> Why do I have six cards in my hand? That's so weird. Fear, fuck, sex, even. I didn't oh. know. Something so satisfying about pulling exactly seven off oh. the top. Oh, oh right. It. You're like, Feels I so am good. one with the game now. Mm. Oh, that's a suspicious keep, but I'll keep it. Well, it wasn't it's suspicious really, until oh you God, said they're that. They're talking about Harold Holt in the chat. <laughs> yeah, they're based. <laughs> Go chat. My merfolk are good friends with Harold Holt. That's the one that, like... <laughs> Is that the one that drinks a lot of beer or the one that walked into the ocean? Walked into the, the, the ocean. Yeah, he has a public pool named after Yeah, yeah. that's great, isn't it? I, uh, <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It <laughs> makes me so proud to be Australian. That's why I said my yeah. merfolk are very good friends Ooh, with Harold Holt. That's where he went, bro. He just went to Ixalan. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we got 13 viewers right now, chat. Going off. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, Big going fan. off. Chat's People miss Hardcast. People miss Hardcast. Well, we miss them, honestly. Yeah. That's I'm not going to lie. I, I feel I feel like, like like the guest star on Game Nights right now, you know? Like You are. I feel like. Oh, the pressure's on. Yeah. Yeah. I Post feel like Post Malone is literally waiting in the other room to come in after you. So, dude, I, uh, Aaron Hansen though is Aaron Hansen here? No. Why? No, I I think it was like card because he can't like, travel. No, he was on Game Nights. No, as in that's his magic. His oh. magic show is called Shuffle Master. Ten White, oh. thanks for the resub. That was the joke. Maybe. I don't get it. I noticed. Well, and no, it wasn't that you didn't get it. It was that it didn't land. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what, it, that's what yeah. it was. It wasn't that you didn't get it. Oh yeah. All I'm around this. me are familiar things. You don't like that. That's the poker face. Oh yeah. I'm holding on to this. You don't look stoked about that villain. Oh, it's a, it was a, it's a hard Wait till he drops right, like ready really go? early stuff and it doesn't matter. Ready to yeah. go? Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. go. We're ready. Yeah. Uh, it's an island. island into Sol Ring. Every game. Every game. Into oh. Scrabbling Claws. Oh. <laughs> Alright, alright. Well, I was wrong. By the way, chat, I was wrong. <laughs> it's not avian. It never it's never avian. You know what I say this every game. I always go off at avian. It's never avian. Man it's played an, you. Man played an island for his first land, you know. Man played an island for man his first land. Man played an island for his first I'm not, land. I'm not gonna make that mistake. Setting the island pass. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to Dylan stacks his deck every I shock. wish. So I shock he sets it up. I shock in and then I tap one for curse catcher. Ooh, very nice already. Alright. Yeah. Right. Oh someone's getting first blood. It's a 1-1, uh, okay. yeah. It's a 1-1. One, one. Oh, neat. Um, what am I doing with that? Who knows? Maybe he's like, Ragavan. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, oh no, the dash is the haste, Trent. Uh, rip. No, he's got bell strike. Forest, sorry. My god. Oh my goodness, boys. Oh, half of the table knows how to play the game. Oh, uh, as I'm done. Okay, all right. Um, excuse right. me, I had a turn one play with a shock, thank you very much. A that's actually... Play that's going to get you a point as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, good luck, Get on Dylan. my level. Yeah, nice... Yeah, nice mountain, Dylan. Oh, hang on a second. Can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, chat. Uh, one, two, and I'm going to play down... a mechanized production on Sorin. Oh, good god, okay. <laughs> Okay. Value hmm. country B. Could be. Could be the least value country ever when somebody disenchants you. Yeah, all right. Go. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, righto, mate. Righto, <laughs> righto. Um, I'm going to play that land. Um, History tells us Dylan does not stack his deck. <laughs> I'm going to play two. Steak. I'm going to play a Felwar Stone and pass the turn. That's simple as that. Yeah, nice. Okie dokie. I am going to Leave up draw. <laughs> I'm going to play down an island. I'm going to tap two for a Talisman of Curiosity. Ooh, I'm going to tap nice. for a blue, damaging myself, and then I'm going to turn that into one an island as well. Uh, as a can I, all right. Yeah. Can I strongly, strongly recommend that you don't? You should attack me. No, I'm I'm, I'm going to attack you. if I don't have this, I can't deal with this. No, yeah, it's no, still no, a forest. It's still a forest. Oh, it's still no, a forest? It's just in addition oh, to its other types. Okay, that's, yeah, 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 that's No, fine. I don't have yeah. any of the cards that make them yeah, only you islands. you just have a tropical island now. Yeah, now you just have a tropical island for oh, free, yeah. buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, and it's I get a to draw a card. Jewel. I get to draw a card because I control a merfolk. Bada bing, bada boom. And then I'm going to get first blood on Dylan. Bada bing, bada boom. Right there. One damage to Dylan. So is that just... 
Sorcery put a flood counter on something? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. yeah and draw a card if you control Murfolk. Right. So yeah. Piper's on 39 okay. and, and I'm on 39. And a tribal Murfolk as well, so you can search uh, Piper's on 37. Oh, 37. No, I'm on 37 because, 37 because I shocked. Oh, you shocked yeah, as well. Yeah, Sorry, I missed that. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. <laughs> uh, you done skate one ski? Yep. Nice. <laughs> Is that a tropical island so the jack can see it? So <laughs> 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 Amy has on his board right now, guys. Did you, did From you play your first blood? Yeah. Yeah. First, uh, first blood. Right. He blew out yeah, their yeah, earbuds. The so, what are Foothills? Remember, uh, remember season one of yeah. Rex Age, your soul. <gasps> you did it to yourself, oh, man. You flew too close you to the sun. I didn't want to. Your wax wings melted, bro. Avi, you have to dab for us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> also, by the way, I, as we mentioned before, we have a new soundbite. Uh, next time Piper goes to flood counter AV, he's going to call an emergency meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't I'm do done after that. I'm just going to crack my foothills and uh, so I'll take one. Nice, nice. Shuffle up, search for deck. Uh, I will play a command tower. Spicy, spicy. Uh, and then I will just pass my turn. Okay. I will untap. I will draw. <laughs> Because I Icarus. Yeah. Apparently. Look, I Icarus. Apparently. I'm going to solve him. <laughs> um, I'm going to float two colorless and use a blue. Oh, actually. No. No, it's fine. I'll just make my commander. I'm going to cast Shorokai Genesis Engine and pass the turn over. Okie dokie. Untap. Up Bing. 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 Thank Draw. you so much. I cast my commander first. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything, but that it's fun. That means nothing. But chat, it's fun. Play a land. Ooh, got those nice woodblock ones from Kamigawa yes, too. Yes, they're all foil woodblock lands. I'm very, very proud of my land base. I'm not going to play down Kamino. Already popping off. Yeah, popping stuff. off. And then, uh, that'll be turn. Pass. Cool. Oh, I'm shuffling. Fun. And I want to cut. Thank you. Sweet. Uh, on tap. Okay. Draw. What you got? What you got? Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, and the Toa. Togo. All right. And sadly, I'm passing the turn. Oh no, but we're getting there. He's got one blue mana up, be careful. <laughs> oh no! That's the storm, not again! <laughs> we're gonna get Swan Song. I, I, yeah. I wouldn't put it past him, honestly. Okay, this is gonna feel like a very painful play, but it's something that needs to be done. Okay. Very ruined. Okay. Okay, Two. I guess it does. For the soul Sack ring? Sack it for the soul ring. Wow. It's technically ran. It's, it's, it's ran. For the soul ring. Tap the soul ring. Talisman. You were in a new low, my friend. That was I'm fine. In, I'm in a dark space. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like turn four. Go. It's fine. That's a good play, actually. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, um, so, end of your turn, by the way. Because Shorokai is not a creature, I can tap him immediately. Yep. True. Um, and I'm going to make myself a pilot token. I'm going to draw two cards, and I'm going to discard a card. I'm going to discard down a... Ethereum Sculptor. Nope. I'm then going to untap. I mean, the Sol Ring paid for itself for the very sure. ones anyway, so... Yeah. yeah. That's what, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, then... It's, it's definitely no e-witness getting a fucking Evolving Wilds that I've had to do in the past. That felt bad. I mean, when you have, like, when you have to do it, it's fun. I, yeah. I love tutoring for a land. That's really fun. That's that's my favorite one I've done. It was oh like yeah, a demonic oh, yeah. yeah, tutor, demonic tutor so demonic I can tutor for a swamp. Yeah. Oh, I need that second swamp. Yeah. So this can this can tap a blue, but it can't tap a white, which is not green, not the dream. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. Um, so because nobody else has yeah. anything like a if you had an exotic orchard, ironically enough. <laughs> um, so what I'm still going to do? Fell, fell was stone? Well, it no, doesn't it's count. It's only lands. Oh, lands. It only counts lands. I've had the uh, I've had the opposite way around where I played the exotic orchard and they had the Felmore Stone and I was like oh because that also checks uh -oh. them. Um, so then for three, I am going to play down Monologue Tax. So this one's in Amun Runes, but it says uh, whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, an opponent, I create a treasure token. Okay. Whenever they cast their second spell each turn. Fair. Not okay. during their own turn either. Not that that really matters, but all right. Uh, I'm just basically doing that. I'm going to play my land drop for turn. It'll be another island. And then um, for three, I will attempt to cast an Ashnod's Altar. Hmm. Mm, okay. Yeah, because cool. it lets me sacrifice these pallets for some value. Gets this going on. This, these three together are pretty nice. That's not an instant or sorcery spell, so it I can't do anything about that. It is your turn, though. You, I can pass it over to you. Go All ahead, right. my friend. All right. 
cool, 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 cool. So. What I'm going to do, by the way, for chat and for everyone else here, I'm going to move Shorokai down between my lands and my creatures when he's not uh, crude. Yeah, so he remains here when he's not crude. Because I've seen a lot mm. of like, it's like, I'm not going to go as far as to say Dryad Arbor issues, but I've seen issues with like thinking these are blockers or... Yeah, vehicles are sometimes hard to keep track of. Definitely track in, the, in the draft, definitely. Yeah. We saw a lot of it actually in the shark casting. We saw uh, in the last game a lot of it. Two, three, four. Play now four for Sea Hunter. Not a Merfolk, but very good for Merfolk. Very good, very oh, good. Oh, that's the one that tutors them to yeah. handle play. Yeah, uh, play. So pay cool. three, tap it, put a Merfolk from your deck onto the battlefield. Mm, okay, very pretty, powerful. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. Can I say, we are all in shoot, shooting forward. <laughs> yes, <laughs> indeedy. Um, you don't have any blockers right now. I, me? I have a pilot. Oh, you have a I pilot. Have, I have islands, but I do have a pilot. And I also uh, can make another pilot. That's fair. You don't have a blocker right now. I have nothing. You have nothing. I'm right. going to attack you for two commander damage, sir. <gasps> Ruined. Ruined. Utterly obliterated. Lay down at my life total. Anything else? Yeah. That's all. The, sorry, no, that's all. Entrance still on the throne. Oh, thank God. On the highest life total, correct. Uh, oh, um, we have a redeemed hydrate, by so the way. So I'm going to oh. trigger Togo. This is a new <laughs> thing, by the way, Avian. Uh, I'm a 39. Hi, Avian, by the way, we got a redeemed hydrate, so you have a drink. Muy importante. This is a string thing we do. You get 500, uh, 300 of your channel points. You can get us all to hydrate. Mm, because we tend to yeah, forget. We don't do it too much. Though, yeah, so don't. We ignore the spam I, chat, everyone. We ignore the spam. But <laughs> I don't want to have to pee. The spam. The, the spam is great. It just doesn't represent us drinking anything. It just represents <laughs> you guys having a great time. That's fine. Um, kind of like spamming poggers in the chat, which you don't do enough. <laughs> <laughs> so do that more. Spam pog PJ, please. Spam so, pog PJ. One, two, three, four. I'll play abundance. So if I would draw a card, I can choose net land or non land and flip until I hit that. Uh, and then pay Would one. Would me a library in random order or? Uh, in any order. Oh. Which can do some shenanigans later in the game with this. Um, if I get every land out of my deck, um, I can just order my deck. Mm. I nice. can get every land out of my deck, by the way. Just like it's like your it's like your own doomsday pile. Yeah. Yeah. Your little own doomsday. It's great. Um, I'm going to equip the rock onto Rex Sage and pass my turn. Cool. That's pretty spicy. Yeah. I've never done it, but <laughs> it can be done. It can be done. Is it just a tap ability? Like uh, when you put the, on the rock throw? The rock? Yeah. yeah uh, it's one cool. mana tap. Oh, okay. Sorry. It is yeah. one mana tap. It is one mana. Abilities. One to equip, one to tap. That makes Thanks. sense. That makes sense. That's good. God, if it was just one to equip, zero to tap. That's what I was, oh. yeah. I was going to say, I was like, whew. Um, that's a rare chat. That's not a uncommon come on. <laughs> I like Togo because I really want commanders that I can really feel like it's on fluff to play like lots of Goblin Welder cards. I love mm. Goblin Welder cards, but yeah. I find that slow bad is so bad that it's not like <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean. Two, two, colorless, and I'm gonna tap the Scrabbling Course for Improvise to play Reverse Engineer and draw three cards. Yeah, hell yeah. Mm. So one, two, one, two, three. I really enjoyed the fact that I drew lands. Are they more islands? One of them was. <laughs> That's good. Um, I'm proud of you. Yeah, three mana open stuff. I'm a big fan of that. One, two. An automated artificer. It's a new Ooh. card from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. I can tap and add a colorless to spend the mana only to activate an ability or cast an artifact spell, and it is a 1-3. In yeah. response to the cast, I trigger monologue tax. I make a treasure. Oh, yeah. Oh, second one, yeah. Yeah, second spell for the turn. It, it's no smothering type, but it gets you there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it's still good. It's my second white source. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so much. And then <laughs> you're welcome, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can board wipe. I'm going to untap. Wait. Damn it. Wait, no, no, no. wait stop. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna board, but ah, uh, sorry, ah, uh, sorry. I keep doing this because I'm not a Shorokai player. I'm gonna tap Shorokai. Draw two, discard one at the end of your turn. Uh, actually, you'll find this is comp rules, mate. We uh, we don't allow oh, that here. No takes backsies here, mate. Yeah. I drew a plane. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, you're welcome. I'm gonna discard down a divine visitation because I don't know if I need that right now. I kind of like I kind of like my waifus. I'm gonna untap, and then I'm going to draw. I do. Like secretly, really love 
that they've put anime girls into Magic the Gathering finally. Look, so I don't secretly time. love it. I just hey. outwardly adore it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she comes with Multi Kicker in the Secret Lair Street Fighter series. Like, I know, right? So yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. That's what we're talking about, right? <laughs> <laughs> PJ looking at me, give me looks. I'm going to cast, uh, just because, not, not, not for any great reason, but just because I love this card so much. I'm going to play Archeomancer's map, just in case you go off. Uh, so when I when this card enters the battlefield, I search my library for up to two basic planes cards, put it in my hand. Cool. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under opponent's control, if they have more lands than me, I just drop a land, like burgeoning. Oh, so But it's when they ETB, not when you play lands. Like okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go looking for two basic planes cards. That's cool. Yeah, I really like this card. I think it's quite good. What did um, that one come out of? This came out of uh, the Strixhaven Command series. Oh, fair. Right. So Strixhaven released a lot of really relevant, I think, white cards. For mono white decks, I think. I don't know if this it's is no like... Drum bellower. It's no like S percent at all or Drum Bellower, hmm. but, which are both in the stack. But it's... Uh, naturally. Naturally. But it's very, very, very good. Um, There's sorry. like a weird amount of white ramp now. It yeah. feels it's still wrong. It's still catch up ramp though. It's, it's still if your opponent it's still, has more. It's still bad ramp. But. <laughs> I, like, I like Keeper of the Accord as well. That's a really... That's a four drop, so it's hard to justify, but I like Keeper of the Accord. And they did release a new uh, Knight of the White Orchid called Loyal Warhound. So there's two Knights yeah. of the White Orchid now. Yeah. So it is basic planes, but... And I think it is still untapped though, which is pretty good. But so now yeah, these both in my hand. It'll be a land. Um... I'm going to pay two to cast Dranith Magistrate. So your opponents <sighs> cannot cast cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. You may only cast spells from your hands. I'd like I'd like you to not. I'm sorry, I am going to that's, do. That's the worst. Uh, but <gasps> it's okay. It's okay, chat. It's okay, everyone. It's okay. So I'm going to tap a blue, and, and I'm going to attempt to cast Hongify, targeting the Sea Hunter. No. In that social speed. Just because, like, I want, I don't want this to go off next Come time. Come on, man. Like, I mean, in two does Merlock's into play. That's totally fair. Yeah. <laughs> <Does it>? no. <laughs> Merfolk. Go, no, folk. no, it goes for um, one of my props. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. And, and I've got the island. Well, that's fair enough. I'm I have two mana, and I have astronauts and two guys. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You do get a monkey. I got a monkey. Get a monkey. I don't yeah. have a, I didn't make a monkey token. I didn't think oh, I need no. one. I only have elementals and... Uh, is there, there, a, is there a goblin over there, like a 1-1 one, one in those oh, yeah. right there? Because there's yeah, a monkey be. I think that's based on. Is it the 1-1? One, one? Yeah, one that's one a monkey. One. It's, based, it's based on me, so that's a monkey. <laughs> Alright, so then, um, we are going to... Come on, um, man. Yeah, we're going to go combat Dylan, two 1-1s one at you. Two 1-1 one, one pilots at you. Okay. Girls are back in town. Um, I will block one of the pilots with my 1-3. Oh, I thought it was a 1-1. One, one. My apologies. My apologies. I, sorry. I've got like the light bouncing off from that. Oh, yeah. That is 1-3. I thought it was a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Mind if I not attack you? My apologies, man. Actually, you know what? No, you know what? I'll attack you. It's fine. Back. It's fine. No, no. I'll just lose one and I'll, you'll just take one. It's fine. I got a lot of these. Uh, when damage. you block it, I'll sacrifice it for two colors. Whoa. 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 Ashnall's ultra plays. Unheard of. And then, and then it goes away out of combat. Well, I could just tap this, actually. I, could. I don't yeah. think I'm attacking with this turn or doing anything with this. I will. Why not? I'll tap this now. Uh, I'll make my other pilot. I just untapped her. Is this reconnaissance? <laughs> Crazy. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to draw two cards. Discard one. Yep. Discard one. Um, it's going to be a plane. No. Yes, a plane. Merlock um, Tribal was trans jam back when we played the WoW TCG from uh, Firex. Yeah, mm. so in, in the WoW TCG, you don't have to play uh, lands. There's no lands in the game. You just play, yeah. you play cards from your hand upside down, and that's your lands. Oh, neat. Yeah. That's so cool. I played, I like I played a card called Merlock Coast Runner, which had the keyword unlimited, which was basically Shadow Bond Apostle, and you put face down Merlock Coast Runners as all your mana. It was a really cool deck. Yeah, um, nice. Lastly, I'm going to go tap this for a blue, sacrifice the tapped pilot with Ashnod's Altar, and this is in May Phase 2, and then I am going to cast Propaganda. Buddy. Buddy. You are, you are surprisingly susceptible to propaganda. Go right ahead. I'm immune. <laughs> Avian is genuinely immune to yeah, a lot. Yeah. Like, chat, if, if you see him in the street, like, be careful, okay? Because he's immune to a lot. <laughs> I'm also fireproof, um, acid resistance. Uh, my cold resistance isn't great, but. I will pass. Okay. Yeah. But your frostbite resistance, now that's through the roof. Yeah, there we go. There you go, mate. Home path, uh oh. Uh oh. Don't take their 3 3 ape. Yeah, don't take my 3-3 three, three ape. <laughs> my monkey. This is my monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this monkey. Look at this dude. I'm going to play down a Lord of Atlantis, giving all other Merfolk Island walk. Okay. And you're all huh. right for the hitting. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. But I will leave them untapped for the moment. So 
So I'm going to pass my turn there. Just going to. Also, I think um, Empower Shaman was like the best deck of WoW TC. Firex in the chat is saying that he spent years trying to make Shaman a viable deck, but it was actually like Fire Shaman was the best deck at the end of the game when they ended it. Okay. It was um, like I Empower have Abundance for land. Empower Shaman. Empower Shaman. Ooh, okay. There you go. Okay. <gasps> so put this in hand. Oh, land. It's on the bottom. <laughs> Goodbye, Steve. You'll be missed. Uh, do I want to play anything before it? They didn't reprint Steve in Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. It's so upsetting. They, did. they gave that, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jukai Visionary? Shige Shigeki or whatever his name is? They made like a legendary version of it. They made like an. Oh, yeah. Shige they made like, it's a little bit more yeah. work, but it's a really cool version of it. So I'll make another rock. Lord of Atlantis. Oh, no. Uh, Skiddly beep. That's my rock. My god, you should just get photos of the rock. That should be all of your tokens. Just I'm working on it. Yeah. Yeah. Dwayne tokens. Uh, yeah. go. I'm going to equip Togo. Uh, then I'll also go Soul Ring for Swifties. Nice. One to equip it onto Togo. Yeah, cool. Everything's fine? Yeah. Sick. Um, go ahead. I've got two rocks to throw and no compunctions. I got 99 problem, 98 problems, but two rocks ain't it, either of them. Yeah. <sighs> I got two problems, and they are both rocks. Dylan, Dylan like, top decks the Apex fucking Devastator. The <laughs> four oh, quadruple cascade. Oh, um, all right. So I'm gonna, I can't cast Sahili. I've let you down, buddy. You know what? I've truly let you down. Untap. Pray for Dylan, chat. Pray for Mojo. Hmm. How many cards in your hand, Piper? Because you got a lot of open mana. Actually, you got three. a lot of open mana. You got three cards. Okay, so um, we're going to start with. I untapped. Did I draw for turn? No, I'll draw for turn. All right. Hmm. We're going to crack the pilot here for two colorless mana with the astronaut doctor. And then we're gonna. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Trent's. Jesus. Speaking of competitive environment, dropping my cards. Bam, bam. Judge? Then I'm going Judge. to pay. Play a land drop for turn here, play my planes. Um, and then I will add. So I've got two colors floating. I'm gonna add. White, white. Uh, I should be on 36. So I have two white and two colors floating, and I'll tap one more. I'll tap here. So I have white. Yep. And then I have the treasure as well. All right. And I'm going to play uh, Cleansing Nova to destroy all creatures. All creatures, you say? All creatures, yeah. I say. I'm going to pay two that gets heroic rid of intervention. Oh. OK, uh, so our priority goes around when Piper attempts uh, to cast I'm going to respond attention. to that. I'm gonna <laughs> throw one rocket commander and then throw another rocket commander. No! Are oh, they two damage each, right? Yeah. True. No! Yes! <laughs> oh, he's got he's he's he's, oh, he's three he's five. Buffed. He's got he's got an anthem, uh, he's a three five. True. Well, you can do I throw kill this first and then this. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty please? Can I throw it somewhere else? That's fine. Yeah, of course. That's yeah. Fine. Uh yeah, so one at that and one at first capture. Well I'm still gonna tab three to draw a card. Yeah. Okay. I have no responses. And then my Dranith Magistrate, buddy. Disappears. He slowed. Oh, he God. stopped it for a moment. Yeah, I don't want to keep it on the board too long. This is a game we're playing to have fun. Remember, he's just gonna. I just wanted that not to go crazy. Oh, oh wait, because you got a lot Kamina of artifacts, lives. and this just goes off. He's alive. He's yeah, alive. Kamina lives. That's right. Yes. Yeah, they both live. So does your monkey. My monkey. Monkey. Hey, monkey. Then I am going to <laughs> heroic intervention, and as like the shield is coming down from the heavens, the goblins are just like taking like, rocks <laughs> at him. Anointed <laughs> procession. <laughs> Ooh, okay. If the effect would create one or more tokens, it creates twice that many. He's not a creature, obviously. And then um, that will be my turn there. Quite okay. upset with that, honestly. Not a big fan. Just don't play blue and I won't target you. Problem solved. Uh, Problem solved. Yeah. I mean, you should play blue. That's my response to that. Got him. Got him. Got him, dude. That's actually color. a pretty good response. Yeah. yeah red's uh, pretty good. I'm going to... Yeah. Dylan it's going to enter tap because I don't have a forest you know. island to reveal for my hand. It's like we don't get to play dual cast mage. So what's the point of playing Magic the Gathering, really? Well, yeah, no dual cast mage. Excuse <laughs> Two, me. By the way, one of my three, favorite cards of all time. Chat. Four. Look up dual cast mage. It's good. C four oracle. Ooh, okay, alright. So whenever a merfolk I control with do damage to a player, I draw a card. No. And now y'all are kind of out of blockers. Some curious merfolks. 
So I can make more. Two blockers in response. <sighs> but I do have an island. That's that doesn't matter right now, sorry. Yeah, it's not, not a big deal. It would have mattered had I not cleansing go. I'm so thank going you, team. to... Thank you, Trent, from everyone. I'm going to attack Avian. Rude. Two so damage. Two damage. 37. And I'm going to draw a card thanks to my Seafloor Oracle. Hmm. So we're friends now, right? I, I let you draw a card. You let her. You, <laughs> let her do that, yeah. you allowed yeah. it from I the allowed. kindness of your yeah. heart, pass. Then, yes, you know what? We're best friends. Cool. Screw the rest of this table. Who needs them? Uh, what do yeah. I want? We're I ride want or die. Lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Best friends forever. Best friends forever, buddy. Always. <laughs> Besties for resties. Besties for resties. <laughs> Uh, You're on the cool side of the table, though, so... That's true. I don't know that because I'm fucking cold. Yeah, I want to <laughs> land. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you do. Ooh, okay. That's a good one. That's spicy. I like that a lot. And I get to order the bottom... Order these cards on the bottom. Is this a great hey, dungeon like warning deck? I mean, I'll shuffle them, so... Alright, so chuck those on the bottom. Uh, put Bestie the cheesecake in the chat. Uh, I'm sending some. Uh, ooh. I'm uh, sending some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll play the Great Furnace. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, for Kodama. And then I'll try and put some scrubbies. Um, Sorry. Pretty please. Ye hold on. Pretty please. So, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> An emergency meeting. <laughs> emergency meeting. So, um, I'm out here. <laughs> I want to respond to this. Because I do have a response. It's not going to be brilliant, brilliant, but it's going to stop. How many cards have you had, Amy? Uh, one, two, three, four. All right. You like rocks. Yes. I don't like rocks. You keep your rocks, Funny. you keep them away from me, and your Kadama resolves, right? Right? We're, we're, we're friends. If Kodama, or, if I, or it doesn't. <laughs> we're talking like a couple of turns, any amount. What are you thinking? You and me best, like just, you and me friends? I leave that? I, I won't. Don't, Throw rocks at you. Okay, cool, cool. Continue. That results. For how long? We'll see. We'll see. Hello, as see long as it takes. Last. See how long you can last about throwing rocks at me? How long can you last? I won't make a definite time limit. Of course not. I yeah. will avoid throwing rocks at you. That's fine. I like that. You know what? Until You're avoiding it. Until it's desperate. Perfect. You know what? I fully, I fully understand. See? I get it. I get it. That's fine. It results. Until the hand of Sharkai's cool. mech is coming down just like Scripties? on top of you. No response to that? That's all fine. I'm fine with that. See you. Yeah. Um, am I punching someone? Are you? Mm. I have a monkey. <laughs> a monkey. I have a Dude. monkey. Dylan has no monkeys. <laughs> He's got nothing. You can get island walk pretty easily. It's, that's true. One of my island walk enablers is in the graveyard. But e witness and such as well. Yeah, I'm actually just going to chill with Kadama. I Go ahead. Bet. It just has hex proof, which is always useful. Yeah, it's fun. Hey, <laughs> look at this monkey. I'm, I'm, He's thinking. I'm having, I'm deep thought. Dylan's back to his commander again. He's doing a concern. So, I'm going to cast Healy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Does it resolve? Oh my god. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, fine. Yeah, it's you, fine. You, you know what, dude? You've had a rough time so far, you know what I mean? You got your board wiped, you got your soul ring destroyed. I swear like, to god, though, if you win, like, right now, you, it's over. In fairness, you did put a giant target on your soul ring. I yeah. would never have rex your fine. soul ring if it went that's, for that. A, that's 100% perfectly understandable. Yeah, no, it makes perfect sense. You had to, you had to do that. I can also foresee a situation where we allow it to go for like a turn. You get that one token soul ring, and then later on, like eight turns later, you know, <laughs> it's like that one token soul ring becomes like eight token soul rings, becomes like twenty token soul rings. Like, yeah, yeah. I will plus one Sahili. To make a little friend. To make a little friend. Oh, oh my god! Friend. You guys can make. You guys make a lot of friends. I'm gonna respond to that. I'm yeah. gonna make. I'm gonna make two. I'm gonna make two friends. In response to your one friend. Oh, just to one of them. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. It's gonna make. Like, you guys got friends. so many friends, dude. Yes, these are my girlfriends, and yes, they both smoke weed. <laughs> I'm gonna draw two cards in this guy. <laughs> that's a little, that's a little classic. That's tumbler, a classic little Tumblr reference. A little, little, little Tumblr reference for those of you who don't get it. Look up Jory and the weed smoking girlfriends for those of you who don't get it. It's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I'll pass you. Is this like up. old Tumblr or modern day old Tumblr? Tumblr? Like this is like. I feel like I should. It depends on what modern yeah. time you define. Yes. Yes. Yes, it, it does. Apparently, like it's massive. My, my housemate spends a lot of time on it. I think that Voltron Netflix series like single-handedly woke up Tumblr. That and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Touche, touche. <laughs> and Lucifer on Netflix as well. <laughs> and what is it? She-Ra? 
You know, oh yeah, oh just yeah. Like a driving yeah. platform, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually you'd, th you'd th think the end of Supernatural would have killed it, but... No, no they made Destiel no. canon, remember? remember? As Supernatural ended now? Yeah. yeah. How many seasons? Like 23? 15. 15, okay. Yeah. I wasn't as far off as my joke was. <laughs> <laughs> also, the and My Hero... Concerning. yeah. The My Hero Academia side of Tumblr is also pretty poppin', so... I'm gonna cast a driving platform. Yeah. So when Shoot Mage enters the battle, I may search your library for an artifact of CMC2. Uh, does this result? We'll pass it around. Sometimes. Hey, yeah, you're fine. It's fine. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. I just, just being, just being, you know, just throwing it out there. Just being like, just, hey. just being a little bit of a funny little silly dude. I'm just being a silly man. Silly little guy. Mm. Just a silly little man. What could? What's the worst you can find? It's the worst I can find. I actually, mean, it's probably going to be friend shape. It's, prob it's definitely going to be friend shape. It's going to be a friend of a friend, actually. It's going to be a mobilizer mech. An acquaintance? Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, it's going for a vehicle, believe it or not. Because mobili mobilizer mech makes things very easy to uh, vehicle, uh, crew Shorokai. It makes it very easy. Mm. That's the one that wakes up another car, right? It yeah. does. Yeah. It wakes up, it's to wake Shorokai up. Wake up, Jeff. Thank you very much. I still love that it's the, jump the, the, the Wiggles got the top of the hottest 100. Oh, Dude, yeah. Dude, I'm going to go see them in April with um, easy death rays. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, nice. Yeah. I'd love to see them do like an actual live um, compilation with corn. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Ha have you have you guys that heard the uh, psycho salad mix? No, I had a long time ago though. Yeah. I'd have to re listen to it for sure. But yeah, just it's a really mashup good. of corn and fruit salad. Fruit salad. It's just the best. It's I think good. the guy who did the um, the one that I really like, the Carly Ray DMX one. Um, mm -hmm. I think he's the same guy who does it. Well, they are the same. Oh yeah. Um, X so Gone Call Me or whatever it's called. One of those ones. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna uh, car we've cast the mobilized mech. It's resolved actually. I think everyone's fine with that. Yep. Um, we're then going to crew the mech with the pilot, mm -hmm. and then it's gonna crew Shorokai. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then Shorokai's gonna attack Avian for eight because <gasps> he's got the biggest, most. Oh, actually, yeah, no, yeah, Avian for eight. I was right. Oh, I'll attack Healy. No, the one one servo. We'll just chump it. That's his job. Um, so Avian takes eight. Commander, mind yep. the way. Mm. Down to twenty nine. Down to twenty nine. Mm -hmm. And then. We will simply pass to your turn, Python. Stunning work. Honestly, stunning work. I'm proud of each and every one of us. How many cards in hand do you all have? I only have two. Oh, I no. have three. Uh, just before I draw for turn, I have three. Okay. And now I have four. Oh no. I just need to do that for me. I didn't know the math. <laughs> three plus one, one is... 18. Oh, Confusing. I'm, I'm that same number too, buddy. <laughs> too. We both came the same number. Besties. Besties. Mm. We could both be in maths A together. A is not a number. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Solve, solve for A. <laughs> One, two, and then another two. <laughs> I'm going to well, play. Oh, she tapped a homeward path. Quick, steal her shit. Thieving Skydiver. And I've Wait. picked it for two. No. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your Swiftfoot boots and attach them to my thieving skydiver. So when it enters the battlefield, Bastard. I can kick it and gain control of target artifact with CMC X or less. And if it is an equipment, I attach it to a thieving skydiver. That's right. Why didn't you steal the mobilizer mech? <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't do anything for them. Yeah, it really does. It hurts me a little bit, but they really. Now I have a now I have a hexproof haste flying blocker. Also, they know that I was threatening Avian with a response, and I'm gonna threaten the same way. So, but they didn't say that before, so that's fine. I was I was too busy in the um, in the mode. What that Avian put me on? In the in the. <laughs> oh, dude, that was just too funny. <laughs> Has that? Okay, so genuine. Genuine. Matt. Okay, I'm going triggered. To triggered. No, Never? unless you're no, because I'm at seven and you're at seven, correct? Oh, okay. I've been paying some close attention, but nobody's really. Yeah, close. I'm at seven. No, sorry, oh, I mean, I'm at it six. It still draws you two planes, so it, that's fine. I was really happy with that because I need the whites as well. I think this yeah. card's just really good in most situations. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I was in any kind of black or green, though, I would obviously, I think, maybe avoid it. Because, like, you're talking about Crypt That's cars, a flyer. Even the card, no, even no this is no. just a servo. But you don't have to attack me. I'm not going to attack you. You don't have to attack Saheeli, either. I'm, well, okay. I am neutered. I am <laughs> Hold not on. doing anything. How much damage are you going to do to Saheeli? It would just, it would just be two. I think I would recommend it. Because, yeah, like, you get to do all the stuff you want to do, but you're not getting closer to ulting. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's gonna be two damage. I, I don't get to draw a card. If I attack you, if I attack Sahili, I don't get to draw a card. I'm actually really negging myself here, buddy. Really true. It's true. So, you know, just remember that I'm really putting myself out for this, just because I respect you so much as a magic player and as the pilot of the Sahili deck. You know. That's what it comes down to. It's just to. a lot of respect, and I'm gonna pass. <laughs> cool. Uh, untap. 
up Why here. Why do I feel insulted? Uh, I'm going to draw a non-land. It's just the tone. Mix it up. Ooh, mix, mix it up. up. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Ooh. All right. Okay, bro. Gets two draw. lands straight off. Yeah. Whoop. Everyone on the bottom. Now, but which order are we going to put those two lands on the bottom of the deck, though? Uh, it's a big decision. If you didn't pay attention, you just don't get to know that information. It's I did not bad. pay attention. I didn't pay attention either, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I, um, it all I, believe it, I believe it was uh, Inventor's Fair, then Forest. Great. You can keep that information. Lock Good that one away for future that's, that's, use. You can lock that away for future Write use. Write that one down. <laughs> it's when he gets to the next like whole rotation of his deck and he's in the pitch zone, and you're like, uh, now yeah. I know what you're going to draw with the pitch, because like, you pitch these three at the start. Yeah, yeah. And then just plays down the E-Wilds. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Which, yeah, by definition, he would gut these searches up. For a Shire, Soul of the Wilds. Oh, that's <coughs> quite good. Uh, that's going to trigger for Dharma, uh, which lets me put in on a limited five or less. A, s a five or less. Yeah, permanent. Um, I just wanted to check some wording on that. So power and toughness is equal to the number of, for of lands you control, and non-token non creatures you control are forest lands in addition to their types. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so very sacred. that's going to let me put in a Valdic, oh, yeah. and then I'll tap this forest, and two lands for a uh, give a the grid. Uh, I will trigger and I'll get a trigger. Enjoy. And I will count as the uh, geo grid the grid. And I'll... How dare uh, you? Well, it's okay. You know, memory lapse it back to the top of your library. So you can non-lane land it. Uh, yeah, you're I'm so not, scary. I'm, I'm sorry. I just feel like you're immediately just going to throw like a, a hell of a lot of rocks at us. And there's also like this, this, and this still happening. So I'm still, you know, there's still have stuff happening. We're okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll I just see. Can't we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, go ahead. What are the chances? You of ask me nicely. I can homeward pass your swift foot boots back to you. Is it? Well, it depends on what you're doing anyway. Because like, oh, it's creatures. Creatures. if you're, yeah. if you're yeah. accelerating, yeah, I don't even want to interact with you right now, right? Because if you're accelerating, it's fine. Because you need to get into the game. But as long as you're not like directly interacting with my board. You the only reason you plus one reduce Ooh. the cost by the number of artifacts I control. Ooh. One, okay. two, three, four. Yep, yep. One, two, one more. Jin, Jin, Jin Gitaxis. Yeah, I knew it. I knew oh, it. Tyra. Any responses? I'm gonna pass priority. I'm okay with that one. I forget what he does. What? What do you mean? Whenever okay I one? cast an artifact, instant, or sorcery spell, I copy that spell. I may choose new targets for the copy. This ability triggers only once per turn. Whenever an opponent casts an artifact, instant, or sorcery spell, counter that spell, this ability triggers only once each turn. That's right. I, yeah, I like him. He's neat. One thing to note is the whole ability triggers once each turn, which means if you're uh, casting an instant on someone else's turn, if that person's already had one of their spells countered, your spell will go off. <laughs> yeah, it's not per player, which is really good. Yeah. Um, and then I am going to leave it there, because I think I've peeked. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, I'm going to reread the specific words. Like nothing on the end steps. Is awesome. Awesome. Artifact, instance, or sorcery. Oh, cool. I only play creatures. <laughs> Shamrock says sticks and stones may break my bones, but a full board will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Imagine having a board and bullying a rock boy. Absolute degeneracy. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Um, see? Oh, Stop like, bullying Rock Boy. Well, look, I'm no, I'm only bullying the player that I perceive as my most immediate threat, and unfortunately, my only way to deal with that threat is to simply attack. Um, but for now, I don't want to do that either. I think I'm gonna play my kind of land here, uh, and then I'm gonna keep this in my hand. I'm happy with that. I think it is. Let's go like this, right? And let's crew the mobilizer <laughs> mech, and we'll crew the Shurikai, doesn't matter. Trent saw Avian and chose so violence. Up to one, so it won't crew the Shurikai. Oh, okay. And then, just so I don't have to worry about anyone just popping it. Just because I want to deal three to a seal. Boop. And then, um... Whoa. She's still alive, though. She's hanging on for dear life. Alrighty, on so tap. counter the first instant sorcery or artifact, right? Correct. Yes. I will keep draw. That's fun. That is quite fun. Hmm. Actually, you know what? We're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a red hot go. Three, four, five. It's a big creature. Seedborn Muse. Ooh, all right. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. Go Any on. responses? No. Uh, I've got sadness. Would sad. anyone like to cast their first instant or sorcery this turn, perhaps? Oh, no, no responses. <laughs> oh, I don't care. Go ahead, yeah. That's great. <laughs> I, I want that more. I'm like, cool, Phyrexian Metamorph. <laughs> no! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no! You taught me a lesson. Stunt double, stunt double. Alrighty, so I'm going to enter combat. Um, flying blockers. 
I have none. Denata. You can kill Sahili if you want. You know what? As long as this kind of stays away from me, I won't kill Sahili on you I, right now. I have no way to actually like attack and deal damage. He doesn't want to kill Sahili. Because lets him recast it and then lets him get the counters back up. And we can't like fair interact enough. with it because of the Kajuka as well. That's so. fair enough, yeah. I think he wants you to kill it. Yeah. I also just kind of want to draw cards, you know? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't so have a flying blocker, dude. You don't have a flying blocker? Just attack me, I'm I, fine with that. I'm going to hit you with my... Ooh, I'm going to hit you with everything, actually. So this is going to be tapping to give Kamina unblockable. Yeah, that makes sense. So unblockable, two, four. Okay, sure. So four I'm damage. just taking both of these. Yes. Okay, sure. Cool. So the trend taking four? Yep. Yeah. Two of which is... Pipe Commander. Yes. So... So Trent down to 36, Oops. taking his first damage this game. Taking two commander damage. Everyone's on right? two commander damage so far. Yes, yeah. that is Trent's first damage of the game. And then I draw two cards. Fire Axe, I think Seaborn Muse is probably right. a bit stronger in this situation. Just a quick life life check for everyone. I'm on 36. I've, I've got me on 36, Trent on 36, Piper on 37, and Avian on 29. Yeah. Correct. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to play my land for turn. Woo! Island. And then I'm going to pass turn. Okay, cool. Untap. Untap. Now, if we need to as well, I can try and find cards to cast on your turn to just counter a card out of my hand. If we need to remove the Jinka Oh, okay. But yeah. that's the thing we need to do. Um, I can try I'm and find abundance a for a land. Okay. Goodbye, Gipper. Goodbye. So in a way, I kind of did up. counter it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in a way, I kind of did get rid of it forever. Forest. Alright. No, I don't. You, oh, these are also on tabs. Sweet. Um, I'm going to... How many cards do you all have in hand? One. Four. Dose. Four. Oops, no. Um, forest. Wheel. Trigger, nothing Counter. happens. Uh, one. Is that a May? No, I think no, it's... No, it happens. Nice. Uh, Blasphemous Act. Counted. 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 I'm like, stifle. Hold <laughs> 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 oh, <no. laughs> Uh, seven. Sandstone Oracle. So when it enters the battlefield, choose an opponent. If that player has more cards than you, draw equal to the difference. Uh, I'll put the Kodama trigger on the bottom and Sandstone Oracle trigger on the top. I'll Assuming it resolves. Yeah, I'll respond to the cast, because are you responding at all? No. All right, so I'll respond to the cast, and I will look for something here. So I'll tap Shorokai, draw two, discard one. If you don't attack me, I can tap three Merfolk, draw a card, so you get one more card. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> OK. I just don't want you to attack um, me. I'll discard a... The politics. Hmm. Yeah, I'll discard a Hedron Archive. No, I think that's fine. I won't do anything else. That's fine. Continue. All right, sick. I'm fine with that. That's okay. Um, I'll draw five. One, two, three, four, five. And then a Kadama trigger. And then a Kadama trigger. The Fire Axe says one, one, bl one black instant counter target game. <laughs> Yeah, what's the what's the sorcery? It's like uh, one with nothing. You just like play it, discard mm. your hand. That's a that's a real counter spell. The game. I turn one. I don't play a land. I one with nothing. I uh -huh. She go. stands alone. Uh, so I'll put an inspiring statue into play. We should uh we should have one one episode. Oh, uh, sorry, I also have another treasure from the monologue tax trigger when you can't do a second spell on the sandstone. Yes. that's what I did. Respect it. Right. Sorry, my apologies. So trigger trigger. But trigger activate. Nice, 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 nice. We should nice, have an nice. episode where Shaharazad is legal for us. No, we shouldn't. Yeah. We absolutely should never do that. Yeah. Absolutely never. Uh, well, it's like a dungeon. Shaharazad burning wish to grab the Shaharazad from the, yeah, the, the <laughs> top player. You just gotta, you just gotta make sure we we ban the burning wish. You know what I mean? We legalize None the Shaharazad. None of the other wishes, we, though. No. The other wishes. Glittering stay. wish, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so one, two. Oh, let me double check. Yep. One, two, three. No, that's a forest. I forgot. I thought that tapped for red, but it's a forest. Oh, what else am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> so just, just Shamrock and chat. Yeah, always a good idea. Let the Simic player draw more cards. Well, you were just going to draw the cards, but I was surprised that you went with the extra before Avian because you could have just drawn after, right? Like That's fair. You didn't really. I guess I you just, could argue that, like. I just feel like this is, you know, this 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 could be. It's, it's good juju. It comes yeah. right back around. It's you and Avian at the end. He's like, I could lethal you, um, but you gave me that one card. Yeah, I gave him that one card. Mm. Uh, I think I have the sadly pass. Um, yeah. That's right. okay. Um, oh. I'm going to, at the end of your turn, I'm going to tap one for Worldly Tutor so it doesn't get counted. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, okay, cool. Ooh, very nice too. Good idea. Yeah. Smart. Draw for turn. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. You want to tap everything, don't you? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Jesus. You really got into that one. I'll just plus one and add a servo. Very nice. Now I have dos servos. Dos servos. Um, I'm a huge fan of Sandstone Oracle. Does not see enough play, but I think it's so Then I'll just play Izzard so yeah. Boilerworks and put an island back into my hand. Neat. And pass my turn. At the no end attacking. of your turn, I'm going to no attack attacking. Spring Merfolk to draw the Thracios that I just I got decked. I only have these open. Let's go. Cool. I only have the 1-1 one, one and the 2-2. Two, two. Why do I think this is a trap? Because it um, is. I don't know, maybe it is. Yeah. I can't cast these spells, though. Thracios. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Sorry, the yeah. They, these, these no, I still feel like it's a trap. Oh, it probably is, yeah. So, I'm going to untap. Oh, sorry. Actually, my apologies, Dylan. I did also forget that I do have two of these. Yeah. When I activate on Amy's turn. And also... So technically, I guess, my apologies, but... I don't oh think no. I... Oh, then it would have had five. Ah, oh, see, it would have really trapped you, my apologies. It would have paid two mana as well. Um, all right, so, um, we're going to untap. My apologies there, chat. We're going to untap. I keep thinking about making the pilots thing, because it's like... Cause I just like drawing cards. You just, you just honestly, honestly... It's those, it's those first three okay, words. Also, just for the reference, yeah. just for reference, chat, I'm not cheating. I did just tap three Merfolk that would have untapped at the start of Dylan's turn to draw this that I would have put on the top of the deck at the end of Avian's turn. So it is in my hand now. Cool. And everything's untapped because we're in trance turn. Yep. Hmm, spooky. Spooky scary. We're going to play down like an Academy games. Ruins as my land for turn. Let's be put artifacts from my graveyard to my library. Um, hmm. Very tough, very tough. You ever just think? No. Just in general. <laughs> Cannot no. relate. No. Seaborn Muse MVP. Mm. Very strong. What is it strong. not? Like, what a surprise. Like, yeah. like, I'm not going to lie. There is a very, very good reason Avian has eth ethical objections to the card. Yes. It's an unethical card. But, uh, m m like, I, I feel like because tapping and untapping shenanigans is such a core concept of my deck, it's got a lot of synergies to it. It's, it's not, not just world file. <laughs> You're right, it's not a red card. For three, I'll just cast Vizier of Tumbling Sands. So if you untap permanence, kind of gives me some more draws with Shorokai. Uh, but it does not have haste, obviously, so I can't do anything this turn. Um, we're going to send... I guess we're just not going to send, bro. I think we're just going to leave it. I think is... It is possibly go to combat, crew the Mobilizer mech, don't crew Shorokai, and kill Sahili, just because, like... Makes you recast it. Um, it's not that great. Then it's, it's going to be... It's something. It's, it, I feel like it's mm. fine. Um, and I'm going to move over to your turn, Piper. Go right I'm going to go to my favourite part of everyone's turn. Tap three more folk, draw a card in your instep. Yeah, very strong. Oh my god. Alrighty. I'm not sure which I'm most worried about. Gin draw. or Seabomies? Oh yeah, exactly right. I'm hoping that Seaborn Muse just in some way stops Piper from drawing things like Finale of Devastation, Cyclonic Rift, that kind of stuff. I'm mm -hmm. hoping just, I think Jin Cataxius is that necessary evil actually. It actually right is now. kind yeah. of yeah. doing a little bit, I'm not going to lie to yeah, you. I think that's what I'm happy with, so. Um, just want some good, clean magic. I just want some, yeah. Bark Channel Pathway. Yep, yep. Good, um, clean magic. One. Feels good, man. Yeah. Feels very good. Just play Red Grain and beat down. Three. It's clean, it's good. My gear shaft decks at home. Lol Mage Mentor. Any responses? What does that do? Uh, so whenever a spell or ability I control counters a spell, I may put a 1-1 one, one Merfolk Wizard onto the battlefield, and then I can tap 7 untapped Merfolk I control to counter target spell. Very, very good. Especially with the Seaborn Muse. Yeah. So we pass over to Avian's priority first, obviously. 1, 2, yes. 3, 4. I only have 4 Merfolk at the moment, so it is not live to counter spells. Oh, no, I got nothing. Yep, and then we uh, move to pass. And then I'm okay. Cool. I don't have responses. Then or at least I'm not interested. I will tap 2. For my Thrasios. Uh, trigger? No. Oh, yeah, true. That Thrasios came from the moon. And it's. <laughs> Artifact Instant Sorcery, yeah. Correct. Yes. And then I really, really did this in the very wrong order, but I'm going to play it on Guardian Project <laughs> after that because oh, I'm. Because yeah. you remember how I was like, I don't like thinking? Sequencing! Sequencing? Isn't that for nerds? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. So uh, five Merfolk, though, still scary. Yeah, I have, I have five Merfolk at the moment, so I am going That's to... That's the one we can stop having as well now. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to get big. Uh, so I am going to then enter combat. I'm going to tap the Thracios that I just played down this turn with Kamina's ability to give Kamina unblockable. Uh, and then... 
<laughs> not me, buddy, no. Not me, buddy. Now I'm going to attack Trent. <laughs> oh, ah! I'm on four commander damage. Four commander damage. There's, damage there's damage a propaganda. Oh, oh, there is, yeah. oh, oh, there is a propaganda. You, okay, never mind. Yeah. Thank you, Avian. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, you. thank you. Um, thank you, chat. Uh, thank you, Avian. Thank you, everyone. It's gone, Avian. Let's go off. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Are you Actually, one no. Uh, one, this one, you don't, you don't do flying blockers, right? No. This flying, this flyer will go at Dylan. Camino will go at Avian. Does Avian oh. have commander damage on him from Camino? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah so he's different. on four now. Yeah, my apologies. So Avian's on twenty-seven, and I'm on thirty-four. Nice. And you draw two cards, don't you? Yep. Congrats. Congratulations. Cool. So I'm going to. <laughs> I'll make your cards. Thank. Thanks, PJ. I don't recall. Rule one point one A. Oh, the magic play, play. comprehensive rule. Sequencing is for nerds. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to end my turn now. Cool, yeah. On tap. Okay, on tap. Can you draw. Uh, I want an on land. Uh, by the way, Fire Axe, if you want to organize with me some WoW TCG stuff, I would do a. I would do something Scoot on Swarm. Oh, WoW TCG cool. For fun. Ooh. That's a fun one. That's oh. exciting. Does that look for whenever another permanent? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, it's crazy, yeah. yeah. Scoot Swarm, land. It's yeah. not non token. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the, you still need all the lands in hand. That's the hard one. Now there is, and but the is copy of Scoot Swarm is the same CMC as a Scoot Swarm, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's playing like uh, you still run out of stuff, right? You are playing like the thing is, is like Avian's not playing like the Gruul Turf That's layer, right. where it's like you keep doing the infinite, which is a little bit immoral. Four, five. <laughs> yeah, I took, almost, I took them all out of the deck. Almost as immoral as a Seaborn is. Oh, not right. quite that immoral. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Toro responses. Yep. Um, do you respond? Would you pay? Five. Yeah, he did. With him. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yep. Yeah, no response. Um, no, uh, no. It enters the battlefield. Um, it's a land. It triggers itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so makes, makes a rock. <sighs> okay, I need, like, all right, we're there's gonna, some triggers here. Triggers right. go nuts. So Togo triggers himself and Kodama. Um, make a rock. Trigger which Kodama. triggers Kodama as well. Triggers Kadama again. Um, I before. <sighs> okay, so Togo trigger on the bottom, Kadama trigger on the top. Uh, so I'll make the rock in a second. Before I make the rock, I'll put a Scoot Swarm into play. Uh, then I'll make a rock that Which triggers Tog. Uh, Scoot Swarm triggers Togo. Yeah. Why is it trigger Scoot Swarm? Sorry. Is it a, is the no rock Scoot Swarm is triggering Togo because Scoot Swarm's a land. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yes. Sorry, sorry. The, the token the copies aren't lands. Yeah. Sadly. Okay. Um, so I'll make a second rock there. Does Scoot Swarm trigger itself? Scoot Swarm triggers itself. Which creates a copy. Hyper Avian's going to gonna have to borrow some of your playmat. Play mat, yeah. if that's okay. So there's, there's a... Yeah, that's yeah. no worries. All right, so you've got a... And now a Kadama trigger goes on the stack. So you still got a three-mana so, three Kadama trigger. Yeah. And you put Scoot Swarm in with a Kadama trigger, so then you've got two zero costs from the two <laughs> rocks. Oh, you nerds think. Uh, yeah, so I've got... And uh, one, okay. two, three more triggers of Kadama on the stack. But it's very important for about zero this. cost things. Yeah, which is only a Dark Steel Citadel right now. Uh, for a third isn't one, this, isn't this a, th a three cost? Just, yeah, but it's not a land. It's uh, a three cost. No, but it's a yes. permanent that enters yeah. without. Uh, yes. Yes, correct. Sorry, that also triggers. Um, so that, that that's at the bottom of those of those zero activations though. That's the last one activated. Yeah. Like I'll try and be super careful about the ordering of this. Um, but it's going to be so hard. you get another copy of Scoot Swarm. So you've got two th CMC three or less Kadama triggers to resolve. Mm. Um, oh, there's two in play, so I get two copies. So I now have three Scoot Swarms. Yeah, three copies of Scoot Swarm and the OG Scoot Swarm, which is three, uh, two and a like three, so three, 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 three CMC Kodama or less triggers. Kodama triggers. Yes, um, it's not happening. Sure, just, okay. just, yeah, yeah. Those triggers still on the stack, though, and they all just yeah. empty out. Yeah, and now we've emptied the stack. Uh, yes. Cool. That's what. Sorry, that's what I'm making sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, triggers! So See, this triggers. is why I want to be a Pokemon professor, because there is nothing at instant speed. Because <laughs> <laughs> that is too hard, man. Um, Volgames Live says, I hate this card, Dark Steel Citadel. <laughs> what do you like about it, Volgames Live? Indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wasteland it. So I'll play a tapped Balagad Sanctuary. Uh, so that'll make four more. Put me up to. Seven scoots. Uh, one more rock. I'll then equip four rocks. 
on the Valduk. So, uh, he gets all four rocks. Um, I also have that. Ooh, I need to think. That's hard. Yeah, I know. I don't like it. Uh, Jin Kataxis is annoying, and I hate him. Card very good. <laughs> uh, so it's a lazy dad. I love my prey Beginning tours. of combat. Four three make ones. Four three one dudes. And they die at the end of the combat, right? They die at the end of combat. Yes. Yeah. Um, I gave you that extra card that one time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm still scared of you. <laughs> no, yeah. that's fair. You never specified how long I wouldn't attack you for. I didn't actually specify anything. No. I just thought this would c just come back and help me at some point. How do you suck? How do you suck? There needs to be concrete wording. Yeah. We need a lawyer in here. Uh, yeah, I really need this to be legally just binding. Just rolls a piece of paper out of the uh, whole thing. All right, so do you want to sign in section four? Are any five of you actual six? notaries? Mm. No. Oh damn. So you've Damn got it. a 2-4, two, a 2-4, two, a 2-3, two, you can block it really easily. Yeah. You can't. But I have propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> if I can't kill Jim Kataxis, I'll have to kill the player. He's done it to you before. Yeah. Like, it's that's a hard card staple. I can't <laughs> don't kill Avian's cards, I kill Avian. Like player removal is a yeah. very good strat. Goes yeah. both ways. It is. It's also like, it's, um, just, it's just respect, you know? Sorry, not sorry. Hit me four, three ones at you. You can block one. I will block one with Jinky Taxes. Cool. I'll so I take nine. Yep. No, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you block one, you I'll take nine? You, hold on, hold on. Let me help out for a second. Emergency meeting! Emergency yes. meeting! Oh, oh the top of the rock. Yeah. Think about that. Oh, Sorry. No, I won't block. No, I'll take all 12. <laughs> it's cheating. Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that. Not I'm upset about this. See, like, um, we're friends. Those was, two are obviously friends. Blockers. So yes. you only took so nine. I was, I was, you know, you, see, I got you. So did you take nine or 12? Yeah, I, I took 12. I'm down to 22. Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, so then after that, I will move one rock onto a Shire. Yeah. Why is this tapped? Because uh, it's you a forest. Oh, yeah, you tapped. Oh, it's a forest. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the, the board states with this deck get complicated. Did you not read, Dylan? It's yeah. clearly a thing. All right, all right, all right. Um, oh, yeah, it says it right <laughs> clearly. <laughs> yeah, see? Uh, artifact creature Sphinx Forest. Yeah. Artifact creature land Sphinx Forest. Exactly. Um, Judge. That's a good semblance amble target. <laughs> 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 I can put my lands to the board right now. Uh, no, no, no. Curr currently, I do not have any laws on the board. Okay. Um, Everything shows a fa pow face power toughness. I guess I will. Pass the turn. In the end of your turn. I'm going to tap five Murphy to put one more counter on it. With that on the stack. Okay, yep. I'm going to throw two rocks at Sea Uh One from Valduk and one from Ashaya. Uh, so that's one mana there. And. Uh, where's my second mana coming from? We really should have put the uh, boots onto oh, no. Sea Bomb. No, I just time. played him. I think it has to be Kadama. Uh, I got mad blockers, it's fine. So. Mmm, God, I love rocks. <laughs> you, like you just you just snipe things out of nowhere. People forget. Yeah, so I really should have put the boots. Uh, I got no responses. Unless anyone would like to save my seaborn muse for un unbeknownst <laughs> Absolutely reasons. Not. I'm gonna I'm gonna in response to that. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna tap Shorakai to see if I can draw into an instant I can't cast, um, and I'm gonna discard Exotic. <laughs> cool. You my seaborn muse is dead. One result. Oh, great. Yeah. Stifle. Stunning. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that's fine. Now back to my turn. Yeah. Cool. Go nuts. No. <laughs> no. You can also scrabbling claws it later. Well, you right. got in oh, there a little bit early because I was just about to tap out though. all of my mana for Thracios. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. joke's on you. Rock says that Avian sounds like Mole from Atlantis. I love Mole from Atlantis. Yeah. I don't know if I'm offended by that. No, you, it's not. I think I'm not. No. I think that guy is a fairly. R word caricature, but yeah, maybe not. Yeah. You know? <laughs> My French accent is Risotto. not as good Risotto. as Risotto. It's, it's not, not R word, word, it's French. French. <laughs> <laughs> it's a language. <laughs> Sahili. Any responses? Uh, no. I'm just waiting for you to pop off and kill us all. Oh, right? It's like, it's so tentative over there. It's, it's, it's down to my card draw, it really is. <laughs> the Jinga Tax has been sitting there for so long. I just know any second now. Vessel of Endless Rest. Cool. Copy. Co copy your ramp. Go nuts. 
Okay. I believe but in you. It also gets for cards with bottom. Third card from a graveyard on the bottom of its own library. Okay. I will pull can I have a cleansing nova in the bottom of my library so I can find it to deal with Avian's board? Can just I have a sea like is in the bottom of my library just to, just no. to sow chaos? You'll get it scrabbling claws in a second. <laughs> you know what, let's, let's forget about the sea bomb. <laughs> Don't even get into it. <laughs> Insane. It's a tempting offer. I mean, like, look, I have to still get into it. I can't promise you I can even get into it. I'm just saying, in case you don't have two targets. No, I'll, I'll, still, I'll put these two yeah, back in my deck. That's fine, yeah. Mm. yeah if you have two targets, go ahead, man. I'm not saying. And then just shuffle them top, and next turn you can find one. Problem solved, yeah. Just make sure you don't let anyone cut. <laughs> <laughs> you know the classic rules. Um, um, so then I will tick up Sahili. I feel like I haven't been able to call any emergency meetings so far because everyone's like exactly. removal of my board have been justified. Servo. Entirely justified, yes. Yeah. <laughs> very, ju yes, very justified. Incredibly and entirely justified. Uh, and then I will. Positions for everyone else. Yeah, we're all moments. From yeah. Past my turn. Blowing everything. Photos up. taken seconds before disaster. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to tap Academy Ruins to top deck Hedron Archive to draw it for turn. No, no, I'll top deck Ethereum Sculptor to draw for turn. The cheapest card that Dunic Dax is going to get. Hey, hey, what's happened? At the, end of your, at the end of the turn, I'm going to Academy yeah. Ruins. This what are you getting? Top. What is it? Ethereum Sculptor. Oh, do you? I guess, yeah. You have to sacrifice your Scabbling Claws to do it. Otherwise, I pick the target. Yeah, but like... Yeah, it, because it... Yeah, I'm still... I can still, still... By the way, I can still draw just a card that you can just counter. And I have this draw and draw as well. I can just draw a card that you counter. Yeah, I'm but just... this is in my face right now. Okay, sure. And it can slow... It can... You're, I'll take the chance. The Seed Bomb uses safe so for now, baby. Card. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm doing this in your turn. It'll untap before I draw in my turn. I'll do it again and target another artifact. Are you sure you still want to do it? Sorry, what? As in, like, this is doing at the end of his, his turn, but I'm still going to untap and upkeep and draw an artifact to still have that trigger. I'm still going to be able to do it even if you exile my one artifact, because I have two artifacts in the He's game. He's making a lot of really strong arguments for you not. I do not doing think this. you should exile an Ethereum Sculptor over a possible avian yeah, or seed bomb use. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I just don't think. I think this is like <laughs> out of a possible avian or seed bomb use. Yeah, exile me. Exile avian, it. dude. Because trust me, when all these cards go to the graveyard, you're going to want to find targets for scrabbling claws. All right. So, um, it's not if when when, what do you mean when? not main, if the main thing there for me was like the cost of Ethereum Sculptor versus the other artifacts you have. No, it's a good point. Like, I feel that, I feel that. But I feel like the cost of losing... I think this is going to be very relevant because it's, it's in response as well. So, I like you were doing it in the sense that, like, that's really relevant to, like, re like cards that are going to re resurrect stuff, maybe, possibly. Mm. What uh, I fear most right now is you getting yeah, card draw, Trent. Because you have so much mana. I have lots of mana so and many lots pilots. of card draw. Yeah. Um, so, we are going to start with... Um, I think this is the longest I've ever seen like an Ashnod's altar on the table. That yeah. Someone hasn't like either destroyed it or won with it. To be fair, yeah, I was gonna say winning with it is really important. Um, I'm gonna start with the obvious. I'm gonna attempt to cast uh, Ethereum Sculptor, and then I'm gonna go around the table. This triggers automatically anyway. Well, it yeah. triggers last. Yeah. yeah. So if somebody else responds, it'll negate that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's no, still trigger. Good. No, it just goes on the stack straight away. Just oh, it, it goes straight on the stack immediately. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was still going around. Oh, my bad. Uh, yeah. My apologies. I didn't realize it was a trigger. My apologies. Yeah. Um, so that'll get counted. My apologies. I thought you activated it. My bad. Right. Um, so that gets counted. And then I will... Still looking for things. I will tap Shorokai first with a what? Uh, with a Belwa stone. Drawing two cards and then discarding a card. Don't forget to make your... And I make... I'll now start going to uh, my eight. Well, I'll have... I'll have two here. And then I'll have six that are... Um, these are summoning sickness. These are treasures. Oh, sorry. I also did tap all five of my Merfolk to put a 1-1 one, one counter on all Merfolk yeah, I control. Yeah. So I need to yeah. grab some of these. Go right ahead. Then... I'm going to draw two discard one. I'll discard a plane. And then I'll tap the Vizier of Tumbling Sands to untap Shorokai. Oh, I'll right. That is a lot of card draw. Yeah, right? That's what I was saying. Yeah. yeah. And then I will tap this these pilots. I'll tap one of them. So, well, I'll do tap. Oh, I got, no, hang on. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, this is why I have so many of them. Like so. And I'll crew this. Oh, I don't want to do that right now. Because I can crew this, crew this. I'm really worried what you have too. Little old me. Little old you. Little old me. Little old you. Very what have I done? Stuff. 
Um, <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Right. I'm less scared of you without the seed blue That's fair enough. Yeah. You know that that makes that makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna seed blue not cr not quite good. anything. Yes. I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna make two. Oh. <sighs> Will I? That's so tough. It's so tough what I'm doing right now, guys, because I, I it all falls apart. I want to find more cards to see if it doesn't fall apart to Piper responding to me. But it probably will. So I'll have to do it the way I, I guess I have to do it, which will be white, white, blue, two colorless. The way God intended. The way God intended. And I'm going to just hard cast Time Wipe. Casting Time Wipe, return a creature I control in my own, they own his hand, then destroy all creatures. Mm. I'm going to respond by Thrasiosing. I like it. I like it. I like it. Putting that to the bottom. Then revealing the top card of my library. It is a Cryptolith Rite. Okay. So I'm. That. That's really good. Yeah. That's, you, that's it. Okay. You're not doing it again. Um. Well, I, if, if I you do, you could draw a swan song. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I have swan song in this deck. Oh no. I think swan song's in Shabras. Oh, it is. Yeah. You might be right. Oh, my bad. Um. Because yeah, I, I can technically do it again, but if I do, I don't have enough mana to cast whatever counter spell I could draw. Ah, uh, right. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> that's upsetting. That is so upsetting. I think I'm still going to do it anyway, just because... Yeah, I think it's because it's going to go off anyway, gonna, right? Yeah. So, scry... And you could play a land if you don't think you're going to get an, an, like a spell. You can just play Yeah, I think I might actually... Ramping is good because you don't... Yeah, so I'm going to keep that at the top, going to reveal. It is Simic Growth Chamber. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's really good. And then... Um, all right. What's your target to bounce back, by the way? Uh, no. There's no target. target. A, a creature. creature. Oh, okay. It doesn't target. It just makes. It just. <laughs> What's your target? Play. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have a target. It just says <laughs> cool. return right. a creature. I, then just I got no responses. All right. Yeah. So then, so then when it resolves, I will return tribute mage to my hand. Cool. Uh, I'll return vizier to tell me stands in my hand. Sorry. And then everything dies. I'll let this go. Cool. Cool. You, Bye, forgot, to, you forgot to destroy the rocks. No. No. <laughs> no. The rocks remain. Oh, by the way, guys, I know I kind of just Armageddon uh, Avian there. <laughs> I don't think it counts. Shit, what was that? Oh, oh that was... is so upsetting. I finally lose this monkey. Mm. Ah, look at this dude. Um, so. I still have his boots, though. <laughs> 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 my, my one card on board is Avian's boots. I will boots. take them back somehow. <laughs> you have a Guardian project. Oh, so sorry, yeah, no. 50% of your cards on board For three. are someone else's. Yeah. I'm going to play Vizier of Telling Sands. Mm -hmm. For three. I'm gonna play. Oh, I should have sacked a bunch of stuff with astronauts, but whatever. I'll play Drum Bellower. So it's flying under oh, all creatures I control. Why did Vizier go back to your hand? Because of uh, time wipe. Yeah, it's. I, I, I let the tree mate. Oh, you I chose you chose Vizier instead. Yeah. I chose Vizier instead. I thought about it and went, no, I'm gonna go Vizier, I'll let this go to the graveyard. Um, so I'll cast this, cast this. I'll mm -hmm. then crew Mobilizer Mech, crew Shorokai, Avian Piper. Oh. Avian Sahili. Okay. Oh. So Avian taking eight. Eight. Command of damage again. Yep. And yeah. Sahili taking, and it's a Healy taking three. three. So Avian's now in a dangerous position. Avian's Hella on dangerous. 19. Hella dangerous position. And so then Avian's on 19 with 16 trend damage. Yep. Correct. And then I will pass to Piper's turn. In oh, their untap, right. I'll tap just these two, because these are not creatures. In the untap step. Yeah. And I don't think there's like a I don't think there's a way for me to crew during here. I think there's no way for me to do that. Because it's not a trigger, it's no. a replacement effect kind of yeah. thing. It's a static yeah. effect. So I don't think uh, there's it's a turn based oh. action. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, literally. I keep thinking that's a static effect. I always get those two confused. <laughs> what value? Ginny G. Ball Games Live says, wow, a clean board. Finally, there's something to look at. It feels bad. Yeah, finally, finally. Feels bad, Avian says. Feels I don't bad. like it at all. I was ready to go off. You were. I was I'm so worried about you, man. I, I, I had all my shit set up. I, I had know. like mm. several triggers happening. You're telling me. Oh, well, this is me where I was like, if Piper responds here, <laughs> they better kill Avian because we're all fucked. Oh, yeah. Like, I yeah. think you have to, like, I think you could easily if that didn't resolve. I mean, I wasn't guaranteed, but I was very likely to kill someone. You were definitely going to kill me. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah. going to. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> the hard wait, part is probably GDG's dead. GDG's dead. GDG's, GDG's dead. dead. Go wild, guys. Oh, my God. Yes. We're good. Honestly. I have saved two. You today. Actually, three. think about it. Yeah, you're right. I really helped you out today. Four for Herald of Secret Streams. Y'all were getting uh -oh. scary close to dying we if you didn't wipe die. my board. Unblockable board. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Trent. Thank you, Trent. <laughs> thank you, Trent. Thank I can't you, thank you when you put me at the yeah. threat of lethal. I was going to say, I can't, I can't, you can't thank me because there's armor getting you, so, and that's against the cool. I also game. draw that's a card. There's a lot of lands. There's a lot of lands. I also draw a card due to Guardian Project with my Herald of Secret Streams on the battlefield. Yeah. Let's go. Um, now just watch the resilience of tribal decks as they start to cast creatures and draw cards. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, three for a sort of feast and famine. In response, I'm going to crew mobilize my crewing shocker. <laughs> cool. Okay. I'm going to tap all my blockers down. No. Yeah. Good idea. I'm it's going to pay one yeah, I mean, to it's equip now. your yeah. swift foot boots <laughs> onto Herald of Secret streams. And then is I'm going to pay two. It's a mistake. It's fine. I don't, I go, I don't want to block that To equip my anyway. sort like, of what? feast and famine to my Herald of Secret streams. Yeah. Besides, I'm the deck that's going to draw lots. So making me discard a card is like, okay. But Avian has two cards in hand. You have how many cards in hand? Two. See? So. Yeah. Maybe one. May, you know, it could be me. I'm not going to disagree with that play. I'm just saying. It costs two mana to attack me. <laughs> so it's not going to be me. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna, ah, propaganda. the propaganda! Uh, what have you done? What have you done? Propaganda. Christ. Okay, I'm gonna enter combat and I'm going to punch. <laughs> My strongest card I've had. I'm gonna punch Dylan. Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, right. What about Sahili? <laughs> I'm kidding. No. I I actually, if you hit Sahili, you don't get the trigger. You, you don't get, get to untap all your lands. Trigger. I would like to untap all my lands, so Very I'm gonna strong, attack yeah. you, Dylan. So how much do I get here for? Uh, two. Ah, uh, four. No, sorry, four. Down to 18. Hmm. And you discard a card. Yeah, and you discard a card, and I untap oh, all gee, lands uh, I control. Form. Not yeah. an island. An island, oh no. No, a really good no. Card is it yeah. just basics, or is it all lands? All lands. All lands, oh, that's so what fun. What did I say? I'm waiting on the card draw. <laughs> this is what we're all about here. That's so fun. All right. How do I kill Shark? I have a land with extra steps. Hmm. <laughs> that is a very good question on oh, how you to kill Shark. Pardon? You had the second mana. Oh, because you were talent over here. Oh, no. Was that no, 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 that's tapped, sorry. That was yeah, sorry. I actually spread it over there so I wouldn't untap it with all my lands and then untapped it anyway. That's okay. You're, it's, it's a stream environment, you know? Yeah. You a little bit high Okay, intensity. so three, four, five. Bro, from Fire Axe. We're going to cast out Kumina. We're going to... <laughs> Fire Axe in the chat, just popping off. He was, he was really into Wouty's. Okay, Greaves? Uh, trigger. Oh, yeah. At some point. Kumina would have been I just realised, yeah, at yeah. some point this turn, sorry. Uh, it was the sword. It was the sword, yeah, sorry. Yes, and then... I'm going to target to equip the Kamina with Lightning Greaves. Mm. And then I will leave the rest of my mana up there and pass time. I like that a lot. Can someone kill Shorokai, please? Pretty please? Please? I would if I could, buddy. Uh, I'm going to choose non land. Oh, for fun fuck's sake, Trent. We tapped him after we board wiped. Can we stop Trent? Jesus. Trent, seriously. Can we make the tokens for once, bro? No. I'm right. so bad at that. Did it's you like you feeding the you frog onto Yeah, after I board wiped. I tapped yeah. Him. It was after, yeah. Bruise of Chaos? Yeah, oh, Bruise of Chaos. Yeah. It's great. Cascade Retrace? Yeah, it's got Retrace. It's amazing. I love that card so much. It uh, is really good. I've tried to put it in like every red deck I've ever built, and it, it sucks in all of them except for this one. Yeah, that right there, that is just called a Scrabbling Horse I forgot to draw a card mm. for my casting of Kamina. God. Yeah. What is the point? Um, I will, however. What is the point? Actually, discard it. Can I do it? I was going to say, yeah, you... Oh, okay. Uh, oh, not a bottom deck. Put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library, then draw that many cards plus one. So that By the way, Balakut Awakening is, in my opinion, like the probably one of the top three or even top two mainstay cards of Zendikar Rising. I yeah. love it. Yeah, it's, it's just... So it's phenomenal. Like, most of those cards feel very, like... Like, talk about Turn Timber Sibiosis. It, it feels very like, uh, this is a forest. But it has this extra thing you can do with it. No, no, Balakut Awakening is like, this is either a mountain, which is always useful, and then it's got this amazing effect attached to it. So. Four, five, six, seven... Eight mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Avenger? Alright. Yep. So I'll make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dudes. And then I'll play a Ruban Crag to put a count on all of them. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't have a plant. I have blanks though. So you have a plant and they all have a count on them. Yes. So just so everyone's up there, this is the plant token with one, and he has eight of them. And then when he taps, what we'll do is we'll put another dice to represent the tapped ones. Yeah. Uh, or another blank one next. Or and another blank one for it. Cool. Um, then I'll also put two rocks on two of the plants. Let's go. Setting up for next turn. Um, do you got that sharpie there somewhere? I'm I'm done. I'm gonna pass. I'm just gonna I don't have that sharpie. I'm just gonna have you exile okay. a card from your graveyard. Sure, sure. Any card. I got it, it's all good. Um, I'll get rid of an exotic orchard. Just cause I can. Yeah, good idea, good idea. I like it a lot. Plant. 
Hmm. A really bad tree. Good enough. That's the best tree, bro. Never, it's never speak enough. down on yourself. That's the best tree. Reduce. How's chat going? Who is in? Oh, talk about the YTT still. Uh, reduce costs by one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Red, red, red. Oh, oh nice. Not up. Oh, shit. So what can I do here? One. So you need two, two mana open to hit train. Let's turn three. I can make. I can four, use Vizier to make this a blind block. Four. Because they can untap this. Oh, so yeah. I can deal 20 damage to someone. <laughs> yeah, 20 damage. Damn. That is just enough damage? to kill Avian. <laughs> Technically, it's, it's just lethal on Avian. Yeah. How much life are you on? 37. Um, hey, if you if you attack Trent, then you can't easily crew Shuriken anymore. It's true. I have to fall because I have to untap this with this. That's true. And then get this crewed with this and then block with this. So there's that layer. Yeah, you're forcing a removal of a piece from transport as opposed to just dealing a bit of damage to me. Or killing or, Avian. Or totally killing Avian. Or totally killing Avian. Alright, Avian, my man. Yes. <laughs> Emergency meeting. Emergency meeting. Emergency meeting. Emergency meeting. <laughs> All right, cool. Buddies. Final two? Final Whoa, three. final what? two? That's right. kind of what? You can't just you can't just play for second, bro. Not on the stream, bro. No, I'm just saying final two. Like you're playing for second. I you play. I am. Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'm going to go to combat. Yep. And I'm going to swing at Trent with this, paying the two for propaganda. Sure. And that is coming at you, the clay blockers. Well, like, well, actually, what's the left or like 36. 36. Yep. Okay. I don't. Not to block any blockers. Continue. Okay. Pump one. Pump two. Pump three. Pump four. Yep. Deal one damage to myself, pump five. So he cut, so does he go to 20 or 25? He goes, uh, he adds 25, so he's dealing 30 damage. So you said you dealt, tw you said you could do deal 20 with it when you counted before. Yeah. So you could deal 10 more than that? Yeah. Okay, so I will instead, I will absolutely block 30. That's a whole different, that's like literally oh, 30%. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's 35% that more damage. All right, so now that I'm would block. change my my choosing of things because you declare your blockers after you declare blockers. That's block fine, that's so fine. I'm just gonna read. You just untap all your lands and it dies. Because the 5 5 has a 3 4. It's fine, but don't, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah I sorry, I was, you do, I, was, yeah. I was thinking 20 plus on what he had. That's still wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Um, cool, and then I guess I'll just end my turn now. Okay. Um, okay. And then I will untap. So I won't do one damage to myself. No, no, that's fine. How much did Trent take? None. He blocked. None, I blocked with my 3-4 and it just dies. No trample. Untap. I still think you should have killed Avian. Draw? That's just a personal thing though. I just got a grudge. <laughs> That's fine. What have I ever done to you? Nothing. I gave you my shoes. I gave you my <laughs> shoes. I let you draw a card that one time. No, I let you draw a card that one time. And I let you draw a card in, like before that. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Look. <laughs> it's all I could have I could have killed Avian, but Look. Avian's not the threat to me right now. I need Why to, not? I just, wor I just wouldn't worry about like a bunch of three power creeps, like 21 damage minimum coming at you. I wouldn't worry about that. You're on 18, bro. You're on 18, bro. He has fucking lethal on board. I wouldn't worry about it at all. No, no, no. Wait, you're on 18? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. My man's on 18, bro. Yeah, Dylan, you're like facing with lethal and he's like, I want to top two with you, baby. When did he's you like, get hit? How did I miss that? It's been, yeah, over the course of the game, it's yeah. been a lot of damage coming through. Um, you have no blockers either, right? No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> um, so, we're going to go. Um, we're gonna go 18. I actually don't know if I can do 18 damage, so that's a bit of a meme. Um, Relic does not do a lot of damage. Let's kill you. <laughs> don't. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I will, because I don't think... Mm. You need to, like, wipe the board or give Shurikai flying or something. Yeah, that's what I mean, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's why I don't want to kill you, though, because, like, you don't have the, th the threat on me because I have the propaganda against all those tokens. Yeah. And then Dylan can threaten you with his flying attacker. In order to start going off, I need to play like both of my commanders and then draw something good. Yeah. Also, I do have another flying blocker for him next turn here, because the spirit flies. So I do have another flying blocker as well, so that's okay. Uh, for now, I'm going to just tap Shurikai, making some guys, because he still has the untap. Um, these guys down here have summoning sickness. 
Um, draw two, discard one. And I'll discard the Dalkin Engineer. And that's very cool. Hmm, no, it's not actually. Yep, doesn't do anything. Yep, doesn't do anything, never mind. Um, so. Well, I'm going to play it, so it's okay. Utterly I'm going to cast Verity Circle. I was like, oh, Verity Circle, so good. I can Ooh. tap this it's, uh, without flying, so I can't do that. And then I also like, can't target this or this because text roof and trap. Fuck me, dude. Don't make me, man. No, you, it lets you draw a card of Kamena. Like, draw oh, a oh. shitload of cards of Kamena. I know that half. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trust me, that's why, yeah. I'm going to resolve it now and be happy with that. I got a but I can't stop Dylan from dealing yeah. damage to me next turn, except by blocking with Drumbello, which so is always... I'm going to negate the Verity Circle. Ooh. That also draws off my inspiring statuary. Um, that's true. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. True. Yeah. No, ma and it makes sense. Um, that's fine. I also don't respond to that. That's fine. If Avian left the game, his shoes would just disappear. Yeah, they would just. They um, would just. They would evaporate. Evaporate. Yes. Into nothingness. <laughs> what will my fish do without their shoes, though? <laughs> what could they possibly do? They might step on a clam. Ex it, that would be painful. Yeah. Like you the sharp ones. Yeah, like worse. the really sharp shells. They need the boots more than a vendor of Zendikar does. So I'll untap Yeah, he doesn't need shoes. He does not need shoes. I don't even think he'd fit in those. Except for magic. Yeah, Kamina's actually on wiki feet. Oh, there's cards in hand. One. Four. One. One. I'm done. Wheel? Oh, I just. It's a board wipe, isn't it? Yeah. Wrath of God, destroy all creatures that can't be regenerated. <laughs> then, look, wizards printed them, bro. I don't have any other options. <laughs> wizards keep printing them, bro. Also, I was, a little bit, I was a little bit obtuse with my countering the Verity Circle, I think. It does really impact my strategy. Like, that's not the dream. Uh, the Verity Circle was disgusting. I would have drawn in, like, five, ten cards a turn. Oh, absolutely. I, like, yeah. No, the negate had to happen there, and it definitely was better to negate, like, that instead of the Wrath, right? Yeah. It was definitely yeah. better to negate that. So, But I needed to... Put that out there in case you had a response because I needed to remove this thing because it hurts me, it doesn't hurt you right now. And that's why I attacked uh, you and didn't kill Avian with it because Avian couldn't direct deal with you. But oh, you the wrath? Well, I mean, like, yeah, I did talk like just, di Well, discussing the Hellcat Igniter, like, why I wouldn't kill Avian was because I knew, I, I knew that Avian couldn't kill you because of the propaganda. Yeah. So, but I Avian would then have to go somewhere. That's what I'm He saying. wouldn't have to go oh, somewhere. True. He would leave a lot back. Because, that's true. That's because true. I had uh, myself and Piper were the only ones that could possibly break through. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. I mean, I, I expect this is not going to stick around for too much longer, but that's okay. It's, it's just the cards in yeah. here, right? Um, I mean, to get this engine running, I need a lot of pieces. Yeah. So I can't run a lot of interaction in this deck. No, I could. Yeah, that's fine. I, I definitely vibe that. I will do four for Thrain Dynamo. Yeah. And then I will. Um, I guess I'll just leave it there. Go right ahead. That's all I got. That's shoes and wrote. sword. Let's go. Shoes and sword. Shoes and sword and shoes and sword. Shoots and boots what will and we do? And shoes and a sword. Shoes, shoes and, and a sword. Shoots and boots and shoots and boots and shoots and boots. What crimes will they commit? They're going to stab someone. That's the crimes they're going to commit. That, that, yeah. the, the illegal kind. Oh my god, the illegal kind. The illegal kind of crime. Those are the craziest all of it. crimes. Sorry, that's untapped. Those are the and definition of crimes. And this form. Marrow commerce. Whoa. That's an awesome card. Yeah. So let's see, this guy costs seven now. Yeah. Yes. And then I still yeah. have some. You have a lot of mana after that, too. You have the equipment for both of these, or just. You know. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to pay seven. Get Kamina out. Draw a card from Guardian Project. Ooh. Damn, deck her hard. Mm. I'm scared. Hmm. Then I'm going to pay two to equip the sword. Then I'm going to lightning greaves. Does that snap it off? No. 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 That's protection. Yeah, I'm thinking of protection. I've had to deal with that a lot recently in my Shabraz deck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So, and then I'm going to enter combat. Still not enough mana. I still don't yeah. have enough mana. Wait. Uh, no, I, no, I don't. I can also mana. make blockers because they're pro, yeah. uh, pro black green. I can make blockers. Yeah. Mm. So, um, so I think I will attack. Take Sigili out to stop the top deck game. Mm. Help slow the top deck game. Sorry, that's more accurate. That's true, but I really want to trigger my sword. That's true, actually. Good point. Yeah. yeah good point, good point. So I think I will attack Dylan. For how much? Four. Four. Four, Four commander. commander. 
So you're on six commander damage from Kamina six, now. Six, yep. And just I'm walking on the Oyster shells. <laughs> and then uh, you discard a card. <laughs> yeah, we And I untap all lands. Damn it, Shamrock in the chat. My the other island's gone. No. No. Uh, now you're really on that top get gang, are we? Stop next Healy's directive, bro. Just hard. Yeah, that happens. It, mm. Right. It's pay two for Cryptolith, right? <laughs> Feels pretty good. And then pay three for Herald Torn calling my folk. Oh, yeah, let's go. Nice. Amazing uh, stuff already. Uh, ba -da, ba -da. And then I'm going to pass. Fully so, open. Just going to um, let the, let good vibes save me. I'll draw on land. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Wheel. Okay. Okay. Wheel. Okay. Wheel let's give us me. all. This is cool. All right. Is it, is it everyone discards a hand and draw seven? Yeah. yeah. It's a oh, yes. wheel of fortune. Big fan. Uh, well, back in it's, the game. it does it of haste, right? I, I wish I could just actively oh, give you your boots back. Right. I'll be like, your trade. Trade offer. <laughs> trade you get your boots back, I get seven cards. <laughs> Homeward Path is only creatures, isn't it? Or is it all creatures? Only creatures. Yeah. I literally said, I was like, dude, I can give it back to you if you're nice to me, if you ask really nicely. And he's like, it's only creatures. I'm like, oh, yeah, fair. Kadama? He's happening. He's happening. He's, He's hip and with it. Who knows what all the kids uh, are doing these days? In response to the cast, I'll tap shortcut. <sighs> okay. I'll draw two cards. <laughs> Scare me, man. And I'll discard. Oh my god. I'll discard. Oh my god. I open two really insane cards. Um, and I'll discard just the two of the same chunk. card. I'll discard the disenchant. Oh. Mate. <laughs> yeah, like I know what I mean, right? Mate, okay. what I could know. you have kept? What could I have kept? Uh, then three for Magus. Uh, trigger, I'll put a land in the play. <gasps> um, and that is not enough to cast Top of it, sadly. No. Oh, if I'd done that the other way around, that would not have worked no. either. Yeah. So four, five, six, seven. Yeah, no. Cool. Um, Go. Oh, sorry. At the end of my turn, all of my merfolk's untapped. Yeah, so Kamina is untapped. Cool. Nice. Exile card from Graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll exile planes. Because he can tap for a mana. So I technically have. One, two, three, this is where Dylan's like thinning out all seven. my lands when I have Lamok. I'm like, thank you so much, my friend. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, because we're friends, right? So we're doing exactly. Playing a land for turn? I'll play, yeah, I'll play a land for oh, turn. Almost a silly directive. <laughs> Guys, say what? Top four. <laughs> Uh, fresh. Servo boy. Little servo. Boy. Little servo. Stay uh, lad. And then I'm gonna pass my turn. Cool. Okay. Untap. Oh. <laughs> Untap. <laughs> I'll keep drawing. One day you'll remember. Just like feeding the fish in TFT. One day you'll remember. Feed the fish, please. <laughs> Um, we're going to s you tap a fell last turn. to play a Voltaic Key. Keys in the ignition, baby. It's the untapped target Ooh, artifact. Oh, okay. Yeah, I play a couple of artifacts like that. Um, mm, that or disenchant. I didn't. No, I did not keep that. I top decked it. Oh wow. I did oh. not keep that. That would be. A, I don't know, man. I don't know if that's actually co comparable. I I'm mean, between silly. Voltaic Key and disenchant, I think it's Voltaic Key. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. It's an but extra. I don't think I would have sat there for quite a while going, mm, I mean, mm, I would have just got rid of this chart myself, personally. Because I want my deck to go forward. I don't want you to go behind, like backward, you know what I'm saying? Um, That's a lot of scary stuff. Yeah, so... Yeah, uh, hmm. yeah so it's going to be tap Shorokai. Okay, so we're going to tap Soul Ring here. Mm -hmm. Using one of it to tap Shorokai, draw two, discard one. And I'll discard a... Spire of Industry. Don't get to make your pilots. Thank you. And then I will use the other one to untap him with the Voltaic King. Now, the hard part is... I could crew co I could drew Shoka and I could send him your way. Because then you're force blocked one of those two or you die, right? Which mm -hmm. is just like valuable to me. Yeah. Um, but then what's less valuable to me is having this not to, not drawing cards is, is just not valuable. Like, I want to draw cards. Piper has an incredible draw engine right now. If I know. If you don't keep up, you will lose. That's what I mean, right? That's what I mean. I could stop you from doing something, but it's like, 
Okay, what I'm going to do here, right, is I am going to attack you, sorry, Avian, just because I think if you if you wheel into Kodama on the board, it's very dangerous. So I'm going to turn off one of those two options, right? So I'm going to attack you with Shorika, and you could just double block to grief me. I think you can, can't you? Yeah, yeah, three and six. So you could easily double block. But if you don't block, you die, right? Yeah, that's yeah. correct. So you have 16 commander damage. I, oh, mm. it wouldn't be griefing, by the way. If you double block, I could just recast it. That's really good for me. So don't double block it. <laughs> I just realized it's really good for me to, double, to have it recast. Because then I just have so much mana. Yeah, because I have so much mana, and then I can just, yeah, I can just tap it. So. Uh, do I ditch the Magus or the Kadama? I that's wanted a, the wheel. Yeah, that's a really I hard choice. Uh, right? Right? You do have enough mana to cast Kadama again. Yeah. Yeah. And wheel. And then nothing, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. If he draws a land, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's what he has to do. He has to block with the Magus. Um, I don't have to, but I like Kadama a lot. No, I think it's, I think it's very dangerous for you to block with Kadama, right? I think you would want to really block with the Magus here. I don't think you would want to block with Kadama because, like, the the Magus is too like yeah, that, to give us all so a bunch of card draw. Like, throwing down the Magus without Kadama on the board, uh, like activating the wheel for that, too dangerous. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. right? That's why I would block with the Magus, yeah, because like, yeah, you can't like confirm you're gonna get anything amazing, and then. One of myself or Dylan or Piper with all their draws as well. I'm um, in land return will be a about, temple mate? of the false god, Avian's favorite land, as we know from podcast. It's, uh, and it's not live. It's live. And <laughs> okay. it's hey, hold on. Peach, give me the camera for a second. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a quick right. PSA with Avian. Emergency Do just not. Oh, give me, give me, give Take me it. Card. Yeah, yeah. Can I touch your cards, please? <laughs> <laughs> this card, temple of the false gods. Do not put it in your deck. It's a bad card. Like it's. It's just bad. Like, if you don't hit it, if you don't have the lands, then you're sitting on something completely useless, and it's colorless mana. Ah, oh, it's just and awful. It, it's an Azorius deck. What am I meant to do if I don't get, Terrible. like, if I don't get, like, I don't have Fast Seek, don't have I'm not able to make this live. What am I doing? Yeah, what am I doing? Soul, anyway, dude. Temple, play it, it's live. It's a fruit uh, And then <laughs> I will. Never punished. Never punished, it's live. Pretty, pretty well always, actually. Um, <laughs> I kid, I kid. Um, oh. So I sacrifice a dash, not Zoltan. Awesome. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my main base two, and then I pay four to replay it. Okay. Because I have the two mana floating. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, watch out! Insane. Got a response? Oh, Thank sorry. you. Non. Yeah. Is that. No, that's blue instant, right? That's blue spell. Oh, I thought it was blue instant. I, I think it, it is blue spell, yeah. I think it's blue instant, if I was betting. Um, hey, yo, Jamie, yeah, pull that up. I think it's very specific. It's red elemental blast and pyroblast. That They're the ones that would yeah. just or destroy or counter it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you bring up guttural response? What does it do? What what it do? Um, all right, while we're here. <laughs> what um, it do, Jamie? I think here, actually, though, it is going to simply pass to you. Okay, okay. I don't have anything else I could do right now. Well, not that I want uh, to. Uh, I have nothing to really do at the end of your turn, I don't think. Hopefully no. you have nothing to do at the start of your turn. Okay. Or in the yeah. middle. Or, or at the, the end. rest of just the game. Just the entire turn is, yeah. is gone. Useless Draw. to me. You just, you just explore. Uh, so untap, upkeep. Kind of the target the blue instant spell. Ah, oh, it is blue uh, instant. Okay. I was going to say, I play it in every deck. I genuinely play it in every gruel deck. Beginning of my upkeep, yeah. I look at the top card of my library. It's if it amazing. is a merfolk, I may reveal <gasps> it. It is in fact a merfolk. Yes. I can put it into my hand. And then drop to And I drop to time. Congrats. It is a worse red elemental blast though. It I is played it and insane. I played that power blast and red elemental blast in all my gruel decks. All of them. All of them. Okay. And Bale of Summer. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Because I deal with Bale a lot of, summer, of it. Yeah. I, play, I deal with a lot of it. So I'm yeah. gonna pay two for Silver Gill Adept, revealing the Kapala Warden of Waves. So I draw, draw two cards: one for its ETB, one for Guardian Project. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. It's, it's all popping off. It's happening. And then. Everyone, put your hands down. Pay two for Kiora's Follower. Oh, trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy Watch out. your treasure, I guess. Have you hey. used how many of them have you used? I've used two. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, if it was a smothering type, I still would have only used two so far. <laughs> like, doesn't matter what the card is. It could be Doxat Extortion, I've only used two. I will play down my it land. Probably shouldn't be a Doxat Extortion. <laughs> no idea. I'll say that you no have one. I didn't see you do anything. Like, I did not see you put a land down this turn. Land so. to turn. Mm. Chat watches all those, so. Yeah, yeah chat, chat watches. Know about please it. tell me if I'm cheating, please. The chat will tell us. I always had an enjoy room. Don't worry, we'll see it in the YouTube comments. Yeah, we'll see it in the YouTube comments. God damn. Shamrock says they always played uh, Temple of the False God in their Wet the Light, Joy Red Light Captain. Apparently it was always good. So, one, two, and then. Because <laughs> you think about it, right? If you, okay, <laughs> a, 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 you open it, okay, you can't really get to anything, right? But then you cast a bunch of zero drops, draw all those lands that get to make it live, bro. Come on. You can't cast Joy Red because you open Temple of the False it's, God, it's, but. It's bad in every game. Power Warden of Waves, draw a card. Yeah, it's like, if you draw it mid game, 
then it's an extra land. It's definitely a bad One, ancient doom. Very bad. Two, three, four. Svalen of Sea and Sky, drawing a card. Oh my Don't god, I have not been paying my one less with Herald's Horn. I am so silly. It's important. We have two mana floating. Again, though, right? Two mana floating. Yes, I have two mana floating. Uh, one, two, three. Three mana floating. Three mana floating. I have three mana floating because I've been paying too much mana for all my merfolk because they cost one less with Herald's Horn. Cool. So, three so mana I have three mana floating. mana floating. So, with that, three plus. Note to self, Two? Avian has now met, said don't no. worship false gods. So, Avian's yeah. right though. Okay, don't Avian's right. Gods. You know what? I'm actually going to leave enough mana up to attack Trent this time. Wow. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why not. Just do it. Just take me in. <laughs> Just take me in. Uh, so, I'm going to... First of all, I'm going to use one of my floating mana, because I still have the three floating, and I don't want to... You have Shroud. You can't equip anything to it. You can like, move I'm it around. I'm going to equip it to my yeah, heroes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was not talking about the equipment I was saying, because the lightning grief is free, he just bounces that Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I, I'm also going to use two of that. So I have to use it as I declare the attackers, like the, the mana, so I can't like use my floating stuff now to like pay for the propaganda and then Correct. go into combat. Yeah, okay. Correct. Uh, so then I have another two. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to use two of that, plus one. Play down Holy deep root God. waters. Ooh, very nice. Now, whenever nice. I cast a merfolk spell, I create a one-one blue merfolk creature token with hexproof. I, I drew two that as two hearts in hand. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to enter combat. I'm going to uh, tap the silver gill adept to give Kamina unblockable. Pay two mana, and then I'm going to attack Trent with Kamina. Nice. Um, I'm going to respond to the attack by tapping Jorikai, making yep. two pilots, not to block, just to draw cards when I discard the one card in my hand. And you now have. So you Trent takes four. Yeah, Trent takes four, so he's on a grand total two. six. He's got six. Yep. Commander damage. Uh, now I will. Do I have like a draw card trigger on my attack? No. But I do have an untap all of my lands trigger. Yeah, and I discard his descendant with the trigger of um, the sword, and I discard Fate Stitcher with the Shoriko. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Fate Stitcher, very good. Speaking of Scrabble, Scrabbling Claws targets. Mm. It's not Scrabbling Claws good. But Maybe good. not, but it's up there. Cool. It's a good card. And then, okay, so I will pay two, three, four, five. While well, Piper's popping off, I'm Murphy just going to go Lou. <gasps> Murphy okay. Leech as well. Oof. Have fun. Get out. Oh, more untappers. Great. Yep. More and more and more untappers. Uh, Always the dream. And then because all of my merfolk untap at the end of my turn as well, I'm going to use Kamina's ability to tap these three merfolk to draw a card. Yep, very good. Mero Commerce is the one that lets them untap during the end yeah. of my turn. That's a trick. And then in the next upkeep, they'll untap again. Yes. Cool, okay. It's going in all directions, chat. Cool. What's and up? then... Yeah. Come he's just, he's oh, just taking his he's place. He's just Dylan like for the moment. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. I, he doesn't, he doesn't have, have one. one. No, 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 stop no, it. no, stop no. It. <laughs> TJ, all right, he's all a loose cannon, but damn, does he get the job done? That's better. Okie dokie, I think. think. I will enter my end step, which will untap all of the merfolk I control. You're the producer. Anyway, um, nice. If anyone has a response to that, everything's fine. So no. Far. Everything's right. fine. And just including before you Kamina. untap, oh yeah, including Kamina. Right. And then I think I will tap these five to put a 1 1 counter on all of my merfolk. Okay. Cool. And then that'll be your turn. And then they untap. Yeah. Cool. And then do we wait for Dylan to get back, or is he well, not Well, Avian could at least start. No, he's yeah. got jazz yeah. hands. If yeah, I have to interact true. with his stuff, then yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm going to abundance for non-land. Uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Valakid Exploration. Whatever land in. Landfall, exile the top card, you can play it. End step, ditch them all. Not great. Just tribal deck things. Mm, just tribal deck things, man. Hmm. Alright. Is everything still a forest? No, no. that's long gone. Yeah. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Top row. Mm. Playing that Valakut from hand. Whoa! Trigger this to put it into play. And what's the second half of that card? It's like the beginning of your end step. If three, uh, sorry, if there are cards exiled with oh. Valkyrie Exploration, put them in the graveyard and deal that much damage to each opponent. Cool, cool, okay. 
So this can also just nuke people. If I just can, like yeah. dump 40 lands in that's and then good. exile them all. That's really good. I like mm. that. That's really good. Yeah, that's a fun one. Mm. Um, so I'm going to give Kodama and Togo each a rock. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Big fan of rocks. Everyone gets a rock. Yep. You get a rock. You get a rock. I got a rock. <laughs> Sick. You guys got rocks? You guys got rocks? <laughs> you, guys, you guys got rocks? I think that's it, right? No rocks. Yeah, I, I just got my, my shitty blockers up. I'm chilling. I can't shoot any of your stuff, can I? No, that's like all my. It's all pretty big at the moment. Three, so two, and also three, it cost. Three. They cost two more to like target my things as well uh, because of copalma. Three more ward. Three more because of ward, actually correct. Mm. Yeah, so plus three, plus two, plus two anthem, plus the one one counters, plus the ward three essentially. Plus Merc Fiend Leech as well. That's why we're already taking the oh, yeah. right? That's yeah. the plus two, plus yeah. two yeah. anthem. Yeah. It's rough. It's, it's, it's a bit of a rough time. You're in a very good position, um, yeah. and I am running out of cards to interact with you. So is that the end of your turn? Yeah, yeah I'm done. At the end of your so turn, yeah, I am going to tap yeah. three Merfolk to draw a card. Cool. Just the three? Just drawing a card? Yeah. All right, he's back. Cool. Oh. He's back. Hey, what a coincidence. What I a quinky dink. I hit kid. Uh, so you did miss me casting Merkfiend Leash, so I do I have another I, I do have another untap thing on everyone's turn. All their so. creatures. Uh, all of my creatures, yes. Not my lands, just my creatures. And I also got rid of the Spire Industry at the end of Avian's turn to your... Ooh. I'm still bumping the camera. Stop bumping the camera, no! I'm just like, I need to punch it! Ah. Everything all good on the camera end? Nice. Hang on, I'll fix that. Oh. Perfect. Um, so yeah, and then I exile Spire Ministry because I assume you Skyling calls me again. Yeah, I almost, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. It's my turn now. Yeah, go yeah. Nice, mate. He made some rocks, did some things. Just, is that the draw you needed? No. I could imagine. For the land. No, it was like a little guy. Oh, a Derek's got oh, nice. No, no, yay. So now my artifact spells are cheaper. Nice. So I'm going to plus one and get another servo. Nice. Bing! And then I'll pass my turn. Cool. Um, I will... At the end of your turn, sorry, I'm going to tap three more folks to draw a card. Mm. Spooky. All right. Just thinking, uh, the other turn, because I can top deck mobilize a mech with the Academy Ruins. Oh, yeah. Um, but I'm just thinking, because like, it's so hard, because uh, I'm just dying to everything. I'm just dying to everything right now. It's a little bit it's a little bit like one of those, like, oh, the, you have to pay two, but it's not that much. Um, I don't think... Hmm, okay. No, I don't think I do. I think I just untap and go to my turn. These rocks are tapped. Not that that matters a lot, but... Oh, I could be tapping. I'm also uh, in the end, end step, tapping another three merfolk. I was hoping you wouldn't. That so. doesn't untap because it's not an enchantment. That's no, not a creature. It is it's, a merfolk. It's a merfolk. It do, yeah. Oh, so, so this one is merfolk that untap. This one does, does not oh, untap yeah, sorry, this, yeah. but this untaps itself at the end of the turn. At the end of my turn, it does untap itself. What? Yeah. Untap all merfolk you yeah. control. Yeah, yeah. It, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, this is a low end card. Yeah, it's a rivals of Ixalan card. They were not yeah. really. Yeah. I, I love the weird tribal enchantments and like tribal mm -hmm. instants and sorceries and stuff. I miss them. Bogart shenanigans, love it. Yeah. Weird tribal stuff, big fan. Like you are, big. you gobbler recruiter for Bogart shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun one. Yeah. Um, so then I'm going to go, like this is just, um, where, what a life total's at, because I'm definitely keeping track. Let's see, so we got, <laughs> I'm on I'm on 37, Dylan's on 18, Trent, you're I'm on 32. On oh, you're on 14? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. my bad. Because I took four from you. Yeah, and then Avian's on yeah. 19? And then yeah. Avian's on 19, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just not like. No. Is this Dylan's end step or? No, I've no, no, untapped and drawn. Yeah. I've untapped okay. and I've drawn. Are those? Uh, these ones will untap. My body, yeah, these ones will Yeah, untap. that's I why I wasn't sure. No, you're right, you're right. My bad, my bad. I just forgot to untap them. Um, and I have also drawn for turn. Cool. So then I will tap this for two down, I guess. And I'll tap Shorokat first to draw two discard one. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is it uh, another Wrath? No, I wish. Gosh, I, I'd be very happy if it was another Wrath. Um, I'm going to discard... Oh, Dovin's Veto. Um, I'm going to use the one remaining to cast Expedition Map. Then I'll crack Expedition Map. I'm going to look for any land card. Oh, I'm looking for any land card. Now, I do have a couple of cool options here. But I think I know what I'm looking for. 
Not that I know what that, what does that turn into? Crap, what does that turn into? Um, we're looking for Inventor's Fair. Okay. Cool, cool, tutor cool. for a tutor. Classic. Yeah, exactly. Well, tutor for a different tutor. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and I could do... I'll play this as my lantern. turn. I will pay one to untap Shorakai with Voltaic Key. Yeah. Because I've already used that extra one I had floating from the. So one, two. One. Yep, two, three. Yep, so one now tapped. Perfect. Um, then I will tap a. Hmm. I guess I'll tap a Felwast Stone. Doing it again. Mm -hmm. Discarding to Serve Beach. Okay. Um, you found a rock, you have to get to make your pilots. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, I make four more pilots. Right? Because I didn't have to yeah. make, make four more yeah. pilots. Um, then, a it's mess. A Just a mess, dude. This a hot guy. mess. This guy, this guy, hot mess. Um, as much of a mess as his hair. Yeah. Um, <sighs> dude. All right. Um, Trent's looking at this thinking, how many times do I have to stare down the barrel of... One, two, Too three. Many and and just a handful of cards I'm just I just know you're gonna respond with. And like I don't know what to do against so much of your stuff. Um so it's gonna be three and for three colorless. Um three colorless and then two white. So three colorless, two white. Improvise is tap artifacts, not affinity. It's tap yeah. artifacts, yeah. yeah. Tap artifacts. Um just reminder that reminder text. Uh one, two, five, four colorless. Plus two white. Plus improvise requires artifacts to be tapped. I know. I have Ashnal's altar. Uh, okay. Sacrifice two more for another four. I guess I need to tap any of this. Just sacrifice these guys. Whatever. I'm gonna try and play organic extinction. Improvise. Destroy all non-artifact creatures. Hmm. You're a good man. Pass priority. We're gonna play another board wipe chat. We're playing another board wipe. I'm playing with a board wipe chat. It's happening. This is fine. <sighs> Ooh. You, you can tap another three if you do all right. Is it no. tap three untapped? There's no tap other. Three there's untapped. my third one. That stays, yeah. that stays tapped. Yeah. What's. The, oh, that's, oh, that's one. Yeah, it's a horror. Yeah. There you go. Hmm. Any responses? No. No. Oh, it uh, goes off. I'm a little bummed to have these die again. Again. But, Sorry. Um, that's, having these hey, die yeah. is worth it. So Ooh. because they all die at the same time, she no longer has indestructible, right? No, I think she just she doesn't she die. She just doesn't she die. Just she survives. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. She just survives. Cool. Um, so yeah, that blows up. I'm really upset that Kamina's is dying again. Like, uh, sorry, chat. You know what I mean? Really sorry, upset. Guys. Really upset. This is my. This is like. This is the white angle of like interact with what you're doing. Because the blue angle is like. <laughs> I don't know. I have like evacuation and such, but it's not really anymore, man. You had to pick up all my, the my three creatures survive. Yeah. My total power of four on the board stays. And I still have Avian's boots. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> thief. Go ahead. Boot thief. That's my turn. Alrighty. Untap. Draw some cards, blow up the board, and pass the turn again. Beginning of my upkeep. I have a look at the top yeah. card of my library. If it is a merfolk, it is not a merfolk, so I draw this plant. Draw the turn. Yeah, nice. I do believe I control a forest it. or an island, so I'll play down my hinterland Mountain. harbor. I can feel it. I can, I can feel, feel the it. power of the red. I can feel it. Grooming. I can feel me doing nothing for another turn. That's okay. Have you considered putting card draw on your deck? Hold Pay on, you one. have a card draw right here. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Pay one for root water thief. So trigger Is it trigger. Worth it? So hexproof merfolk, draw a card. Um. Yeah. Okay. There's a cast. There's a cast. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Here. Hang on. It's fine. Let me sweep this first. Yeah. You, would you like no, to? That's fine, so that's okay. It's all done, don't worry. We're, but yeah, there's a cast <sighs> thing first, and then you draw your draws. And the deals combat damage to a player, you may pay two. If you do, search their library for a card and remove it. Hell yeah! Just kill a card out of their library. Just kill a card out of oh. their deck. Mm, mm, mm. My, like, my second favorite card is Jess's Cap, so I, I'm, I'm yes. a big fan of stuff like that. Yeah. Then I'm going to pay two for a Master of the Pearl Trident. I'm a Jester's Mask kind of guy. Any responses to Master of the Pearl? Oh, one? No. Nope. No. I'm going to counterspell. 
Okay. Not sure the Peltrap. That's the one that gives Island Walk, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's another one of those. It's a bit much. A bit much for me. That's quite upsetting, really. Uh, and then I'm going to pay one, two. We will be no fun allowed. Three? No, this cannot be that. It needs to be. I do not have much blue mana up. So three for search mana. Oh. Any responses? Uh, no. Yeah, that's what I, I got thought. baited, bro. I got yeah, baited. that's what I thought, bitch. Well, I think that was, well, I think that was relevant <laughs> too. I think, I, I, think we're okay. I think that was very relevant as well. So now that you know that, permanent. All right. So I'm going to pay two. What do you think is the biggest thing in her graveyard that we should pull out? With what? What's a good What's a good scrabbling card cause target? Oh, I, I don't think so. I have an, an immeasurable amount I of think, good yeah. targets in here I think right it's very now. Bad. I think if you were tapping every turn, making them make a bunch of cards, maybe by now. But no, I don't think so. Yeah. I think we're good in, there, in that respect. You wait till they cast anything yeah, that does something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to see if I can get the card draw. Like the, the, the only single target, card I think is more valuable right now. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. But I was gonna say um, the only one I think you can like mm. proactively remove is my Fate Stitcher, but it's just not that relevant. Yeah. Sort of Feast and Fan will go on the root water thief. He can also get back artifacts from his yard, like any artifact. So. Yeah, and you can respond to it with the scrappy claws. Yeah, yeah, lightning I I'm just trying to see if there's a way oh, for me to use the scrappy claws for value before, so I can actually draw a goddamn card. Well, I could just, I'm gonna, I could do Cabby Ruins before, like, at the end of Avian's turn, just to give you a target, if you just want one. If you just want one, I just target Esper Sentinel and just say, there you go. Stop me if you want. Like, you know what I mean? Then I'm going to pay a blue to give Root Water Thief flying until the end of turn. It's not charity, cool. Oof. Yeah. Then so flying, pro black, pro yeah, green. Yeah. Maybe the heroic intervention, actually, but that's all I can think of. Then I'm going to enter combat. Okay. Who's getting the beat stick? I mean, I got jazz hands, so. Jazz hands. Walkers. Jazz, jazz, flying. Flying. jazz hands. It's, it's flying. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I have one card in hand. So you're technically the most value I can hit. Trent is also yes. on the highest life total out of us. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I think I'm. Oh, this is this is hard because I'm just like, who's got who's going to have like the biggest piece that I can remove from their deck? I will let you know that my biggest piece is probably an artifact, right? Yeah. And I have an Entisphere and four mana open. So I perform. It exiles it. It exiles no, it. Doesn't matter. I can just do when she declares attack. Yeah, you can just make I, sure that he gets. Like, as in not oh, yeah. not in response to her targeting anything. Just like I can take my best card out yeah. essentially and yeah. say, no, now you pick a card. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. it's not it's not. I have more than one good artifact in the deck. No argument there. I'm not pretending anything. Like, but I also do play the card. Um, I do play the one mana instant white that adds an ex exiled card back to my hand, just in case oh. I get path to a sort. Uh, like, uh, pull from eternity. Pull from eternity. Yeah. Thank you. I do play that. Okay. Card. I do little bugs on it. I do play that in case I get sourced. So there is that layer too. Okay. I may have it in my hand. I may not. I am going to attack Avian. Sure. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack Avian. So you take three damage. Uh, yeah, that puts me to 16. You take three damage. Um, go WTF. I know Walker. exactly what card is the best, and I'm not going to help you. That's <laughs> absolutely fine. Yeah. I'm going to have a quick look through this, I think. Just have yeah. a go quick... Go nuts. Quick, Gruel Turf! <laughs> <laughs> if it was in the deck, it would be the best card. I'm so bad at like valuing cards, you know? So, we're going to... Quick commercial break. Yeah, let's just do, let's do, do, do a do quick hit one minute. 60 second ad. I'm kidding. Yeah. No, I actually could. You could, yeah, but don't. I'm, we're kidding. No, if you listen to that, yeah. it's worth it. I've been telling people in the TFT thing, I'm like, if you spam hydrate between games, it's one minute ad break. <laughs> between breaks in queue, if you spam hydrate, one minute ad break straight up. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? No, not in queue. You can make me hydrate anytime during the game when I'm focused, but not in queue. Because then I have to get up and go to the men's room and I'm like, the queue pops and the whole thing. Hey, you know what? Here we go. You know what? We've got we got one idea. We got one idea. We know it exists. <laughs> That's a good card. It's a deck. really good card, yeah. And it's a very powerful card to draw in the, in the next turn. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. The second half of this is what I like about it too, right? It's like the twice so much each creature flying. Yeah, it's very it's yeah. very like flexible. I like it. Every now and then it's just like, oh, you're a bird deck? Oh. Or a dragon deck, like uh, dragon yeah. players. They always think they're so indestructible. I've, oh. I've blown out a dragon deck before. <laughs> That's why I like Silk Clash Spider. People don't, ref people don't rec um, oh, really, yeah. really respect Still Clash Spider, but X and 2 green to deal X damage to flyers on a body. Oh, mm. Like, you have to stifle it too. Oh, are you kidding me? What is it? Twister? 
yeah. Twister. I think it's Twister. Yeah, I think it's Twister. You know what? We're just gonna we're gonna exile Nylia's intervention. We're gonna exile that one. What was the best yeah. card? Do you, was it that at least? Can we tell? Uh, you? I'll tell you, you were wrong. But yeah, oh. I'm not surprised. Yeah. That's okay, but you were close. That is one of the things that I was hoping to have on top, but that's not the best card. Okay, so I've attacked you, which means I untap all of my lands. Oh yeah, he got common damage. Yeah. Maybe he discards his card. He has jazz hands. Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna attempt to keep Kumina out, please. Just this once. Just this once, that would yeah. be nice. Look, I'm trying. So, you know what I mean? No, you're not. You're, you're trying the exact opposite of that. Sorry, I was talking to the other two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Fair talking enough. to you, Piper, sorry. No, I'm uh, trying so my best two... to get this guy out of the game. So I need, so I need to pay, what? Eight. Yeah, because he's one less. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So much mana. Gosh darn. Okay, eight for Kamina to come back out. What a simic board state. Mm. But then also the Crypto on the right as well. Then I'm going to tap one well, to... Oh, I do. And I create a Merfolk token. Yes to both. And then I'm mm. going to pay the one to put the Swift Bruise on the Kamina targeting. Any responses? No. no. Nope. Mm -hmm. Sweet. <laughs> and then I'm going to tap three Merfolk to draw a card. Did I just... Done. Yes. I dropped a card. I'll look away. D look at that big flappy coat. <sighs> oh yeah, you're wearing you're wearing a, a coat that reflects. I you. had to be on theme. Yeah. I we literally picked it this morning to be on theme. Uh, okay, so we did that. We did that. Why are you not in a mech suit? <laughs> I'm on. What, are you kidding me? I'm on theme too. You see, I'm are on theme too. <laughs> okay, tap are three. Draw a card. Are you bouncing something? I might. I'm thinking about it. Mm, pretty good. You don't know. And then you, are these untapped as well? Yeah. Yes, these are untapped as well. Um. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Why me? Oh, you can like propaganda. Says, bounce abundance. I could. I could actually, but. I like abundance. That's what I would bounce. If it were me. But it's not me, it's me. So. It, I'd probably say, like, propaganda myself. If wait, wait, I bounce why? propaganda, will You've you already attacked attack? for turn. Yeah. So yeah. I can just recast it, right? But that just makes it easy for us to attack it. Yeah. Oh, you I are on pretty high life. <laughs> I guess, yeah. yeah. That four damage I have. Yeah, and also the haste enable you would need. I have some quantity of haste in here. <laughs> so I have some. Sorry, I mean, you I have to talk to a creature that innately has okay. it, right? Right? In the sense that, like, yeah. you I have actually one think card. I'm just going to keep my mana up for the moment. No? Okay. Oh, really? Okay. I, oh, yeah. All right. Sure. Right. So, that's, if uh, that's what you want to do. <laughs> no, I just think it's a good idea. Oh, right. You have a bunch of tokens now. Yeah. The thing as well is, I think. Yeah, you can put your own permits back in your own hand and then recast them for value. That's true. That's another thing as well. Yeah. Gross. Especially I if you have um, Disgusting. Mary Oh, Rigiri. yeah, mm -hmm. that goes infinite with Mary Rigiri and the... It's got some, yeah. Uh, Nyx Temple thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Tem Nyx Nyxthos. Nyxthos, Nyxthos, yeah. Tem yeah, Temple um, Nyx. Leader? Uh, crazy. Yes, so at the end of my turn, this will all untap. And then I do not really have anything else to... Yeah, yeah. all those other untappers are gone at the this moment. This is from so. your pilots. This is from your pilots. Yeah. yeah, sorry, my apologies there, chat. Uh, Land of Lack of clarity. My apologies, guys. I'm going to try my best. Failure to maintain board state. Yep. PE minor. Okay. Hmm. Nice. That's good. Honestly, underrated card. Yep. Sweet. Um, so I'll go 1 2 green green. I'll play said harmonize. Negate. Oh no, what did he do? Oh, it's my last card. Stay right here. On a harmonize. On, well, I don't want you to draw two non creature spells. Jesus. Think about it that way. If it was a searcher, I would not be countering it, but it so it draws you up. Could be three lands too. Okay. Sure. I'm scared. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Even if you draw a land, you exile a Valkyrie Dexter. I'll probably give you an avian. You will have no cards like the rest of us. It will take time. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, like rest, the rest of us. Let me I was like, it. I'm right here yeah. with you. Yeah. Don't worry about my ball. Um, <laughs> Because she's going to murder us One, in like two, two three, four, anyway. five, six, seven, eight, nine. The seas ten, will reclaim you. Eleven. <laughs> Speaking of the seas reclaiming, I guess I'll recast Kadama. My elevator no finally came back on yeah. on the apartment block. Yay! <laughs> Let's go. Actually, one of my friends that I play League with recently, they just got power yeah. and internet back to their house today. I'm very I'm happy for them. Oh no! You get to choose though. I get to choose. Pick the coolest one. For mentioning League, exile card from your graveyard. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> How dare you? Aquatex will. Is that it? Is that what we're looking for? Is it no, an but island? it's actually, it's it's a little bit funny. Okay. 
Shamrock mystifying maze. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh Shamrock redeemed hydrate. Oh, Shamrock redeemed hydrate. What a man. Drink. <laughs> Drink. We will alter for you, Shamrock. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. What a game this is turning out to be. Jesus mm. Christ. Yeah, rock me again, bro. <laughs> Rob, do it! Do it! I dare you! I dare you! Tune in just after this stream for Avian and Trent punching I on in Burnout Lane. I gotta do it. <laughs> Exile your master the Pearl Trident. Bro. Just got close to draw a card. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Kappa Cannoneer. Oh, I love this card. Oh, what oh. does he do? What does this boy do? It is do? a Ward 4 Artifact Creature Total Warrior. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under my control, put a 1-1 counter on Kappa Cannoneer and it cannot be blocked this turn. Oh, neat. And, and most importantly, it's art stunned by, by Yes by Icing. icing. Yep. Because it itself is an artifact creature. Insane. Then I will plus oh, one weird. Sahili. That is so weird, isn't it, actually? Yeah. To create a servo, which will then tick up Kappa Cannoneer. Nice. Oh, I had to pay one less for that. Um, bro, that card is busted. Bro, that card is crazy good. Oh, that card is crazy good. Big Whoa. fan. Big fan. That can deal a lot of damage. Uh, past turn. Okay. Um, we're going to go back down to five. We had seven there. Uh, we're going to go two and then two and then crack this event as well. Cool. What you looking for? I have no idea. Yeah, an artifact. Just figuring it out. Yeah, chances are an artifact. Just kind of, just kind of letting it, letting like the universe take us where it wishes. You yeah, know. Yeah, let's see where we go. Jesus, right? yes. unwinding clock. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> I think that's where the event Casually. Will, will casually come for an unwinding clock. Yeah. yeah. All right. So like, Did you just win. No. No. I just, I just still dirtle, man. All right. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I feel. You turtle. He dirtle. Based. Like, I'm gagging at you getting an unwinding clock. But you've had like four different untappers so yep. far. Yeah, I'm just joining the. I'm just joining <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. Welding what an unwinding jar. clock. What an unwinding clock. Why? It's it's. Why a... welding jar? Because mm -hmm. I can keep running it back and keep sacrificing and keep regenerating Shorokai. Just randomly comes up. People don't need, don't. All right. Value it at all. I keep just... getting it. I can fetch it with a lot of cards. I can. Yeah. I I I know, in my brain that welding jar is good in some decks, but I haven't figured out where I'd Which ever decks? want to put it. It's like Mazarek and such, I think it's like, you know, there's layers. I think like anything with like, what's it called, Scrap Troll decks, like this card yeah. goes off, like goes infinite with a lot of stuff. But in this build, all it is is like, I have the philosophy of, I play this card, and now people just don't like spot remove Shorokai because they don't mean to waste the regeneration. And then yeah. it's like, cool, every card that you waste on somebody else because it's not on this, because you're wasting it into a welding jar, that's another card I've counterspelled a welding jar. Hmm. Like, or I've d that you can deliberately then, you, moved you, over. If you clearly have one board that you can get it back, it makes it that like, don't touch me. Pass priority. Unwinding clock, exactly. Unwinding clock, pass Resolves. Priority. Perfect. Um, then it's gonna be generate three colors. Tapping Voltaic key. Oh, sorry, tapping Shorokai first. Making I remember, some pilots. I remember, hey, I remember let's pilots. go. We're in, we're in. We're gonna draw two, discard one. Scouting a Kelpie guide. We're going to use the other one, a tap Voltaic key to untack Shorokai. That might be a good chance to bounce it. Hmm. That's targeting Shorokai while it's mm. tapped. So, what? So, so, so targeting to bounce Shorokai, do you reckon? Um, yes. Possibly. That, like, uh, I don't know. That or it's the so unwinding hard. clock. Like, you hit the unwinding you clock. You can just, like, step. cast the unwinding clock. Yeah, again, the, right? that is the end step. That's oh, what yeah, we're saying. Yeah. So, yeah. I move into end step. And okay, yeah. At the end of my end step, you can. Yeah. Put this back in my hand. It is also four mana to cast again. Yeah, okay, since it is your end step, I will probably... Uh, no, it's not my end step. Oh. No, it's not close to it. No. We're saying that... Aiden's saying that you can wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. So not do anything now Sorry, at all. my bad. So either you can bounce Shorokai now, or you can wait till the end and bounce this. Now, that's 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 relevant. I don't think right now on the board there's anything that compares to this no, that yeah. you'd be bouncing. But I think this is... Because at the same time, like I'm going to be like... You can also just recast it and use it straight away. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't need haste. Well, well the, it, here's one thing. I'm. I can this turn be looking for lethal on Avian with this mm -hmm. because like I can remove the. I find a way to remove the good armor, crew it. But if you return this, it will need haste, right? Like it can't attack even though it's a non-creature. Yeah. Um. So it's up to you. Um. But what I'll do is I'll target this and wait for your response. You have a quick think if you want. No stress. No stress. No rush. We're just sitting here like this, Avian. Yeah. Twiddling our thumbs. I think that'll be fine. Okay. And then this will now untap. Turtle. Yeah. Because I, I feel like the whole lethal on Avian angle is, 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 is enticing. With one floating, I'll tap him again. 
-hmm. Yeah. I'll make my two boys, my two girls, sorry. Two. My, two, my two they them, and I draw two, discard one. My two pals. Gal pals. No, Gal pals. Just, just pals. Pal pals. Yeah, pal pals. Pal pals. Pal is gender neutral. Exactly. Then for one, two, three, four, I will cast Anchor to Reality, and as additional cost to cast, oh I'll my sacrifice God. a pilot. Hell yeah. So Anchor to Reality allows me to play an equipment or vehicle from my deck to the battlefield, and if it was less mana value than zero, less than zero, I can um, draw it. I can scry two, but I don't care. I'm just going for any vehicle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play out Peace Walker Colossus, which allows me to one in a white. Ooh, look at that card. One in a white, uh, give a creature, make a creature into an artifact. A vehicle into an artifact creature, sorry. So like it's kind the of hanging creature. It's yeah. the hanging creature, yeah. Uh, but it was the original Kaladesh one, so. Peace, its sole purpose is fear. It's an ironic name, that, that Peace Walker Colossus. Um, I'll let you cut that one, Piper. Um, then, um, it will play onto the battlefield and this will go straight to the fin. <sighs> mm, I'm scared. Then, I'm going to pay a blue. To Fate Stitcher Unearth from my graveyard. Return to my garbage play gains haste. Move from the game at the end of the turn. Uh, or if it would leave play. So it gets exiled, it would leave play. Tap to untap Shokai because there's haste because of Unearth. How many cards even hand? Lots. Seven. Seven. Jesus. <sighs> the problem is like with the. Well, the problem is he taps. Oh, it's only like that would be broken otherwise, but. Um, Mm. <sighs> okay. Six. Overlay Cyclone Drift. Do you have a response? I do. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. In response? Overlay Cyclone Drift. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, um, shit. Okay. okay. In response, I crack four treasures. And in response, I tap three more. Yeah, and in response, I sacrifice. So I sack four treasures for two blue, two white. Actually, let's have a quick brain. Yep, two blue, two white. And then I sacrifice, and then I crew. No, I don't crew anything yet. You get no. your boots back. I get my boots back. You get back. your boots back, you yay. Yeah. I will. That means I win. Crack. Uh, <laughs> it's over. Four. Oh yeah, because of that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll crack these four. Um, and that will make a You forced my hand, name. Trent. Yeah, that's no, all good. Look, I, I understand. I fully understand it. I fully understand it. Um, and then it all picks up. Then we all pick it. All of us pick everything up. Hell yeah. There you go. Here are your boots back, buddy. Yeah. Let's go. You don't get your rocks in the back end as everyone, because I always forget that. Yeah. I often forget to pick up my soul rings. Yeah, I often yeah. forget. So I've, got, I've emptied all my lands my out. My talisman now. of curiosity is now back in my hand. The excitement is uh It's tangible almost. Is yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty great. I am a pretty big I'm fan. I'm just gonna keep resolving artifacts until people tell me to stop. Stop. Play. That's too much power. We're gonna play arguments map and <laughs> find two planes. So I play one as my land for turn. That's umming and ahhing. Up to two basic yeah. planes cards. I choose to go not for a second one. Play it for turn. I choose to or you just don't have any? Shh. Don't tell <laughs> Trent that. Don't tell Trent <laughs> that. If uh, Trent knows. For four, I'll play if that If this was Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu failed to find. Mm -hmm. That's a game loss game right there, buddy. Loss. Four for Shorokai. Wait, is fail to find like an actual game loss in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. A P, it's a PE minor, so it's a single game loss in Yu-Gi-Oh. You cannot, you cannot play a card that you can't resolve. Oh, that's so dumb. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you, just have to, you just have to know. That's so stupid. You just have to know. You just have to know your deck. Yeah. yeah just get and then there are things that like vanish face down. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. So I just have to really guess. Uh, where'd you get that colored mana? I had two. I tapped, uh, cracked those treasures. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and I yeah. tapped a white as well here to overall, because I played yeah. land as well for turn. Cool. Um, so then I will play, I have one here, one here, and I guess that's the turn over. Oh, uh, no, wait, no, no, I'm a school. I'm going to play Voltaiki because they all untap. So then I'll get your turn. Play Voltaiki and then I'll untap. Okay. Cool. Back to the start of the game with lots <sighs> more land. All right. Okay, land for turn. 
We're huge. We are, We're in fact, it. huge. I like God. the rift into the rift. They're both, <laughs> just, they're both just gone, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, yeah. No more rift to worry about. If I'm going I'm back to that hand, far. so are you. Yeah. I can get cards back, but yeah. I'm going to get that far. You can e-witness too, so. Greaves. Oh. Mero Harbinger. Let's go! I love that. Top decking a Merfolk. Oh, top. Hey. Goes any Merfolk card too, so I can go looking for that enchantment for no reason. Yeah. Or Aquatex will. Like, the Harbingers always weird me out that they're all so different. Because that one's four mana, but there's like two mana ones. And... The elf one's three mana though, which is wild. Yeah. Mm. The tree folk one is two mana. Two I think. mana, yeah. yeah. Putting one to one propers at the top of my deck. Gross. What if you didn't? Oh, that's not mine. I was about yeah. to like untap those. <laughs> yeah, hang on. I want these. <laughs> I want all that Simic mana really badly. Please, like yeah. I desperately yeah. need There's forests in there, man. Yeah, that's true. That's true, actually. Uh, so that's on top of my library right now. Hmm. Let's see Oopsie what we can mode. do. Gonna fuck me up. Cause I'm pretty sure we can do some really fun stuff, you know? So I'm pretty right. sure right. I can find right. for everyone. Sword, Tap three classic. for the sword. A go to. Yeah. Oh yeah, you just dump yeah. Your mana. Okay. Then I'm gonna tap three. Yep, because I have two left for the equip. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna tap three for Kamina. Yeah, on that cast, yep. I will tap this, tapping Shurikai, making a pilot, drawing two, discarding one, discarding a flood plane, using the other to draw two, discard one. Where was your extra mana? Yeah, you need one I more mana. Two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, one for one, that. One. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. I tapped the three and dynamo instead. Yeah, sorry. there we go. My apologies. Uh, but that's that's fine. Yeah, that resolves. Cool. That's two pilots. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. We're, we're, we're really uh, looking out for you. So I'm going to... Other way. Yeah. yeah there, we <laughs> there we go. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, so sword. Yep. Greaves. Oh, uh, that's not the card I want. <laughs> Hard to exile. I'll part the exile that when you attempt to put the grease on it. No. Nice. No. Nice, Gary! Dude, just let me win, dog. No, you can shuffle <laughs> your library, dog. You would. you could play a land from my I, part the exile. Can I just choose not to? I think you have to. No, May. Oh, never mind. Sorry, it's there you go. You just don't play land. Yeah. My apologies, my apologies. Is my it, apologies. Is it like, basic oh. land or is it just any no, land? No, it's basic. Okay, land. cool. I was like, if I can, so, if, if I can get a Nyxos out of this, I will. <laughs> yeah, I think that's worth it. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I don't know if I play this card. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, now he costs. now he costs. So much mana. Yeah. It just costs 10, oh, yeah. no, 11 mana to play. 11 mana to play, yeah. Yes. And no cost reduction. Um, That'll teach me. Island Walk for two. <laughs> Wait, no, he's, yes, Island Walk I, for yeah, two. Yeah, I take two. Ha. Take two. Ha! Trends down to 30. All right, I'm going to untap with Avian. And I got to discard 15, down the size at the end of my turn. 15 turn clock. Oh, okay. My first natural draw of the game. In abundance These all day. amateurs with their normal drawers. Chumps. A lot of them. Uh, I'm, so I'm wondering about the sequencing of Capic Enemy on. That's seven. Oh, yeah, the okay. yeah, versus the triggers. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the triggers, maybe. Down to size. I think Sigilia and then on oh, no, size. I'm discarding Guardian Project, One, Forest, four. Temple of Mystery, Rogue's Passage, Sylvan Library, that, Talisman that. of Curiosity, Root Water Thief. Rogue's Passage, damn. Okay, okay. Okay. It Just was a mistake. You just not discard that. I've already done it now, it's too okay, late. Because I have the Ethereum oh. Skull. Wait, Pardon? No, I forgot to. Cool. Good armor? Oh, no. <laughs> you play Lamp. Special K. I always play Lamp. Yeah, but I uh, I have more. Um, of course. More. Yeah, uh, high morality. Yeah, I, I, I'm yeah. far more. Fuck, what? Based. That's what you Yeah, I'm, I'm far more based. <laughs> <laughs> that is the I am far. Incorrect word. No. <laughs> based no. on what? Uh, Fish? So Fish based, on, based on Merfolk, bro. Based on number of. It's for a Valkyrie exploration. Yep. Uh, that's going to let me put a. I, I love Trent stopping. So on the cast, I will respond. I'm going to tap Thrain Dynamo to do the Shorakai thing twice. Okay. Two pilots. Or to discard. <laughs> Fucking goddamn, dude. Um, discarding. Is it a Sword Splash or something? Because I don't. You just used. You should save it for Kamen. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. Kamen is gonna. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna weird. discard. Soon he's gonna cost so much mana that I can't actually cast it. And I'll draw two, and I'll make my two, 
and I'll discard. Wow, this is actually getting really difficult. Um, Peace Walker Colossus. Um, and then <laughs> Just I will. Kill it. Just do it. Okay, yeah. fine, I will. You know what? I'll sort it. You want to. I'll sort yeah. it. I'll sort yeah. it. Yeah, I will then. I, I wasn't even going to, but now I will. I, will. I knew that you wanted to. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got that back, sorry. What? You want to hold priority and count your own spells? Uh, no, hold on a second. Did I? Is that a mistake? Because I don't know if this can tap a white. I'm so sorry, guys. It cannot tap a white. It cannot tap oh, a white. Yeah. So more importantly, oh, yeah. this is on the field. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This doesn't tap a white. So yeah, I can't. It's did not you, so much this on the did swords. Did you not use white for the path exile? Oh, I had it. No, no, that was a treasure that I. That had. was a treasure. Yeah. treasure yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. But this I can't do. So you're fine. Yep. This I can't do. So you're fine. Where'd you get the treasure for the path? From the from the monologue tax at the time. I Wait, had no, the that was path that the... you played just I, then? Yeah, it was your turn. Yeah, no, that yeah. was... No, no Kamina's so still on the board. Kamina's on the board. I'm so sorry, Piper. You! Piper I would have... No, I know, I know. You can... I don't know what to do in this situation. I'm so sorry, guys. I totally forgot to tap a one. Game lost. Just kick him out. My apologies. So, what I'm, I can do is I can... This doesn't resolve here. Mm. I discard my path because I decided to play the path. I'm happy to wheel it back because that's, that's a say. huge That's a huge play. Difference. That's what I'm saying. So... Like, um, I'm, I'm happy to roll yeah, that back. Do you want to roll that back for a second? Yeah, yeah, that's my apologies, guys. Unwinding clock, IRL. Sorry. Yeah. So, okay. so um, Trent's back up to 32 Trent's back up to 32. I'm so okay. sorry, guys. My apologies there. All right. Thank you, you, thank you for yeah, letting yeah, us go back to that. Is so that sorry? Thank you for letting us go back to that. Do no, no, of course, of course. No, yeah, it's my fault, guys. Not okay. Um, so the problem, the only change so you, is, is that I have... Your Peace Walker... This is going to end up the same way, trust me. Everything I've drawn is going to end up exactly the same way. I can't shuffle my deck. I can't search any cards. So everything I've drawn in the first two turns... I'm going to hold on to, and yep. I'm not going to play anything because I can't. So yep. I'm basically just drawing cards. I keep the same amount. On Avian's turn, I'll leave this all tapped when it taps on Avian's turn. Yep. Same situation. I just can't powerful swords. The difference is you untap your lands and you attack me, yep. and then I discard a card as well. Yeah. Right? And I discard from my hand. You know I opened an order possession and I bounced it back. So I'm going to discard that because we know that was yes. in Yes. Cool. Okay. So that's all caught up. Cool. My apologies again, and guys. You've so dealt sorry about four that. Four damage to Trent. And I just dealt four damage to Trent. So Trent's down to 28. Again, yes. my apologies, With guys. 10 commander damage. True, yeah. exactly. Damn, so sorry guys. Don't, it my is brain. okay. My brain. It's okay, it's okay. I totally understand. I think my brain was just like, no, I have colored mana because I had floating mana here and I didn't move my dice yet. So I think uh, my brain, yeah. I ticked down a one on my dice and uh, then moved yeah, my yeah, dice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's why I did wrong there. Because I was like, I think it was leak, like, I think it was okay, I was doing the time. Wait, that means I guys. have all this stuff in my hand still that uh, I didn't discard down to size. Yeah, correct. Yes. So before you continue to play, like, yeah, and then you can play your land drop turn actually. Yes. Quite good. And then that's where we're at. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so, so I'm going to play down my thanks, land for turn. Thanks, team. Thanks, Jeff, for understanding as Rogue's well. Rogue's Passage. <laughs> that's a good card. It is indeed. Uh, is it target creature you two? control or any, car, any creature? Target creature. Hmm. That's interesting, actually. I like that a lot. It's good to know. Yeah, it's really it's good important. good to know. Yep. There's cool. politics. Two. Sylvan Library. <gasps> emergency meeting. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Don't. We're not doing an emergency meeting. <laughs> 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 yes. You the Thank words. you, PJ. You Thank you, PJ. The words. No, Beep. I'm gonna go. Uh, I think I think Dylan is sus. Um, pretty sure I saw Dylan vent. I don't know what engineer means, but I, I saw him vent, so I'm gonna vote him right now. Voted. Sorry. One, if you don't vote with me, either, you're also a sheep, by the way. Three. Yeah. That's a good strategy. That's a good strategy, my guys. Yeah, that'll teach you to Guardian release project? your emotional stress to friends. Don't vent at me. You. <laughs> you <laughs> don't trauma dump on me, mate. Yeah, yeah. Do not trauma I'll, dump. I'll on kick me. you out in the deep space. Oh, okay. guardian projects out. Three. For the Herald's Horn again, calling Merfolk. So pay one. To be clear. Root Water Thief. That's a joke. Bend all you like. Of course. Oh. Pay one, Root I Water Thief, drawing the Wonderwine well, Profits. I think it's important to like say to your friends, like, hey, you can tell me bad shit. Yeah. No, definitely, definitely. Trauma Dub is definitely a more... Um, That's a different thing. Yeah, it's definitely a... I was going to say, definitely a more toxic term anyway. So like more of Do a you have time now? Playing it off. Uh, I mean, I, I can just... Uh, Go pause. Commit. I can go commit die and just we can go and chat in the other room. PJ, <laughs> for you, we can all stop. We'll just pause the stream. Yeah. Put a 10 yeah. in that break. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our 12 viewers won't mind. Merry Commerce. It all started when my dad went to get smokes. <laughs> it all started. It all started. And then Sadly, I attacks. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Oh fuck, I really shouldn't have discarded that monologue tags now. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, oh, no. Right. No, it should be, well, it should Actually, be. the key there was you probably shouldn't have misplayed. Obviously. Mm. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> no, I think that's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, at the end of my turn, all my Merfolk are going to untap. 
and nil. Why? No, oh, you played that. Yeah. 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 Cool. I rebuilt my board up a little bit. Same card. A little bit. Yeah. I think back to. And then one. I discard two cards down to size. I think one, two, three, four, five, so, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine. Yeah. Dharma. So I'm just going to discard. I trigger. I activate Shorakai. Do the thing. Nothing happens. Talisman. Yeah. So resolves. Yep. Trigger. Uh, that's going to put a land into play. Um. Trigger. Ooh. Ooh interesting. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Okay. 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 Mm, um, I misplayed. Me. Hmm. Honestly, I, I empathize with that. Empath moment. That was actually dumb. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> oh. I like how we get to what, like, turn sixteen, and suddenly we're all just like, "How do magic?" Uh, it's probably can can be that you need to fix up, yeah, dude. Right. So one for the soul ring. One, two, three, to play the timeless tracker I just exiled. Nice. Trigger Kadama, and that'll put in a inspiring statuary. Sweet. Um, don't matter, matter. Go ahead. Boop. This is a much chiller turn. Do you want to do anything on the end of his turn? Pardon? Do you want to do anything on the end of his turn? Uh, no. They, they have all those extra I don't have the untaps at the upkeeps but I anymore. I untap when you do with my artifacts. Okay, so I've got some. Oh, is it the end of your turn? Only the end of okay. my oh, turn, yeah. Okay. Is it Boilerworks for Ethereum Sculptor? That's very good. <gasps> cool. Fuck me, mate. Now I have Pass Party because like, I want to res respond One. to this, but I won't. <laughs> you know I want to. One, two, three. You know I four. want to forget to make pilots. Do not tell Cap me. Cap the cannon <laughs> One, one, two, three, four. Does he cost? He, one, one less. One less. Oh, of course. So yeah, sorry. I, I paid five. I just I paid yeah. the blue and then the No, no, four. you're good. Sorry, I didn't read this. Sewing for free. Yay. Vessel of Endless Rest. Putting Ginny G back on the bottom of my library. Nice. I love that. That's pretty spicy. If we see it. <laughs> if we see it. Paying one for the Talisman of Creativity. You need a lot of life on that source to plowshares. <laughs> on that five mana fucking source to plowshares. Not so good anymore, eh? Mm. Um, I think I'll pass my turn there. Okay. I will do the Jorikai thing. Yep. Uh, I got fucking two Piper, two Avian, and now two Dylan. And then I'll draw two, discard one. And I'll discard. Shorokai intellectual is offering. And then I'll just draw two, discard one. Mm -hmm. And I'll discard Mystic Gate. And this whole I'll game will, is crazy. This whole game has been mental. So I'll untap in my turn. Where I can actually start tapping for colored mana, which is quite nice. There isn't just a bullet. This is a slog. It's yeah. a slog of a game. But it's been. It's, you know, it's partly the. I'm not lying to you. It's partly a lot my fault because oh I've yeah, been, I've oh been yeah. <laughs> I've been wiping everyone's board and then like controlling what they can try and rebuild with, and it's like you're all you won't lie though. You're all so out of the gate every time. Like look at this, look at this. They just got rifted. Like literally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, um, so land for turn is going to be a classic, classic staple of commander. It's Mech Hanger, brand new to Kamikawa. <laughs> uh, tapped out of matter of any color, cast a vehicle or pilot, um, and then pay three and tap to make a vehicle into a creature. Um, let's just go with two white mana to cast Vanquish the Horde. This card costs one less to cast for each creature on the battlefield. Do you know what this card does? I swear to God. Destroy all creatures. Dude. Sorry, Avian, you won't have to deal with any longer. Dude, You're seriously. Just gonna I'm going to make Hanging. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Hang, on, hang on, hang oh, on. Hang on hang oh, unless there's a response window. Oh, please, God. Please. Hang on. Hang on. Does anyone have any things that trigger on death? No. no. <laughs> fuck me. Dude. Okay, so my oh. pilots will go. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Sorry, team. Sorry, team. You're not sorry. You're not if sorry. If you're sorry, you wouldn't have done it. No, you're right. That's a good point. That's a good point. I'm not very sorry. Um, I'm, em I'm empathetic. You know what I mean? Like, Trent's like, like, Trent's like I just never want yeah. this game to end. Okay, <laughs> I never want this God game damn to it, end. Trent, please win, otherwise I'm gonna be mad. Yeah. yeah. Who's Who's this? I'm just having fun Fire with my friends. Fire yeah. Axe. Is please win. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's a three. It's nine attacks with a fucking eight eight guys. Like I gotta win. Like. I don't know, I'm trying. I feel like Rorschach at this point. Yeah. Oh man! Okay. Do it! <laughs> do it! Does do it! I am gonna kill you, yeah. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna tap uh, Mech Hanger and Fairy Dynamo and make a creature attack Avian. In response to that? Really? 
Mr. Fine Maze. Don't stop him killing people. Final two. What? Final two. Final two. <laughs> Made a promise. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, remember, I, remember, I remember when I first asked Trent, I remember when I first asked Trent, I was like, dude, can I be on Hardcast? He was like, there's a little bit of conflict of interest having my girlfriend on Hardcast. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you fuckers. That's less, yeah, yeah. Do you, that's less do you really, than true. Do you okay. really believe that Trent would do anything except try to win? Mm. <laughs> Truly, in your heart. Okay, I, no, I, I have no doubt that Trent will do anything to win. But I don't know what the fuck Dylan's doing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Dylan's doing at all. I am this chaos. You are yeah. king making. Yeah. And now, now all and blame lights. falls off Trent from slowing the game yeah. down because you're actively doing it. This now all blame falls yeah. off me because that's not beneficial to you. At least this is beneficial to me. I can't deal with you, Trent. <laughs> it's you can't deal with anyone. Bro. You can't you're deal fucked. with Avian. You're fucked. Like you can't deal with anyone, man. You're fucked. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna. Uh, Just let me kill him. Just let me kill him. Please. Just let me kill him! I'm begging. Alright, um, so we're going to. Well, we're gonna just create a board state that's, you know, powerful. So we're gonna play a containment construct. This card says whenever I go out of combat, uh, this says that when is I exile until the comes next back. Time step. Oh no, yeah. click untapped. Um, so when I discard a card, I may exile the card from my graveyard, but do I may play that card this turn? Um, for one, two, three, four, five. Guild of Lotus. Yeah. Let's go start untapping. Propaganda. Yeah. And then. Uh, just in case, just in case, we'll hold on to this. Um, and then, I mean, you know I now that's a, at the beginning of the end step, this returns, right? Yep. So I can then tap it before it goes back yes. to, yeah, because it yep. returns. If, if you, you have the many, you can. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, so you can uh, this returns, and then I will, uh, and I will, well, let me draw it here. Then I will, yeah, tap, I mean, it's fine, I will kill those. I'll tap it. Uh, to draw two, discard one. And then I will... Huh. That's easy. We're fine. We did it, boys. Don't worry. We did it. We, we're, we're past that hurdle now. Um, and then we're going to do this um, with another white. And then untap. And then with another white. Tap. And then, uh, uh, actually, no. We'll leave that up for now. Oh, it untaps anyway. Draw two, discard one. Oh, thank you, Firex. I am a beautiful boy. Arcane Signet. And then that is Piper's turn. Let's get your pilots. Yep. I make two pilots. No Overall. end step triggers. Nope. Okay. Untap. One more turn of staying alive. One more wrath. Oh yeah. We'll see. Mm. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie so, dokie. In my upkeep, I have a look at the top card of my library. Is it a merfolk? No, it is not. I draw it for turn. How? And then I play down my land for turn. How in that deck? We're running out, man. Like, we're running out. So I play we my land for turn, Nick there could, be a few, there could be two or three more. We haven't seen Ostia Command yet, I mean, so they could be in the just, deck. Just you wait for that one mill card in here. <sighs> yeah, I know. So I play Nick Close as my land for turn. Nick to jump. I'm ruined. <laughs> so I play Nick Close as my land for turn. That's you're very dead, valid. Son. Yeah. You're, you're dead, kid. Uh, then we go. It's nothing personal. Two. Nothing personal. Three. <sighs> deep Root Waters. Yeah. Yeah. A classic. So then we pay two for Svalen of Sea and Sky, making a hexproof Merfolk token and drawing a card. Cool. Any responses, sorry? No. I used my responses. Response. <laughs> <laughs> if Avian's in the game for one more turn, that means I'm in the game for one more turn. What? Yeah. It's one another what? target. No, 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 you said it right the first else. time. One more turn. One more turn. I was going to say, by the way, if you know if he just died right, I would have passed and you would have had another turn. Yeah. Just by definition, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, just by, like, that's how the game, like, that's how it turns. Like, I'm one more target that you have to kill before you can start working on Dylan's. Oh, yeah, but you, I've already got another target before I start working on this one, you know what I mean? Five. Yeah. That's <laughs> the game. Stop working on that one. <laughs> Work on I that guess, one. I guess, Wonder I guess, Profits? I guess. I guess. <laughs> Champion? Um, Championing the uh, token that it would have created? No, it's on the, oh yeah, because on the cast, yeah. yeah. Um, Response? Yeah, but like, so I'll, on the cast I'll, I'll respond with the Shuriken. Mm -hmm. Like, flash and a Chroma's Wrath in. Uh, <laughs> route. Route, that's the one I'm thinking of, yeah. Mm -hmm. One more Wrath, one mm -hmm. more Wrath. Do very one exciting stuff. Wrath. Um, I'm going to discard down a Gundry Seed of the Empire and say... 
Yeah, like if you attach lightning greaves, I will. S Emergency meaning. If you attach lightning greaves, I'll sword your one to one puppets. And if Do we you have the white matter for it this time? Yes. I have lots yeah. of white matter for it this time. And I can untap my white matter. I have all of the white matter now. You gotta make him use it, right? It's true. Because then I can't use it on your opponents. But I also have a path in my hand, I, which you shouldn't know, but I do. I think much. that's one thing that a lot of people don't do in commander games is like make your opponents use their answers. Don't just let them like sit Definitely. there and Yeah, but have at the same time, hand. this is like a win con, you know? Yeah, as in like that's the yeah. difference here. Like yeah. I'm, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I just He's going to path it anyway. It's your win con. Unless Unless we make an agreement that I don't grieves it and he doesn't path it. And if it, even if she grieves it, I will path it, right? If she doesn't grieve it, she doesn't attack this turn, why would I path it? Yeah. Okay. Like as in like unless okay, what if what if she does Why would he maze why would he why would he mystifying maze well, the shit attacking you? Fair, you know, who fair, cares? To be fair, I will say that like if they just don't put anything down relevant at all and then this threatens me in the later turns, if you try to grieve it, I will path it. Like, or I'll sort it. Like, it, it's just going to keep happening. That's that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. It's going to keep happening. Like, he's going to path it eventually. But then, it's a matter of when. But I thought we all, Jack Garrett, I thought we all agreed that just taking extra turns is a good idea, right? We just, just a whole extra turn cycle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Think about I it that I thought that was a good thing. I thought that was yeah. a really good thing. We established that's a great You're idea. You're right. <laughs> You're correct. <laughs> it's a whole other turn. And by the way, think of it this way. I now I have to deal with you before I deal with her. She's creating more space. Yeah. I like this plan, actually. You you know, know, I am also curious how many times I can cast Kadama. Like, how high can I get his mana cost? Right? Oh, how yeah. We're at, we're, at, plus. Yeah. Let's go for it. we're at 11 for Kamina now, which is bad. Yeah. Yeah. There's the danger zone. Um, that was 12. If you leave Rogue's Passage open, think about it. Because I can remove this. I can actually remove that. I won't grieve this. If you don't get it this turn cycle. If you don't want this turn if you cycle? Don't, if you don't like get it. If remove you don't it. remove it this turn cycle. That's fine, yeah. For sure. I won't remove it this turn cycle. Yeah. Absolutely not. I won't grieve that. Eleven mana, come in. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly? I'm going to pay two. Okay. Yeah. Sword the Spellion. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, um, I was gonna say that's all good, don't worry. I, I did just fuck it up, didn't all, I? No, no, don't, don't worry. It's all, that's not at all. We didn't make any deal on that at all. I was just saying yeah. that was helpful to me. Now it's yeah. gone. Well, wrecked. That's it's okay, I'll tap the removal of Avian's permanence. I mean, to be fair, if I just lightning what? greaves and attack, I untap all my lands. I untap like, creature that he makes. I just untap all my lands when I attack, so it's not really a huge issue. And to, yeah, when you do come damage. Yeah, because I untap Listen all my lands. Listen to me. attack me with spell because I didn't say anything about that. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes sense. Yeah. But oh, think about this. He has to think about this way. The sword the sword makes Avian discard 50% of his hand. Oh, no, he has to let you hit him, because otherwise you don't untap the um, Rogue's Passage. But if you attack Avian, you also untap oh, yeah, Rogue's Passage. Oh, you have fucking propaganda right? up. <laughs> <laughs> this good way point. you get to hit him. Good point. You have Your propaganda own... up. I can't tap the Nykthos for a buttload of mana and then like still hit you with propaganda. You can just tap two to play propaganda and then tap this in the next turn, right? Yeah, that's... Like nice. in the next, sorry, main phase? Yeah, but I still just get like far less mana but than I would have. What are you using mana on this turn? Uh, in the what are you using it on in combat? Oh, you're gonna use it before the combat yeah. and go oh, hard. Yeah. Yeah, that's ah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I guess because ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hit him anyway. He deserves it. Yeah, I am right going here. to hit you anyway. Okay, good. Go team. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the yeah. <laughs> you two stop interacting. <laughs> stop interacting. We, I'm done I, with we this. We stopped interacting like I'm going six to turns ago. Okay. It's, 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 it's really the battle of the bears. We've only right been now. doing it's not minor you just, you just interaction have... with high impact. Yeah, I can just, I can just chump I, it. By yeah, you can just chump it. So I'm going to attack Dylan. Because you can't just chump this. Uh, yeah, I can just chump it, by the way. It's unblockable. Yeah, but then yeah, she doesn't get to untap the Rogue's Passage and you don't get to kill me. That might be true, but I think I could just handle you. I think I've got like three spot removals I'm and one in my hand. Okay, how much damage do you do? Five. Right. I'm down to nine. Yeah, <laughs> got dispatch path, swords, I will discard Sahili into the command zone. Based. Oh no! I will untap she wants to be, bro. all of my lands. All right, you just cast your hand now, right? Basically, yes. Yeah. So we're going to pay two, three for Surge Spanner, uh, triggering. Oh, is that it? Is it game? This <laughs> no, you don't have the, card. that's in the graveyard. The untap is in the graveyard, right? No, I don't have, I haven't seen Rajiri yet. <laughs> Did you make the a deal? The Rogue's Passage, no! <laughs> <laughs> no! It's all good. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> there was no deal made there. There was no deal, was no deal made. <laughs> it's gone, bro. <laughs> I thought I was watching it. The first thing was the right. No! 
See now that's see look, and this is the real this is the real point. You don't rogue's passage because we have no agreement, and now we you have, have no to agreement. remove Avian's cards with my cards, not your cards. See, should never have helped you rogue's. Why passage. would you remove my cards? I'm doing nothing. I've done nothing. No, yeah, look, I just don't. But if I attack anyone else, it does nothing, bro. You know what I mean? It doesn't Every do Every single card she's played who's, is a lethal. Who bro. says it does anything when attacking him anyway? So let's see. Your generous gift says it. So <laughs> stop. <laughs> We're okay on the land part. So the game plan here is like, you two beat each other down, and then I bolt the survivor. I think that's a plan, you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> and then we duke it out like gentlemen. Like gentlemen? Yeah. The way magic's no, intended to be played. You know what? Hold on. The prime speak is the Ghana. I don't like this at all. What the oh, hell are you Jesus at? Christ. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking Making dead. another murder, drawing Andy. a card. I'm killing you. I'm killing <laughs> you. Know, get... you know what? Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Before you draw those. Yes. Can you please kill that? Before it gets all the cameras and draws in a thousand cards. I can't. It'll draw me five it. cards. You have a path. Well, oh, because it would then only count one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, true. Um, how oh, many, what happened to I have three pieces of single card? I do, I do, I do. Well, f how many cards are you drawing? Five. How many five. cards do you have? Sorry, it it'd be drawing six, sorry, because yeah. it'll be five counts. So I have two, three, four, five. I've got five in hand. So it ETBs and then triggers, yep. and then it's going to draw you one card and then six. one card, because I'm going to try and remove it. Yeah. Um, as opposed to. But. You're gonna untap your lands, Like, how many. Oh, yeah. yeah I have Nykthos up still. Uh, yeah. That's a lot of Nykthos bit, too. Yeah. Uh, uh, what would you like to do? This is why I keep people alive. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so if I was dead, I wouldn't have told him that. That's true. Um. <laughs> Maybe rethink <laughs> killing me next time. You're right, Avian. You know what, right? You, you live me. in your own Avian, mess, You know right? what? You've actually fully turned me around. You know what, next time? Just for that, just for that, I'm not gonna kill you next time. Oh, thank you. Just between you and I. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. It's gonna make sure. I'm just gonna make sure that that little top two hot situation never happens. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. Sorry, Dylan. I'll try and save you. We're I'll going to. Best. Yeah, we're gonna try and attempt to cast dispatch targeting this uh, by paying yeah. one. I'll I'll tap the guild loads for three white because I'll pay a white and a white because I have to pay one extra because of ward, right? So I will attempt yes. to. Um. That's fine. That resolves. Sure. So it gets exiled because I have three artifacts. Believe it or not. No worries. So please believe it or not. And it still draws me one card? It draws you two cards. One for this, and I then already one drew off the Guardian project. Oh, then sure, yes. Yeah. Then, then it'll draw you a card. Yeah. Cool. That's a fun one. That's a bit of a fun one, isn't it? No! No! That's a bit of a no, fun one, isn't it? No! Oh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> you know you're not hardcore. I'm hardcore. Avian's the most hardcore. Yeah. I, I, I go to metal shows. <laughs> really? Sometimes. That's bass, bro. I don't yeah, go to metal shows. That's hardcore. That's pretty hardcore. What do you, who do you go see? Oh, I bet, I bet like, uh, whoever is local. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was just going to say, I bet it's indie Brisbane bands. <laughs> I like everyone that shows up anywhere near Brisbane, yeah. to be honest. Did you go to any nightcore shows? <laughs> uh, if, yes, I've been to a couple. Are you a Necro Nation man yourself? Yes. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. A good fun. Big fan of Necro Nation myself. Yeah, it's dope. Never been? No. It's actually pretty good. Pretty dope. Yeah. Free for e Oh, wait, you say Necro Nation? No. Necro Nation. Necro Nation. No. no. Yeah. Free for e -witness. Absolutely not. It's all the like oh, weird no. anime music like, yeah. that you don't play in front of friends, but uh, it's by played attempting to using no? the fun. one to untap this, using one of the colors here to untap, to tap this. Now I have one color floating here and then blue here and three, and I'll draw to discard one. And if I have something to respond, I will. I do not. All right. There are two. These lucky bastards with all their interactions. There are two things, things that I can really do here. I'm really tossing up between heroic intervention or seed bomb use. Going back to my hand, you know. Sorry, to the battlefield, isn't it? No, to your hand. Oh, to your hand. Okay, cool. It's any card, right? Yeah. So it could be cyclonic rift. It could be. It really could be. I do have cryptolith right up, actually. Yeah. I mean, you got a lot of options. Seed bomb use is pretty cute too. That 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 strengthens your game plan a lot. Yeah. Because of this card. Yeah. And that might end up just being about as valuable as <laughs> Cyclonic Rift over the turn of like three three rotations. But then again, I'm responding as well, so. Yeah. Sea Rift could just be really good here. Mm. Sea Rift could be really good here. And you just can hold it for as long as you want. You know what? We will add Sea Rift back. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. We'll add Sea Rift back. Yep, yep, yep. One more rock. One more rock. And then my e witness entering rough. the battlefield gives me a <laughs> trio. Wowza. What did we expect? Oh, she she can tap for a mana. So I'll pay one for Bob. Yep. Stop it. 
Bothered. Then my Nexos is still alive. Uh, at the end of my turn, all my Merfolk will untap. Don't have Kamina out. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did she untap for any reason? Did she attack me at all this turn? Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah, Ooh, I think she, she did. Yes. Yeah, okay, never mind. That's fine. We still got Negate Man. I think up you had one of these from last turn as well, right? Maybe? Is that correct? Or are these all this turn? I think that's all this turn. Did you cast her this turn? No, I casted this this turn, that's right, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's sure. all this turn. Yeah. Sorry, yes, it's all this turn. My yeah, bad. it's all this turn. Um, and then you know what? Pop off. Sick. You got end step bullshit? <laughs> Keep forgetting. Uh, I untap with your turn. Okay. I that's have end step bullshit. <laughs> Go on. Actually, I should have tapped all my merfolk. Actually, no, I can't you tap can't. all my merfolk. I don't have Kamina out. Sweet. That's an easy Fine. mistake right. to make as well. Yeah. Be good. Please be good. Please, please, he says. Okay, sure, I guess. Um, temple. Uh, trigger, scry on top. No. Please. Ooh, very nice. Ooh. What do you do? What are you, you cursing, that, right? I can, uh, I can get upkeep it up to my hand and draw it and play it. Yeah. There's but also the sword. There is also the sword. The That's sword is doing a lot for me. That is a good yes. point. The sword is pretty massive too. Yeah. It's enchantment as well, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah Artifact like, enchantment. Yeah, there's lots of that. Because there's also, like, it's I a weird... I forgot Sylvan Library this time. I was going to say, it's a weird one, but, like, there's also Guardian Project, which is huge. There's also Crypto Thrive, which is huge. Like, there are, I'm dead on the same. There are a lot of things that are doing a lot like, of work for me right now. Even this one that just makes Hexproof tokens every turn, it's just one If I Oracle kill away. this, you can't kill me. Um, that is technically that true. That is one turn of non attack me. Oh, no, I can't, because I can't respond. Split second. Well, I can, hang on. No, I can't do anything else now. Yeah. Because it's all on resolution, yeah. It's all your priority. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, he has priority when it comes out, so he needs to use it now. Or that's it. It's the first thing he does, or yeah. I can respond with other stuff. I wish I still had Avian's Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course. So... Hmm. Yeah, what, you got some special actions you can respond with? No. It's like, it's like... Crew it! Man, or something, that's all. But yeah, it's fine, so he does. This does die. Um, it's more where it's going, it's more than my question. Because um, I have some stuff. But I think it's still going to be here, just because that's, like, safest. Okay, fair. Um, at that point, I'll go one, two, three... Ah, see, that's a support. I should have upkeeped this, because I should have <laughs> expected something coming out. Um, um, so there was eight. Yeah. This is one of those like is magic games in our store where I'm like trying to close up and they're still at the table like, no dude, come on, just two more turns. <laughs> no, you gotta go, you guys gotta leave. You guys, dude, yeah. I'm not insured for this, man. Yeah. I, I, you, can you hear closing time? That great 11.30 p.m. <laughs> tuned table game at the old um, store. Done, yep. That was me, like, all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Favorite customer. You and Lewis. Oh, yeah. Be good. Yeah. Are the tuned table here like still as disgusting as they were not at when I was coming in regularly? No, uh, it's because we've got like a CDH environment now that we have on Monday nights, a CDH event. Uh, so yeah, we've kind of like that. helped dilute the tune table a bit. But it, it's still quite powerful, like it's quite fast, there's yeah. no joke there. Okay. But it definitely has taken kind of a step back. I think there are lots of cards you're now seeing less and less on it. Okay. I'm seeing uh, a lot less Lotus Petal style of cards happening on the tune table. Ah, kind of okay. I'm seeing a lot less of the, like the, I need to have this happening turn one emptying my hand to just make sure it resolves. So there's four? Mm. Yeah. But obviously, like the mana crypts and the and the mana drains and all that stuff coming around, like it's still like yeah. the classic kind of tuned, expensive stuff. Oh yeah. And Just for those in chat as well. I will cast Sahili again. All right. Oh my god. Does it resolve? Oh yeah, man. Like. Yeah, dude. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got shit. I got no issue with your Sahili, bro. I will plus one. <laughs> like, I love it's like I love it. The board looking like this. I can't see Is there a response? Nah. Show sure, rock deep tight, gentlemen. Oh, two right. people. And then I will plus one the loyalty count as you support me first. Wish you had an emergency meeting to the Avian. I already told you all the time. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, hydrate. Oh my god! Let him play I his was turn. trying to play my it's the two law. card turn. It's the law. It's the law of the land. Y'all don't break the law. Alright. Um, I'm gonna have hydration in the offices. <laughs> Would they be called Hydro? Hydro. Okay. So I'm gonna untap. I'm going to have a look in here. I, I do very much apologize. I really need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I need to move, don't I? Yes. I was I doing so really well. Okay, so what you do yeah. is pop your thing off your pocket. Oh. Grab this little thing. 
a little behind the scenes. Yep, and we'll pull that up. Perfect. And now you can just drop the lead, and then put that back in your pocket. Cool. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll make a full-time streamer out of you yet. One of these days, yes. Oh, no one can hear me. Right. I mean, True. They, well, still hear they can hear you through our mouth, yeah. mics, yeah. Thank you very much, Avian. Um, do you want me to wait, Avian, or do you have, like... Oh, sorry, Avian, uh, Piper, do you want me to wait? Um, yeah, I'll wait. Yeah. Um, I've actually also been wearing shorts as well, so... Yeah, yeah, go right ahead. Yeah. Use yeah. this opportunity. That's fine. So, games, huh? <laughs> Okay. PJ, can we get a can we get a face cam, please? For okay, let me let me explain to you why you I may have upset you. <laughs> no, you don't, don't, don't. You've not upset me. Do not worry, my friend. You don't worry. Um, not upset me at all. But because I'm I'm acutely aware of the board state, and I have cards in my deck that can get me back into the game. I so worry. it's in my it's in my benefit to tr keep. I feel like antagonizers in the field. Sure, but I feel like that that is still antagonistic to your strategy. I think if Avian starts to like explode, his deck is going to deal a lot of damage to a lot of us, and it might just kill. It might just kill Piper and I leave you alive. But he'll be so far ahead that I cannot imagine. Even if you were to top deck the directive, I cannot imagine a situation where you would flip enough cards that he wouldn't just go, okay. In response, I just toggle you to death, or in response, I just like burn you with the Valakut on my next turn by exiling eighteen cards and going turn, and then your whole board attacking for the next game is just like dead. Because you just die. Because you're on nine life. You're so low. But that's that's. I mean, it's a tough choice, right? That's a right? risky. Like, that's it. It's risky. It's risky. That's that's what comes down to that kind of um, that risk calculation of there is the chance for him to do that. That's true. Then, but there's also no, but there's also the chance of you guys preventing him from doing that. Yeah, but I think at the more that I prevent Piper, maybe there's layers of because if you start to go off, I think this just one shots you. Another thing as well, like it's like like you you're in a very tough position to be saving I, Avian. In the sense I'm that, like, in the sense that, if I killed Avian, you're like, by the way, Trent, I could just miss. You could have just been like, emergency meeting, Trent. I'm gonna maze that, and I'm like, N no, and you go, Trent, I'm gonna maze that, and I go, okay, look, let me kill Avian, okay, um, fuck, and then we work out a deal, then we talk, you know, we use our we use our words. We're adults. <laughs> <laughs> adults. Uh, look, again, I don't Bless. mind. It's fine. It's not. It's not the end of the world. Like I said. Like I said, I mis I made the misplay. I should have welding jar at the start of the turn, targeting Shorokai. The turns have been we're getting late in the game, so people are burning through their phases. And I think like Avian saying, I go to upkeep, do you have a response trend? Would you like to crack welding jar? Is not relevant for him to do. So I, it's my own fault for not doing this, but I should have cracked that saving the Shorokai earlier, because I should have just expected he would just Avian something into my face. Um, that's actually not in the grin. But yeah. Um, so I gotta actually cast this and just basically hope the Piper doesn't just see riff me next turn. That's basically my that's that's my plan. Speaking of pipe, I... the deck's bling the fuck out. Oh yeah, it's so, pretty. it's so bling, it's crazy, it's crazy. Um, um, I I have an answer in hand. Oh. To this. To anything that may happen. <laughs> like a like a like a, like interactive counter magic? Is that what you're talking about? Not necessarily direct counter, like nah. if you like if someone wants to neg value on someone, like like a psychrift. I have a way to flip it. Okay. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll see how we go. It's gonna be a tough one. We're colluding. We're colluding. Yeah. We're colluding. Dylan was explaining We're being besties to me. Again. Dylan explained to me why he mazed my creature. And it's still not a good enough. <laughs> still not a good enough explanation. But hey, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we're here now. And yeah, you. Hey, I'm not trying I, to say it's I, not. I'm I saying the risk. My, it, was the my risk it was the risk matrix from my perspective. So. And I totally agree, dude. I totally agree. From the from the problem solving perspective, you did the right thing, but it resulted, I think, in maybe the wrong result. But who knows? Because at the end of the day. Because the it's only, all the only other thing commander. I was looking at was the possibility of Piper attacking me, yep. but her stuff's got Shroud, so the Mystifying Maze is completely no, pointless. I totally agree, I totally agree. No, 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 I totally agree, I totally agree. Plus, don't forget, uh, I tap this and bounce Mystifying Maze and attack you anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You can't yeah. attack with Piper here. I totally understand that. I totally fully understand that Piper is not someone you talked about this card, but you have, but you then, have but a, then an by opponent not, killing an yeah, opponent. Yeah, but by, by keeping Avian in the game, it's... We'll see. We'll see how it's long it gets. It's maintaining you. your thoughts. Exactly. We'll see how long. We'll see how long it gets there. You know what I mean? That's we'll see it's how about. Far it's about it pushing. There. It like it's a riskier play for me, but it's also a play that creates a riskier environment. For it's you about guys. pushing limits and redefining boundaries. I get yeah. it, dude. It's the synergistic approach of a corporate overlord. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> I like this a lot. 
I'm on, I'm on, I'm on PJ's side. Please stop. No more buzzwords. No more buzzwords. No. NFT. Ah. I'm Big Vault. Mr. Vault. Mr. Oh my God. The amount of people that just started coming up with Mr. Vault law after the, after that Kemagawa pre-release. Oh yeah, Mr. Vault and the Cream Law. Great. I love the Vault law so far. Sorry, gone. I'm gonna. I want to write up a big Vault law thing about who we are and like the Pokemon League. (laughs) <laughs> so, eight mana here is going to recast Shorokai for the second time. So, it's going to be, oh, sorry, for the third time. Cool, yeah. Second time he's been on his own. Uh, putting through on it. So, then he's going to just, unless there's any responses, he's going to enter. Um, it's going to be one, two, three, four. This is like super redundant, but it's like, I'm just going to cast a Smothering Tide. Kind of get some more, <laughs> just get some value out there. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not that good. It's, it's fine. It, it's not it's, it's, it, we're past the draw it. stage, I think. We're far past the well, Yeah, we're far past that. I'm getting treasures and it matters. Um, he had treasures before. He only used two of them. It's true. Um, and that's going to be two. We're going to show a guy immediately, looking for a pilot. Bing. A pilot oh. here, and then we're going to draw two, discard one, discarding it. Chief Engineer. Um, we're gonna go, we have one still floating. So one, two, three. For a command sphere. Okay. And then we're going to go. There's an awful lot of mana rocks. It's an awful lot of mana rocks. Tap to use this to untap this. Um, and then. Um, I'll also do the containment construct by putting this out of my graveyard in case like just like cards in this turn if I want to. Uh, which I think I will actually see. One, tap. What do you end up getting with the Kodama's Reach again? One. Um, oh, the Kodama's yeah. Reach. The, the I hit Shorokai uh, oh. just so he couldn't attack me for a turn. Yeah. yeah. And then draw two more and then discard. Because I was dead on board, so. Just got a bat on Monolith. Sense. Don't worry, no rings. I um, can't just assume that Dylan is going to mystify again. <laughs> it's true. Never um, assume. Never we, assume. We, He's an card. agent of chaos. Wild card. Hmm. Then we are going to play for one, one, two, and a white, because I'm casting a vehicle spell. Okay. And I'll cast a Prodigy's Prototype. Cool. So now for one or more vehicles, I control attack. I create a 1-1 one, one pilot. Um, life total on Avian? Uh, 16. Oh, sorry, 16. 16, yeah. I'm on nine. You're on nine. Um, You're on nine? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, I'll go combat and I'll send these three pilots that aren't summoning sick at Dylan. It's life total. Are you just uh, taking three? I'll take three. Okay, that's six. Um, and then I will pass the turn. Emergency meeting. If I cycle right now, are you going to source my one to one profits? Me? Yeah. Um, if, you, if you uh bounce right now, I can't source your one to one profits. Cool. Tap my Nykthos for two, four, six, seven, eight. Blue. And cast Psychic. Do you have any responses? No. Oh. Ooh. Split sudden, sp- sudden substitution. You can have my servo. I will take control of your Psychic. Cool. Okay. And then we'll bounce it all up. Oh no, I get to use my fucking E Witness again. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. I get access to all of my good cast triggers. No. Oh no. But hey, my board's fine. I mean, I'm really happy that everyone's enjoying step. dirtling. Yeah, it's good again. Um, we're back here. This is okay. Um, and then I have to discard for size. I think I have my relative tower out. Oh yeah, I haven't no. seen it in all this game. Um, and the measles die. And the guys back in my hand. And then it is discard down for size, and I'll <laughs> keep my hand. Oh, well, yeah, so I'll keep my. This, <laughs> this is fine. Fire. Fine. Fine. This. It's fine. This. This. I'm gonna grab some cards. I'm gonna grab a bunch of cards I want, and then I gotta thin that out even further, which is kind of. You weird. know how you before you were like, Trent, if you don't win the game, I'm gonna scream. Dylan, if you don't win the game, I'm gonna scream. It's fun. It's been good so far. It's been interesting. It's been it's been engaging for sure. Last game a bad least. take. Can we just start again? again? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your mics were off. Sorry. Oof. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. No oh, luck. look, the camera no wasn't luck. working the I entire know, time. Know. They can't it's see the, me. This just... glare and with mercury and retrograde. It was meant no, to be No, it's actually live. Pluto that's coming back at the moment. Oh, okay. And just, just so you know, Rome fell when Pluto visited, okay? Just so you know. 
It was such a Gemini moment for Dylan. <laughs> Hey, hey. I'm Leo with Gemini rising. How dare you, okay? I'm, I'm a Gemini sun or moon or whatever. The, I'm, a, I'm a Gemini ultra moon. What? So I on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have the extra content at the end of your game. Yeah, yeah dude, I'm yeah. full of ultra yeah, beasts. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Um, okay, so this is going to resolve card and everyone picks up their cards and plays another game. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like, no, let's not make a Shaharazad episode. Meanwhile, this. <laughs> Meanwhile, this, yeah, yeah. Enter the dungeon all over again. Um, if I only had a Microsoft Lattice and Khan in the deck. If only. If only. Um, oh, that'd be nice. That'd I just want to, nice. I just, I just, oh, I just am sitting on so many win cons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Far out. If we stall long enough, they'll mill themselves out with all their card. Cool. It's true, it's true. That's how it work. I can't help but notice that enough, more than so half those. It's all right. I'm an owner. Sorry. Okay, so I'll definitely discard Welding Jar, Commander Sphere, Archimedes Map, Pontius Prototype, Containment Construct, Stunning Tithe, Stone, Skull Lamp, Altar, Welcome Your Vampire, Shurikai, Archie Signet Path, and Thran. And I got one more card to discard. This one's really hard because I got one. Is this the stuff. longest game of hard cast Commander in history? It definitely already oh, is as far as the body yeah. goes. It's yeah. definitely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's at three hours. Yeah. 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 Um, and then we'll. This is a long one. It's a long one. So my debut could be nothing else, you know, it had to be special. Your Otherwise. debut is just one continuous game that we play for the rest of time. For the full fortnight, <laughs> until <laughs> next episode. And then we'll just Unwinding Clock, and that'll be my, the end of my end step. Cool. I top deck Apocalypse and we start again. <laughs> 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 Wildfire? Please do. Or better yet, the Great Aurora. Mm, better yet, I like the Great Aurora. Yeah. We need um <laughs> no, we just need that uh, we just need that time twister from um from Modern Horizons too. What's it called? I keep getting the name of it. Echo of Eons. We just need oh, Echo Eons from the yeah. graveyard. Yeah, easy, easy as. I can shuffle graveyards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, play down a land for time. <laughs> Have fun editing this, Dylan. Uh, jokes on you, Firex. It's no going editing. on unedited. Bold of you to assume Dylan edits. <laughs> bold of you to assume there'll be any editing to this. Bold in general. Just like just like bold as like uh, as like a font. Um. <laughs> Aerial bold, aerial bold. Just like a font, I just like it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, right? I'm pretty sure if I do this, so two, <laughs> three, deep root waters. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, boots. Boots. Boots, boots, boots. Let me think, let me think, let me think. So we got... Are you going to be able to play enough to kill me? Just out of spite? Um, it's not spite, Dylan. <laughs> it's not it's spite, not Dylan. Spite. <laughs> literally, at this, literally at this point, it is just like, you represent just too much in the game of just <laughs> nonsense shit. <laughs> and like, none of our plans make any sense because of yeah. what you keep doing. So we have to make sense of our plans and kill you. That's the most, that's the most sense Pi we can make right now. Three? Get this guy you're, out You all thought I was playing Is It Artifacts. You were actually is it just chaos. Yeah, it's is it it's is it storm in the sense like brainstorm. <laughs> it's it's well, okay. sort of feast and famine. <laughs> That's also happening. These things are all happening. Two, three. And I hear think of, time. Think about it this way. No. If I even I had a bottle of soul ring, the game would be over by now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all on him, really. It's my fault. It's all my fault. How dare you, Avian, honestly? What a monster. Quite cringe, if you ask me. So how many, what's your life again? It's six. six. <laughs> yeah, it's hyper needs a, a four power creature. Would you, would you what, would you look at what's four power, buddy? Do you know what's four power? One divine oh, prophets. Oh, that gives you oh, a fucking no. turn as well. Yep. Shit. So I'm gonna Shit. pay three for Svalen, making a merfolk token. You're not, you're gonna, you're gonna die first. Oh, that's game. And then just gonna go to a new turn and then kill us each. Yeah. One divine prophets. Responses. Based, bro. <laughs> Based, bro. Responses. With what Everything's mana are you equipping Sword of Feast and Dude, the sword does not fucking matter. If I do this, it's game. It's game because I get another turn. Well, it's not game game. Well, it's not game game. As in like, as in. Okay, so, so I'm going to target to equip my boots with Wonderwine Prophets. And then ask for response. Responses. I got no. Can I give you oh. mana? To, no. No. Can um, you give me mana? I mean, I wish. Do oh, you, are you shit, playing I a card to assist? No, I can, I can play a card, but I need two mana. I thought you were out of the way. No, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> the way you were like, can I give you two mana? I was like, yes, I would hate, I need it. I'll stop this. So no responses? No responses, man, go ahead. Don't I'm gonna attack Dylan. For four? For four. Yeah. Cool, I take cool. four. I'm gonna sack a Merfolk when combat damage is dealt to give myself an extra turn after this one. 
Cool. I'm on two life. I will dis I will have to discard down to size real quick, so just give me one moment. Is this game going to end? Yeah, it's about to end. Yeah. Three. It's literally about to end. Do we have any interaction at all? I'm I'm cardless. I'm cardless. Yeah. One, two, I mean, I'm. Five, six, you seven, know my hand. Nine. Yeah, I'm, I have the same problem. It's artifacts and enchantments. Oh, I just don't have anything. Cool. And then well, yeah, I have nothing. Like you just need to play a Murloc. Uh, Murfolk every turn. Murfolk every turn. I've been playing too much Hearthstone. They're I basically yeah. Murlocs. Anyway. <laughs> They're basically They're Murlocs. They're basically Murlocs. Yeah. Cool. Just less. So update. I'm gonna go to my Fun next fact, turn. Um, in the WoW TCG, Murlocs are the like stand-in for slivers. They operate the exact same way. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's that all Murlocs sense. get X. Two. So there you go. Like, there's one called um, Chumley. Three. It yeah. gets plus three, plus oh. three to all the folks. Okay. Um, look at me now, I'm doing the opposite. Yeah, you're doing the same thing. Search yeah. banner. And every time they, this comes out with this, and this is what they're sacrificing every turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, every <laughs> Merfolk yeah, Pi that yeah. you play gets you two extra turns. Exactly. Yes. And that's like a thing yeah. where Piper just chooses now, I play a Merfolk a turn. Yeah. And two, slow the my four. entire game plan down until. Two, four, I'm six, content seven. to scoop to that. I think if I look, I have no interaction removal. My only interaction here is evacuation for two more mana, so I can't do anything about that. Rough. This was a big misplay on my end of the mana, mana thing, but again, it was the like, cycle at the end of the turn. Yeah, yeah, there's a world where like I bolt Dylan in response to her attack, but I don't have a bolt in hand. So I make seven. Oh no! I so I make seven. Like, honestly, <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine like what's okay. the best play. So right what now? we're saying here now is Piper is essentially going to go infinite combat steps with Wonder World Prophet. There's nothing that we can do about it, which means Piper. Technically, gets to pick who the dies order and how we die. Well, you're already dead, right? Because then no, you have to no, do I'm four. On two oh, life. you're on two. Well, as in, oh my, one may Shinderu. As in, oh my, one more Shinderu. Is this Nani? Right. Right. I know that this technically isn't killing everyone on the same turn. I would, but I would count it. <laughs> well, if you would like to count this as me killing everyone on the same turn, I would. I can abide by that because you guys do not get a turn outside of me killing everyone. Hang no. on, no, no, hang on. So okay. you kill Dylan. Okay. It's good. Like I can Academy Ruins the top, which changes my dynamic and my board. So therefore, Dylan dies first. I change my dynamic board, and then I don't die. No, we're all dead at the same time. Yeah, yeah, you're all dead at the same time. We all die. Okay. Very well played, right. my well friend. Well played. No, no, no. no but we're, there's still a turn order. So okay. who do you kill we in the order? No, no, no. It doesn't matter anyway, right? Because it's our rules that we all go down to the bottom. We all share right, the so we'll as, in, as in it counts as killing at the same time as far yeah. as those rules are concerned. Yeah. And yeah. Piper basically goes, the context is infinite turns is probably, in our rules chat, is going to be like, imp that's the same time. Like, yeah. If yeah. we don't have turns, it's not a turn cycle, yeah. which means it all happens in the same turn cycle, right? So otherwise you're just right. kind of king making and that's a bit... Uh, yeah. No. So now, would we king make J Dylan to the bottom of the ladder? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I, yes. Honestly, I would, I would scoop and give Avian second for the more points to put it Dylan last. Like that's how deep I'm in knowledge, right? Just so I clear, I would wait for you to hit Dylan and then say it's infinite. You, know oh. you, you do it twice and then you demonstrate the loop. Isn't that how it works? Yes. You do it twice, yes. then you demonstrate the loop. So Dylan's dead, then you demonstrate the loop. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah. Woo! Uh, well, I'm kidding yeah, team, very well played all. Here. PJ's behind you. Thank you for joining us chat. Thank first you very all, much, Chad. I thank you for everyone who's still here. Oh my God, first of all, that's awesome. And second of all, what did you think? Damn, what a game. What a what game. A game. Mm. I'm so surprised that my Murfolk managed uh, to sorry, come back through so you, many you board wipes. Um, and that's normally like on the, on the, the end. That's how I'm out, you know? You did really well this game. I had, I had such good stuff. You did you know, really well I just, this game. I think it was a great game for everyone today. Yeah, there um, were a couple of terrifying moments. Except for, oh, I'm yeah. still embarrassed that I got that whole like swords path thing wrong. That's fine. Oh, bro, bro. It's still embarrassing, but that would have been a whole 4-4. By the way, Great Aurora Maybe, is uh, two ones. When you were looking for a card to exile, it was Great Aurora. That's the best card Thank in the deck. This oh, you've already got one. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. It goes crazy. All right, everyone, there you go. You time. can see the points. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, Woo! Because oh my god, Trent, Avian, and I all died in one hit, technically in the in the one turn. We're all on one point uh, because we came last. Piper is on four points because and five because first blood. Five for first, first blood, blood and then minus one oh, of course, yeah. killing for killing everyone. everyone. True. So that's, that's, that's why I was fine with it because I was like, I already got the first blood point. You know, I can like. Oh, it's like economy. Yeah, it's economy. Yeah. Yeah. I can do that. It's your first episode. You've broken our economy. Yeah. You're like, actually, like well, it, it's my first episode, and you guys are gonna have to no, stop it's me. Four. Oh. This is next yeah. next turn. Piper plays like Ragavan, and then goes like Infinite Colors Matter. And I had a crate hook in my hand. And she's like, but I got I got that like turn one. I got the first blood, four more points. Let's go economy. 
Sheesh. Sheesh. I had I had Kratos with my hand for so fucking long. And you know what? It was enjoyable every step of the way. Yeah. Except for the mystifying maze. That was the only step that was not enjoyable. Oh, and every I time, loved it. And every time there was a white board wipe on the stack, that was not as enjoyable. That was also not quite it. But only during the stack, then was think, everyone forgot. I think my favorite bit was uh, the the cyclonic rifts. 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 Yes, the many, the many rifts that They're we had. Copy, right? Oh no, you took this. You stole. Yeah. I stole, I stole the spell. Yeah, I stole the rifts. The, like literally, One, I was two, like, three, I was yeah. like, okay, <laughs> I stuff it up matter to play down my entire win con. I know. My favorite part was when my mon when my one card draw spell got counted. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was the right choice, and I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you, you, looked at me, you, looked, you looked at me and you were like, really, the card draw, and I was like, avian. Come on, the yeah. casual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it's the it was it was necessary. It was like with the yeah, with the with the uh, sea hunter as well. Yeah, no, no fun allowed. No fun allowed. Yeah. Um, I, that I was incredible fun though. Was a victim of chance. I had a great opening hand, mm. as you saw when I dumped out yeah. great stuff. Ooh, you didn't have the blue mana or red mana. Yeah. To be fair, I think you opened with no red mana. No, I had the creative, the 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 um the sit the. Oh, talisman. talisman. But yeah. no, 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 no red matter in your first turn because you didn't. You didn't first turn land soul ring talisman. You did land soul ring into oh scrabbling claws. Scrabbling yeah. claws. Yeah, and yeah. So you the drew talisman, the talisman. Drew the talisman. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't have any red. But like the, the, the problem, the problem yeah. was it was a great opening hand. I drew quite early into my colors. Yeah. But then all I did was draw land. That's all. And then did. the yeah. occasional yeah. like good card. And that's fine. But your deck is so synergistic. And yeah. So a couple of pieces are going like. Classic examples of what my deck was doing was kind of where your deck needed to be. Yeah. And it was, to be fair, and I, and I feel only like one of us was ever going to get that this game. <laughs> and this time I, it happened to be me. I, I feel like if you experienced what I experienced on the card draw of, of drawing lands, you would have been in the same position I was. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, I did obviously have the chance of just drawing those, those lands I could just convert into more and more cards and discard more lands. And I did get that arguments as map. Let's not forget that thins out cards. Like, yeah. did that twice, by the way, so. If you if you hadn't have, like, tricked yourself into thinking, like, if you, if you hadn't have made that misplay with the white mana, that would have... Oh yeah, really I think that was really ended yeah. me. And that yeah. was, you know, hundred percent. Like that was that was the turn cycle was, turn. I didn't even win with Kamina on the board. Yeah. It's just oh, so yeah. weird to me because oh, I've never done that. We all did cast out commanders. We all did cast several out commanders times. several, several times. times. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Got up to eleven for Kamina, which I think is one of the highest it's ever been for me. I wanted to get Kamina to fourteen, but just couldn't get there. Also, also, I didn't even notice at the beginning, but there's there's a bit of poet uh, poetic nature here where it's like partner mechanic. Classic commander, non-creature planeswalker. Like there's kind of like we're all doing something very nice different mix. with this. Yeah, commander. it is yeah. very very. Mi so yeah. I think that's actually pretty. Cool. I didn't notice that when we first talked about, it, but it's like we're playing very different designs of commander. Mine being probably the most modern. Um, but yeah. yeah. So yeah. So this is a deck that like I haven't really shown to a lot of people yet, and there's just one thing that I really want to like let people know. Great Aurora Rift Sweeper is the greatest combo in all of Magic. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a start. That's all a right. statement. I'm telling you this right now. All right. A fair. So enough. Rift Sweeper it. just shuffles a card from exile into your library. If you have enough permanence, you play your library, and then 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 you play your library. Yeah. Yes. Not bad. Highly recommended. Um, you're making turn actions, so it's not a draw, but you don't have to do anything. You can just <laughs> keep playing your library <laughs> again and again and again. And just get all the Togo rocks. Well, like, yeah. but you're all saying, the rocks. You're just saying, though, at the same time, that if like, what if you don't have any like triggers to go up and you could just keep, you could just keep doing it for fun. Yeah, you just yeah. keep doing it. <laughs> like, try to win. This is, this is what it's all about. It's like that, it's like that finite, like yeah. fun conversation where it's like, yeah. we've hit the point now where you guys were allowed to have fun. Now it's my great Aurora time. I actually, oh, yes. and it's the great because it's in my deck and not yeah. yours. I actually think Dylan had the, the finite amount of fun this game. Yeah, Genuinely, definitely, definitely. I think Dylan had the most fun this game you out of everyone. You, you took a lot of the fun. Look, the fun. I wasn't yeah. I wasn't able to get my deck to run off synergistically, so I was just lobbing grenades. Yeah. And at the same time, you were the one throwing rocks at us. Most, yeah, some of the most impactful stuff in the game too was yeah. from you fucking throwing things around. Like, yeah. so that's yeah. pretty good. That's I'm not gonna good. lie. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. That's if you had have let point. Avian die, I wouldn't have lost a point. Good point. So tell you what, it's paid off in the end. It all pays off in the end. It's the long con. Economy. It's the long con. So good, so good. But you know what? I just, I just want to, just want to say wrecked. You are really? saying wrecked. You are saying we spent, we spent <laughs> three G hours. Gigi easy for twenty. Sorry, I was gonna say we spent three hours of this desk playing commander, but our producer PJ spent three hours running through a chat, putting up, looking up cards, changing scenes. Yeah. We get a fucking round of Thank applause for our producer. Thank you, PJ. Hug PJ in the chat. Thank you so much, chat. Hug PJs, Hug everyone. PJ. Hug PJs in the, PJs in the chat. chat. Like this, just absolutely, just cannot, cannot stress oh, enough. And just back will still be sore. 
<laughs> yes. Alrighty, well, thank that you was everyone. Hardcast Commander. Yes, thank you everyone so uh, much for watching. Thank you for joining us for the return to Hardcast here on Twitch.tv slash Live. Okay. We'll be back every fortnight at 2 p.m. Uh, so every second Sunday at 2 p.m. Um, to play some Hardcast Commander. What's the theme next week, Dylan? Uh, I think it's still going to be uh, same decks. yes, exact same decks. No, same this, it's this eight episodes. What do you mean? In fact, yeah. we, yeah. we just get this bot and upload it eight times. I mean, to be fair, I could probably keep taking turns into the next one. We're going to rotate to the left next time. That's true, actually. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we just rotate the next. Yeah. Time. <laughs> oh no, God! I don't want uh, anyone else to have to play this. Trust me. Yeah, gonna I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a special kind of uh, to play a deck like this. You know what I mean? A special kind of uh, you need round. Yeah, you're gonna be yeah, real yeah. trend. Yeah, real trend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you gotta be real. It's gonna be real spike. Little, little, real spike to play this kind of thing. I like it a lot. Although drawing cards is a lot of fun, and like oh, yeah. everyone knows that like the person winning is the person making the most game actions. That's it. That's it. That's why I won because I played so many Merfolk. <laughs> Look, Fire Oak says right? a mono red episode, please. Hey, we're in. Oh, bring it on! <laughs> I, <love laughs> it. I hate mono red. Yeah, I I've got it. the best mono red deck on the. Is it just Toko? No, it's um. Is it Felden, your Felden? Yeah, it's Felden World Eater Dragon. I combo. love your World Gorge Dragon. Yeah, it's really good. That's a good deck. I love yeah. that. I, would, I, I could uh, find a mono red well, thing to play. Yeah. We could build you Nehev the Eternal, because that's like a based mono red deck. Oh, yeah. Nehev's I got. Cool. Oh, I can play can Dragon's be? Approach, because I've got a Dragon's Approach. Oh, yeah. Approach. Can I be Muxes? Yeah, why not? Go ahead. Yeah, 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 okay, well, lock in, lock in a mono red episode. There will be a mono red yeah. episode. Not next week. We're not going to lock in those decks yet, because I'm still thinking. Next week, however, is personality decks again. Again, yeah. It's just what you guys want to play. I've got a few decks. I've got another. I think I've got like two other decks that I'm, I want to build, so I might get back. Yeah, I'm still so tossing up between one of two decks that I want to play next week because I have two other decks that I really, really enjoy playing. So it's definitely, um, it's definitely gonna be back closer to my style of black and or green. Yeah, I like yeah. yeah, I feel that. I feel like that. go with what you love. Yeah, go, I've with, got a, go with what's close. This to is this is the I'd say this is the only non-black deck. Well, I like Ishat too, so it's non-black. Yeah. Deck if I had access enjoy. to like any card that I wanted, I would just bring in like a, a Krufix Eldrazi Tribal deck next week because I, I love playing Krufix Eldrazi Tribal. That I'm not going to lie to you. That would take me fun. Throw together. I can definitely do that for you. Um, but yeah, definitely we can do that. So we'll be back yeah. in yes. two weeks. Two weeks. Sunday I can week say next to week. play some more uh, hard casts for you guys there. So don't forget to follow the channel here on twitch.tv slash live. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, come and join us on twitch.tv slash live and you Super can come hang out with us. Yeah. Um, otherwise, if you're watching on YouTube, get the bell on, hit a like on the video, thumbs it up so that uh, the YouTube algorithm gods can see it more. And don't um, forget, if you're in the comment section, we are reading that. So chuck in what decks you want us to play because the chat right now is kind of dictating a couple of decks already. Look at that. So yeah. Jump on the disc, jump on our YouTube comments or jump on our Discord either way and let us know what you want us to do. Yes, that's what. Oh, yeah. AT so just offered me to borrow Delina if I wanted to play Delina from Water Red. To join that, Discord. Sorry. Uh, Kate. Oh, oh wonderful. Yeah, Delina's great. There's an option yeah, there too. Yeah, all right. Uh, links in the chat if you want to join the Discord or it will be down in the description of the video. Uh, where you can come hang out and chat to anyone who enjoys vault games and tabletop in general as well. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, thanks everyone for joining us for another Thank episode. Thank you for Don't inviting me. Don't forget to get your singles at singles.vaultgames.com.au. Use the discount code LAYLINE to get 10% off your first purchase. Because remember, it is sponsored by and uh, produced by and acted by the Vault the Singles vault team, singles team. <laughs> the yeah. entire Vault Singles team, and, and Avian, and, Avian. and, Avian. Yeah. and the man yeah. himself. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Stay safe, everyone. Wash your goddamn hands. Bye. 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 They can still hear yeah, us though, but, yeah. so we need to. Anyway, bye, everyone. <laughs>